Здравствуйте, дорогие друзья! Мы рады приветствовать вас на прямом эфире международной онлайн-встречи в рамках недели солидарности. Сегодня огромный праздник. Объединились люди со всего мира. Неделя солидарности участников международного общественного движения Аллаха – это добрая традиция, когда мы каждый год все собираемся вместе и делимся опытом и новостями. Огромная благодарность всем людям из каждой страны за искреннее действие и активное участие. С каждым годом мы видим все более огромное количество замечательных примеров реализации проектов движения Алатра по всей планете. И это показывает, как много мы можем сделать, если мы Although the last year, the previous year was difficult, we've done a lot and participants all over the world have increased, much increased in number. This shows that people can unite in any conditions. When there is a joint common goal and idea, uh, the creative knowledge, uh, the creative idea and knowledge that unites us, yes, indeed. Because for such an active social activity from of people from all the world, people are inspired on this from the uh, by the knowledge from the books by Anastasia Novik and the videos with Igor Mikhailovich Danilov. The unique information provided in these books and videos have be has become an impetus for changing many people's lives, and this information gives uh, great knowledge and understanding of what human being really is, what real humanness is, and when you see and feel this humanness in yourself, you can feel and see it in other, in other people. Thanks to this, we understand that in order to unite for all of us together, it is actually our need, and it is very important for us to join, to unite today, so that these changes will be extended throughout the society. It is much easier to act when you have this knowledge, when you understand where you should go and what you should do. We would like to express our sincere gratitude for the fact that this knowledge is available and we have an opportunity to act thanks to this knowledge. This knowledge gives the main, the most important, uh, what is important for a person is to transfer to transition to real life and nowadays it's very important to convey this news further because we remember how this knowledge illumined our lives how it changed our world outlook our perception of the world and how the how this knowledge filled our life with happiness and joy we remember how this knowledge made us alive. When we remember the value of this to ourselves, we understand that in, to share it is very important. It's the main thing, the main goal and action in our life, because each of us feels the truth. Each of us, when we encounter the knowledge, we understand that this is basically what he or she was looking throughout their life. And it helps us to act actively, not just to change ourselves, but in order to implement the creative format of society, we would like to express great gratitude to everyone who's already acting thanks to the knowledge, because, because in this, for this reason, for this very reason, we are acting all together. Now the events in the world show that we need to act more and we need to strengthen our activity. The climatic events that are happening show that we don't have so much time and we need to use every minute efficiently. We need to be involved in the process of informing more actively. It is very important for us to talk, to speak and act. We need to convey this news about the creative society to other people and the fact that we have united shows that we can do more. Despite all the difficulties, we can do this all together. In the books by Anastasia Novik and in the videos with Igor Mikhailovich Danilov, there are oaks and keys available and tools available in order to transform our society into a creative format. 
Everyone feels the truth when they encounter the knowledge. And today we'll hear stories of people from all over the world. They will tell, tell us how the knowledge has changed their lives. Ничто земное не сравнится с той благостью, которую человек получает вот, при соприкосновении с Духом. Вот именно это как милость такая Божья, когда, как говорят, не сходит Дух Святой, человек соприкасается с этим, это в Душе все поет. Когда человек чувствует Любовь Божью, он понимает какой-то дар. Его нельзя ни с чем не спутать и не сравнить. Ничто не может заменить истинную Любовь Божью в человеке. Это внутреннее чувство рая. Твое стремление и та любовь, которую ты стяжаешь, и которой ты стремишься, и которую, получив, ты излучаешь обратно, вот это и делает тебя человеком. Это делает из смертного существа нечто больше бессмертно. Путей к Богу много, но дорога одна. И это правда. И эта дорога, она латр. Мы называем так. Но это дорога, любовь Божья. Dear viewers, we would like to remind you that you can write comments below this video and also we would like to thank you for all the comments which you are writing. And if we see some interesting comments, we will surely read them out in the broadcast, during the broadcast. Now we would like to hear our nice, wonderful speakers. And the first speaker is Tatiana from Rome, Italy. Hello, my name is Tatiana, I'm from Italy. I would like to share my story, how the primordial knowledge Alatra of Alatra came to my life and changed it. Uh, with my husband, we already uh, live in Italy for five years, but we uh, come to visit our friends and relatives every year. 
At home, we have a big company of friends with various interests, and at one of such meetings, we heard from our friends that they shared uh, some knowledge from some books and uh, it seemed very interesting for us but at the same time strange because they talked about some kind of system they were talking you know in an unclear language for us but it was so so interesting so we would like we wondered what is that we asked could you t please tell us because it's so interesting they were talking between themselves and they didn't share with us much uh, about the source and we felt like kind of awkward or we were awkward because we didn't understand anything from their conversation or the system forbade us to talk um, and we didn't ask them just left then in several months we talked to one of the guys and he in the meantime in the conversation he mentioned these books again uh, this second time we already used the opportunity and questioned him asked him to share and he started talking first he wasn't uh, he was kind of reluctant but then he saw our interest and opened up he started saying such things which we never heard before he started talking about god about love and he said that uh, in each of us there is a particle of god and each of us is that love which is in this world each of us should carry this world love to the world we are all united and also he said that there are videos very interesting videos and he can send us a link of course we agreed and he sent us these links after our conversation it was more uh, later than midnight i was so inspired i started watching the videos and the first video i saw was the the service uh, when i was listening watching this video i was so inspired and i watched it all the uh, all the way to the end and in the morning my husband downloaded all the books we started listening to audiobooks we started sharing our understanding and insights. Something is problem. In Italy, there were already guys who were doing translations and we got in touch and uh, uh, it turned out that there is quite a big company, a group, big group of translators in Italy here, so we started acting, we started translating the videos, the texts, and it was uh, before the May 11th, it was the International Global Conference Society, the last chance. We also decided to an, arrange a location. We made an, uh, daily calls and there was a great experience when we first met with the guys it was it was indescribable indescribable feeling of unity a feeling as if you met your dear and near person after uh, a long time uh, you meet him again and there is such happiness and love which were pouring out of us. So after that day we never part we have daily calls and we have such an understanding that each of us in, has this inner in the part the sparkle of love which we need to find in ourselves and carry to the world and this way our world will become better and each of us will open up in this god's love thank you very much good afternoon everybody my name is Jonathan and I'm from the Netherlands and I'm very honored uh, to be here with you to share my experience watching the video with the participation of Igor Mihalovic and Danila. Um, I think the best way to describe this experience uh, is to share with you uh, the gradual realization that I made um, since I've been in contact with the knowledge. Um, I never read much in my life, to be honest. 
Um, but I get uh, I got a hard copy of all of the books from Anastasia Novik. Uh, I read them all uh, twice, actually, for some of them, and actually still constantly rereading the Alatra book. Um, that was the first clue that something was going on. Um, I also never watch any interview videos on YouTube on any topics. Um, I used to be much more interested in playing video games. <laughs> Uh, but all of a sudden, I start um, watching three hours long videos with just two persons speaking in Russian with English subtitles. And it, it was a second clue that something was really going on. As I mean, prior to this, the only very long video that I've been watching was maybe Lord of the Ring movie trilogy. Um, but it's really when I start watching all of the new videos uh, coming out for, with Igor Mihalovich Danilov. Uh, as soon as they were released, uh, switching on auto-generated Russian subtitles, auto-translated in English, that I realized that those programs are beyond anything that I experienced before. Um, out of these mixtures of subtitles auto-generated by YouTube, uh, not much was really making any sense to me. But I was keeping on watching, and, and I was glad that I was able to catch some of the knowledge here and there. Um, there was a thirst of knowledge that, that those videos with the participation of Igor Mihalovich Danilov uh, really released in me or revealed in me and pushed me again and again. Um, the knowledge from those videos felt like I was not learning anything new, but more or simply just remembering something that I knew all along. Um, it's a strange feeling that reinforced uh, the fact that I don't believe that this is the truth, but I know it is. Um, Andre mentioned in, in one of the videos, consciousness is the devil's tool, um, discussing with one of his group the following questions. It is not a miracle that we, working on ourselves, start to see consciousness offered to us? Is it not a miracle when aggression is offered to us and we reject it? I think this illustrates perfectly that my consciousness is working very, very hard to just erase any piece of information that I'm getting from those videos. But I have understood this twist from consciousness, and it has been a great step forward in my spiritual path. Rewatching those videos is like with the same joy as watching them for the first time. Um, there is always something new to cognize, something new to write down, uh, something new to put in practice. And that's why I would like to really express all my gratitude to Igor Mihalovich Danilov, providing the grains of truth through those videos. And I also cannot thank full, uh, to be more thankful to the amazing team of people translating those videos faster than never before. So I actually don't have to rely on YouTube auto translation anymore. Without you, all of this knowledge will have been will have remained unknown to me, and I'm pretty sure that Satan will be really pleased about it. So once again, thank you very much. Right now, let's together watch an extract from the video with the participation of Igor Mihalovich Danilov, the call of Mahakti. It means that I'm needed for something. And what is my mission? Well, your mission, my friend, is exactly to return home. And home is one for all. And it's you who choose whether you live or die. Whereas this intermediate state of existence, what we call life, is exactly given for your choice, for you to make a decision. Greetings. Hello, everyone. I'm Diana from Lithuania, Kaunas. 
Спасибо, I would like to use this opportunity to thank Igor Mikhailovich Danilov on behalf of myself and our entire team for having such an opportunity he's actually with us and uh, we can change ourselves and change the whole world about I found out about Igor Mikhailovich Danilov a uh, couple of years ago in one of the workshops I like to study and on this workshop uh, they talked about the en human energy structure and I thought if there is something Russian, I will better uh, learn from the source, primary source. And I found on YouTube, I found videos on YouTube, I uh, listened to all the audio books and it's, it resonated with me so much. I, heard, I felt that it's the real truth, but I couldn't agree that, you know, that he doesn't call anyone, he doesn't sell any seminars or workshops. My conscious was thinking, what's wrong with that? But there was no some, uh, and there was no nothing like that. I was observing this person for one year, and everything was transparent and honest. All the books are available for download, for listening, for free, and you can just freely share links. And one of the videos inspired me very much at that time. The, name, the title of this video is Victor is uh, freedom from beast dictatorship within yourself. From that video, I found out that thoughts are not mine; they come from the outside. And so it turns out that uh, Igor Mikhailovich gave such an uh, idea that imagine a butterfly and try to hold this thought in your mind for five minutes. You won't be able to do this because the other things will come to your mind, like a uh, lame neighbor, monkeys, uh, lemons, etc and you won't be able to hold this butterfly in your mind and indeed uh, even from my own experience when i want to refuse reject sweet things but for some reason i go ahead and buy th sweets uh, and i agree when they offer me i still eat it so it not, it's not me it's some somebody substitute substitutes for me and um, but I wanted, I didn't want to be my, on my own. I, I thought that there was no one else in Lithuania because I couldn't find anyone uh, on YouTube or elsewhere. But once I was watching uh, some video from the last year's Solidar Week of Solidarity, there was a girl from Latvia and she told how she was helping the Lithuanian team to arrange an exhibition and uh, uh, exhibition and presentation of uh, Anastasia Novak's books and I was so happy at the time I joined the team and we started working together we started interviewing people we uh, record uh, we made certain several broadcasts and I would really like to thank all the guys who work with that to ensure that we see such live broadcasts which unites connect all of us it's and such a great gratitude again to Igor Mikhailovich Danilov for uh, presenting this truth in such a simple way as he says if you want to be happy refuse reject bad thoughts don't feel them and you will be happy all of you will be happy thank you very much to you all and to Igor Mikhailovich Danilov in particular thank you thank you Diana hello everyone um, thank you Jonathan for touching on some very important points um, you know, it's it's strange and obvious now looking back on uh, the discovery of the Alatra book and the Sensei series by Anastasia Novik. Um, it's definitely non-coincidental. Um, you know, as Jonathan pointed out, reading through those books, um, you are touched by something that you've always known for a long time. And uh, you also become aware of uh, this other side of you. And uh, that's what led me to finding the book, uh, was searching for years, years and years, uh, just questioning why we are here, what are we doing, 
Uh, why do we work? <laughs> why, why do we just come home, repeat the same experiences like, like we're robots? And uh, one, one circumstance had led to me finding the book on Facebook. And I don't remember now looking back who had uh, presented this book in a Facebook group. Um, but it was very, very much needed. Um, and when I had read the books, uh, I just read all of them, you know, and uh, through this experience, I started watching the programs. And, um, you know, I reached a point that I felt that there was someone inside me that that just absolutely erased everything that was absolutely against everything I am. And uh, no, <laughs> this person, uh, in case you guys don't know who I am, uh, I'm Jason. Uh, this person is absolutely against uh, everything we are, everything, uh, every, every bit of light inside us and always drives this chaos between us. Um, when I had started watching the programs, as many people have mentioned already, or at least highlighted on some of these points, uh, that, that thing that we call consciousness inside us uh, absolutely rebelled at this understanding inside of who Igor Mikhailovich is. Uh, thank you, Mati. Um, thank you so much. And it, you watch these programs and it, it helps you take a step, uh, a more firm step. Uh, regardless of whether or not something is erased, uh, regardless of uh, whether or not the mind comprehends what's going on because it doesn't comprehend uh, the spiritual. Um, so in the programs, we discuss deep feelings. And eventually, that leads to more firm steps. Like at the beginning of the Alatra book, it discussed the cry of an angel, you know, and it's not easy to keep getting up and walking and walking and walking. Um, but the programs allow every single person uh, that we're going to see today to do this um, and people all over the world to do this. Uh, and as John Jonathan pointed out, without the translators, it, it would not be possible, guys. Uh, I can't thank you enough. Um, I have a similar experience to Jonathan. So, if I was to point out what program that is of the utmost help to me, it would be freedom from the beast dictatorship within. And within that program, um, there's great points of how to turn this German shepherd inside us into a chihuahua uh, that's obedient, uh, regardless of whether it talks often or doesn't talk at all. Um, through that program, uh, you learn about who you are and where you are going and what the goal is. Thank you all so much for this uh, week of solidarity. Thank you so much for putting this together. Um, and from the bottom of my heart, thank you, translators, interpreters, and uh, the tech support team. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jason. My name is Irina. I live in Riga, Latvia. And today I would also like to share my understanding regarding the videos with Igor Mikhailovich Danilov. I would like to say that for a long time I've been the participant of the Alatra movement. And for me, every video is like a press of fresh air, which, uh, without which I cannot imagine my life because every video thanks despite the topic which is uh, unfolded uh, actually everything boils down to the point that you have to start with yourself you should work on yourself and love god and maybe the most amazing discovery which i made recently it was the video what the prophets dreamed of i would like to share my insights regarding the fact, uh, regarding what was said about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. For me, 
It was such a revelation that the greatest of the prophets, every day he was going to sleep and what he was asking Allah about. He was asking Allah to forgive his sin and to get him, to rid him of shaitan and the power of shaitan and in, to lead him into high society, meaning into the angelic world. When I heard this, I had the voice in my head, how come it's the prophet himself, he's the greatest of people and he was was asking Allah to deprive them, to get, to rid him of shaitan. At that point, I understood that over excessive self-confidence on the path to God, on the spiritual path, is painful. I heard in my head for many times that everything is fine with me. I'm, I'm at a girl. I'm walking. I'm falling. The fast. I'm fine. But Igor Mikhailovich Danilov said in this very video that. We have to think about our weaknesses and eradicate it our, in ourselves. And we shouldn't forget about God for, even for a second. And we need to hold the hand of all, uh, God all the time. And also, I would like to share uh, how in my self-development participation in the Pro Alatra movement projects helped me. I can say that self-development and participation in the projects, they are like linked in a two integral parts of one and the same process. It's a real gift, an opportunity to open my talents, to see where I can manifest myself and how can I selflessly serve people. It's also a gift because we can get rid of fears. We can see that negativity which was hiding in us in the darkness of our consciousness and just to get rid of this um, to refuse this fear and negativity and since I voiced uh, this video what the prophets dreamed of I would like to happily invite all of you to the upcoming conference it will be a, the most large scale conference ever it will be translated into more than 35 languages and the name the title of this conference is creative society what the prophets dreamed of it will be held on march 20th 2021 at this conference we will discuss all together how we should unite in order to build the society which all the prophets were dreaming of In order to teach us to love each other, to listen, to feel, to learn, to understand that God is one, that the truth is one for everyone, it is time to recall what the prophets dreamt of. Global Online Conference Creative Society, what the prophets dreamt of. March 20th. Yes, thank you very much. Indeed, the prophets came at different times, but they were carrying the same primordial knowledge for everyone, the same truth, one truth, because God is one. And in addition to the primordial knowledge, all the prophets were bringing a very important, joyful news that the spiritual world is very, very loving towards us. It loves us and believes in us. And knowing that, are we not able to build the creative society all together today, now? And knowing this and knowing the fact that creative uh, the spiritual world takes care of us, if we know it, we have even greater desire to unite and to act. Thank you very much to you all. And thanks to our viewers who write in their comments. I would like to read out some of them. The, these are the comments from our viewers right now. I encountered the knowledge through the book Alatra. I read the book just a little bit and I got very interested where this knowledge comes from and what does this, what is supposed to mean. I read other books, started reading the Sensei series and I was not just reading, but I was like embedding 
all the uh, this book entirely i couldn't stop because everything around was forgotten there was only myself and these books another comment this alatra inside this sparkle makes us alive and unites us and when i didn't have knowledge i felt that there is something higher but i didn't know what it is but the books by anastasia novich revealed the truth for me and also another comment this wisdom which Igor Mikhail is, share is, is sharing with us in these videos, it changed me from inside and it is and it's changing the inner world of many people. My uh, friends and myself, we are waiting for the broadcast for videos with such an interest and inspiration. Thank you very much. And now we would like to give the floor further to Canada. Hello everyone, my name is Natalia, I'm from Canada, but um, basically I'm, my origin is from Moldova seven years ago. I found Sensei one book on the bench in the street. Uh, and uh, there was an inscription that it's not the lost book, but it's just left here for the one who will find it. It was a very difficult time for me at that time. On the one hand, I had an inner search, which kind of came to a deadlock, and this, uh, the, on the other hand, I had uh, disease which and difficult treatment, and it was quite a hard try for me, but this book was a salvation. It was a real miracle, you know, like a breath of fresh air. It was like a very pure source which I was waiting for for a long time. I, I don't know, really, truly don't know what I would do at that time without those books. In this parable about the traces on the sand, when a person is walking near God and he says two pairs of uh, um, footprints on the sand and at difficult times in his life he sees only uh, one pair of uh, footprints and he was asking pleading God why have you left me but God said I didn't leave you I took you into my arms that's that was the same with me because it was hard for me at the time and God just uh, helped me also I would like to share and my experience with the video live it was kind of an experiment for me i watched it 12 times just like jason said that i was watching my consciousness what it will say in uh, response to the flow of feelings and after the fifth uh, viewing of this video basically my consciousness was totally silent because this inner flow of feelings was so strong this uh, perception was so different that consciousness even didn't give any comments he didn't couldn't find any justification of that inner perception it was so real uh, much more real than consciousness offers so consciousness couldn't say anything but more most of all i had this imprint in my soul uh, from live video and from the video about spiritual grace it is what love, what kind of love, um, uh, love with which Igor Mikhailovich and Tatiana are talking about God. Uh, she was reading uh, uh, Archbishop Luca uh, words with such uh, love and tenderness about this touch of God's love, and not about the, only the moment of us, about touching this love, but about this point and moment when a person starts loving himself, loving from his side loving God and you know uh, I could speak endlessly about these videos but it is better to feel because you cannot find all the words to properly express this inner state to properly describe it and in the end I would like to thank the spiritual world for this you know wonderful opportunity to live in these times because at it is simultaneously a great responsibility and a great happiness. But responsibility is quite easy because God is always near us and we don't need anything else in order to overcome all this. And next, I would like to give the floor and greetings to Jana from Czech Republic and I would like to thank everyone. Dobrý den. Já jsem Jan z České republiky a 
Já, bych, já jsem moc vděčný za to, že se můžu účastnit toho, toho našeho setkání. Hello, this is Jan from Czech Republic. I'm really grateful for the videos with Igor Mikhailovich because it really helped me in my life. I would like to share my understandings of uh, the uh, video Consciousness and Personality. Tam Igor Mikhailovich dává takový příměr, že Where Igor Mikhailovich uh, says that um, the path to God is shorter than three steps, and but this path is filled uh, with obstacles, but no one else can uh, do it except you. Only, and if we will reach it, we don't need already legs. And um, of course, we can walk up and high uh, with our legs, um, but um, unless we reach it at this point, and um, everything I heard and understood that. Um, I can um, reach God. I can uh, I can leave away any fear, any control behind. And if I will try to uh, have with me some control, uh, I won't reach God. And there are some other uh, patterns which you won't overcome, you won't be able to come to God. You need to love God with all your heart, without, without any um, doubts. Thank you so much. Thank you all. And now we will see the uh, excerpt from the video live. В добротолюбии говорится о том, что не прикослой помыслам. It is said that don't uh, don't argue with the thoughts that come to you, but stop them with prayer. It's like a confirmation of what you said that we shouldn't enter into dialogues. Well, I was telling about that, and everyone faces that, faces the same thing. For some people, it is easier. For some people, it is harder. But everyone go through that, right? Nothing new. But it's easy to understand who was moving quickly, who was not, who was uh, using crutches, who was not. But it doesn't matter. What matters is for them to reach, to reach it. And can this be momentarily? Well, um, maybe they, the life will not be enough because the um, the notion of time is important here, but not there. Igor Mikhailovich, what is actually happening right now? What is actually happening? I'm feeling that something is happening. If you're feeling it, why mention this? But for others, for some, consciousness will say, and those people who will not pay attention to consciousness will understand anyway. But it only shows that not everything is about matter. It means that matter is only matter, that there is something greater, something that is much deeper beyond its boundaries. And you cannot, you can't understand it with your mind, but you can touch it. 
Do you know what the most available about this moment is that, yes, it it's is alive. alive, it is alive, and there are no questions from the side of people, no questions at all. It's okay. Consciousness will help them. So it will still erase these question moments? And it will be um, in the counter at attack to that if they allow it, but again, it's their choice. And only a foolish person uh, refuses the hand that is about to help him, especially if that person is dying from thirst. Greetings. Hello, my name is Lyudmila. I currently live in New York, and I would like to share with you how I found Alatra. Many years ago, in my childhood, I had a question, what is life? Why do I live? Why people work so, so hard? Why do we have families, children, if uh, we all have um, uh, one end, and I couldn't find the answers, and um, followed by the stereotypes of society, I set off in search of happiness. I found a family and good um, job, but I didn't find happiness. Moreover, this ch uh, child question of mine started to worry me more and more, which led me to deep despair and loss of the meaning of life. And during the one of so, such emotional crises, when I just um, was asking, why um, is it all, a miracle happened to me. I even don't know how should I describe it, but let, I can say that uh, the Holy Spirit touched me. I felt really good. Ever, everyone, everything around me changed, the colors changed, and in an instant, from unbeliever, I became a believer. I understood that it is no longer possible to live this way, and I should change life uh, completely, and I did. And uh, that's the my period of, of my religion period began. A lot of time has passed. I uh, gone through to all Christian denominations, and I couldn't say that I didn't found God there. Yes, I had uh, burst splashes, but it um, disappeared in the mundane world so um, faster that I had more and more questions. And one day I came across one book in which they told it was told about Jesus Christ and his companion. Uh, Mary Magdalene, and when I read it, I was very scared because, according to Christian canons, by accepting this information, I could lost my salvation. But um, fortunately, that it didn't stop me, and I continued to search. And I finally found the books by Anastasia Novik and Say the Primordial of Shambhala, and these books gave me answers to almost all my questions and it was definite yes that was exactly what i was searching for and since i was looking for information about mary metalin and I found it then it became my guiding star for me in the hardest difficult most difficult moments of my life her invisible presence supported me and then I made a decision that I need urgently go to Kiev. It was 2015, the beginning of the year, and there was and this my done in Kiev, and I couldn't make it on February. But I got there uh, in April. There was no coordinational center yet, but there were were groups of people who gathered together. Um, performed meditations, shared experience, and I felt uh, love uh, being next to them. I felt exactly that when the Holy Spirit touched me, everything fell in its place. And only later, 
Alanta International public movement got formed and the videos with the participation of Igor Mikhailovich began to be released and the life uh, began to boil and the greatest impression I had um, from the video life because exactly everything was described like from my life when if a person came into this world um, having become alive he just burned his life and exactly the words of Tatiana that live and feel I understood what is to be alive it means to feel love inside yourself and I would like to finish it with the words of Archimandrit Sakharov I would like to quote him because it's not only words for me when this love touch your, touches your heart then the spirit sees God and lives in him and with him it is higher than any humane human thoughts it doesn't apply with the human concepts it is love he is alive and his power is countless to live with him it is um, indescribable richness all my words for expressing it they are just insignificant thank you Hello, dear friends. My name is Ksenia. I'm from Kyrgyzstan, Bishkek City. My acquaintance with the knowledge also began from the video, from the books by Anastasia Novich, and it was such a joy when, in the continuation of this series of books, the videos of Zagrimi Hailage began to be released. I remember I felt uh, such a happiness when I saw video of Zagrimi Mikhailovich for the first time. And um, each video it's not only a sip of air, it's a waterfall of the delicious water. Such a love and gratitude fills you after getting in touch with the source of life. And thanks to the videos, I understood what is the true meaning of life of a human being. And the human comes in this life in order to become an angel and getting back of angel when angel gets back home it's such a joy for whole spiritual world and when you understand that you can become part of this joy then it is um, begins a desire to do so and also i realize that my test to god lies only through love love from the spiritual world is our everything and Every day, every second of my life, I learn to love more and more, feeling with it. I learn to overcome consciousness and uh, give up pride and uh, joining to the gratitude of Kai. So I would like to express my huge gratitude to um, our expected Igor Mikhailovich Danilov. You are warm smile and look are worth so much thank you very much for your love and patience and deep thanks that you with us thank you for Alatra thanks to you I understood that the God is ultimate high and I don't not, don't imagine my life without Alatra anymore. Alatra is my everything. And I would like to congratulate everyone with the beginning of such a bright holiday, with the start of a holy week. And I would like to give the floor further to Belarus. Thank you, Ksenia. My name is Andrei. I am from the city of Brest, Belarus. For some time, I've had a lot of questions in my life. 
questions about the world, questions about who the human being is, so some inner questions. So I put some effort into looking for answers to these questions. I started to read a lot of books, different authors, different genres, and I was unable to find answers to my questions. Besides, I couldn't know whether I could believe to these authors or not, whether it was truth written in those books or not. And then I read uh, another book and thought, well, wouldn't it be nice if there was such a book that I was certain that there was truth in it, so that it had knowledge which would answer all of my questions. And you know, guys, just like the next day, almost the next day, in one of the social media, I saw an article which uh, said, the book that changes the world, Alatra. I downloaded this book, I started reading it, and I realized that this is the book that I had been looking for. It had all the answers to my questions, and more than that, it answered to one of my main questions, what is the purpose of life of the human being? I was reading this book and I received confirmation to what I had uh, in my life, to the experience of my life. Then, of course, I read all the books by Anastasia Novich, and they became a real treasure for me, a treasure of knowledge and the video, one of the videos with the participation of Igor Mikhailovich Danilov played a very important role in my life. This video is called Live, and what I felt when I was watching it is difficult to express in words those feelings. Although I think that every person knows these feelings, it's just that with time we lose it, we forget them. And this video reminded me that our life is not only what we see here, it's not only what we can touch, it is something greater, it is our feelings, it is love, it is real life. And now, let's watch a fragment from the video Does God Exist? Dear Mikhailovich, is it possible to describe God? Because many say that it's very complicated complex. Some say in Christianity that it's so simple that how it is possible to describe the this with words. And I'll say it in a very simple way. God is life. God is love. Is it difficult to describe? And this connection question arises. Is God a personality? No, of course. God can't be a personality. A personality is, uh, is a part that is not full, that is not comprehensive, of something that must become whole. The person, the human being has the personality, but it also has the soul. And the personality, is it an angel? Or easier to say, is this being immortal? No. So, uh, the personality becomes immortal when it uh, joins the soul, then the, an angel appears. This is why God can't be a personality. Does God have gender? Can He have any gender at all, male or female? Well, as of today, all people have in their heads the so-called image that God has, is male, and there can be nothing else. But, excuse me, God is someone who gives life. And does uh, a man give life? Simple question, who gives life in this world? If we use the analogies of our world, of course, the female. And also, God has no. It has no gender, just like angels and everyone else. Just this creation power of love. Yes. 
and uh, God is a unity in multitude. God is uh, like this in this representation, so God is endless. Hello, dear friends. I'm from Georgia. My name is uh, my name is uh, Georgi Dohanadze. I got in touch with the knowledge two years ago when I was 16. I was uh, searching for truth in many ways. First, I found I found uh, on YouTube a video about uh, Jana, how she was uh, blinking, and I realized that there was a lot of truth there, and the truth was hidden from people, and I wanted to know for myself, and when I was watching videos, I could see that they mentioned God a lot. At, at that time, I was an atheist, and I didn't believe in God. But I watch these videos, and I feel that uh, it is true, and I start to compare. And all those facts that they mentioned in videos, that uh, the videos that Igor Mihailovich um, participated in and the knowledge that Igor Mihailovich gave us and I found it all and I uh, well I, f I realized that God exists and then I did meditation for the first time and I felt I felt this and you know it felt as if it was an entire shock for me that it really is and i experienced it for the first time when i was watching the video xp energy then i was really happy to see igor mihailovich and that he was explaining to us that how consciousness works and i saw other people uh, talk to him and i saw how he speaks to other people and i saw that he is just a simple person as me and then, for the first time, I uh, opened myself to that because I felt such happiness and I was uh, so certain and that I felt love for all people. And how do I say it in Russian? Um, well, this is uh, the best feeling that the person can have. I don't know. I mean, to open your inner love, you need to love every person. Because I had the following experience. I was at the dentist, and in front of me there was a person. And I thought that uh, he's uh, the same person, like I see his structure, like uh, see, I see, I remember that he's a pyramid as well, and I sent him my power, my energy. And then when I realized that he's the same, then there was this sort of invisible essence, or I don't know what, but I started feeling those feelings which I had for the first time. And then I started to intensify these feelings, and this was the most amazing thing. And um, now I understand why Igor Mihailovich is always saying you need to love each other, you need to understand each other, and not to feel negative things towards him, not to feel angry about another person, and not to um, get hurt, And uh, because every person is connected with the spiritual world, and the spiritual world is one. And I remember the words of Igor Mihailovich that it must be here just like in the spiritual world. What must be here is the life of loving people. Now, now I give the floor to Chobon from Kyrgyzstan. Hello, my dear friends. How I come to Alatra, how I 
came to this movement first my such a meeting with the books by Anastasia Novak, which I didn't uh, give any significance to it was in the bookstore where my, uh, the seller offered it to me I was uh, looking for another book but he offered me and uh, told me that it's really interesting I ignored it I just took uh, my books and I left but it seems that it was some push because at the second time in uh, the networks some kind of a young um, guy was saying about this that uh, the books and say will change the whole world and when I already was in the bookstore there was no books anymore and it seems that um, they uh, sell these books real quickly so I found them online I found audio books and I actually well, it was like swallow all these books because it was such information that at some point of my life there was such a dead end I didn't know uh, the answers to the questions why am I here why do I leave uh, what is next something like this and when I started to read the books of Anastasia Novak her, I read all her books um, till a lot because I was kind of overfed and I needed to have just a little time out and I just stopped and maybe half of a year passed when I saw in the social networks um, the video Creative Society and uh, when uh, they started to um, in introduce him I heard that the name is familiar to me and then when Igor Mikhailovich began to speak I understood that when I uh, read the books by Anastasia Novak, I was thinking what the, um, what was the prototype of a um, main character. Usually when a uh, writer writes uh, books, he has um, something what to, to rely on. And when I was been, uh, looking for the author, who is she? I was um, searching in Google, didn't find the answers, and then I see that Sensei himself sits um, before me, in front of me. I was, uh, of course, in, uh, shocked a bit. And when I was uh, listening to uh, the video, after all, I immediately joined, get uh, to know about Alatra, um, participants from Kyrgyzstan, and then when <laughs> I'm so sorry I have here Mal next to me. When I already uh, get acquainted with participants uh, from Alatra movement, I read the, the Alatra book, and exactly after that, everything falls in its place. I began to feel I didn't know that there is a lot of TV yet I was just listening to um, the videos um, and um, the videos was the station of Igor Mikhailovich after it, the spiritual world began to open up for me and I started to understand the Bible, the Quran and in my inner world the significant changes um, started to have place. Before that I didn't understood what does it mean to not to pay attention to yourself. I'm a, a living person, how can I do this? But the videos with Igor Mikhailovich helped me to figure it out. When it says that you shouldn't pay attention to yourself, it means that when you you pay too much of attention it, be, it uh, means that you begin to be emotional and when you talk to your opponent exactly you pay attention to him then you just uh, feel such a when you feel such peace inside of you and you just observing from the outside what is happening and what is my interest in the opponent starts to feel the state of mind and he also begins to be calm and then the dialogue begins 
uh, when I work, started to work on myself, everything became harmoniously at, at home as well with my relatives. I tried to tell them about this um, knowledge they didn't really, uh, wasn't really interested in them, but when you begin to change yourself, the environment around you changes as well. And before I uh, go to work, I listen to the videos with Igor Mikhailovich and um, it gives me a, such a um, feeling. When you go at work, you um, meet the people, they started to smile at you, and then I understood that I was smiling myself, because um, exactly videos of the how did give me this charge, this positive energy, even through YouTube, through the internet, and it is just a, such a great and the such um, changes occur in my life. Thank you so much. Now I would like to give the floor to Ike from Armenia. Good afternoon. I would like to congratulate all of us on this holiday. And I would like to share my story. My childhood had a very acute perception of duality. I didn't know what it was, why one of my side loves and the other side doesn't want that. And I was searching, I was looking for answers, I wanted to know. And back then, there was no truthful information that was available to me. And I was searching. I was buying some books, and I was watching the videos that were available back then. I wanted to know myself. I read heaps of books, and I still was unable to find answers to my questions. But I never stopped searching. I was doing different practices. I was studying philosophy, psychology, science, everything I could study. And this happened for 30 years. And then, once I was browsing the internet and I found the advertisement of the Alatra book, and I noticed that one side that I have is getting closer to this book, but the other one did not want me to read that book. So I had to make extra effort to make my hand click on this button. And then I read this book and I started reading it. And then, after reading several pages, I knew very well that this was it. This is what exactly I'd been looking for for the past 30 years. I found the knowledge that I had been looking for. And this was already the beginning of my introduction to the primordial knowledge. And then videos with Igor Mihailovich came out. And since the very first videos, I realized uh, I knew who he was, and this was pure joy. This was joy of understanding that these 30 years weren't wasted. It was a gift for me from above from the spiritual world. As a sign of gratitude to this uh, gift, I wrote a small poem and I want to read it out loud. Dawn has come, the time to wake up. The eye is inspired by the eye. I found the key the key that opens 
the depth of the heart. Open my door. I'm going home. I'm leaving doubts behind. And I pray to you to forgive me, to forgive my sins and to find my salvation in your love. Deep gratitude to Igor Mikhailovich for what we have, for the knowledge, for this help that the spiritual world is uh, doing through us, through him. A lot of gratitude to our participants for the unity that we feel in our lives. We feel towards each other, we are together, and we will definitely reach that goal that has been set before us. And now, dear friends, I suggest we watch a video with the participation of Igor Mikhailovich Danilov, the upcoming cataclysms on relationships of people. Igor Mikhailovich, tell us what does the first step to God begin with? The first step to God? I would say with honesty. With honesty with oneself. It's when a person asks himself, who am I, honestly, and starts to see what he is for. Is he just a combination of different molecules and so on? Such a complicated machinery, what is it needed for? When he starts to ask again, why am I here, what for, and who I, from this first question, who am I, starts the path to God, or, on the contrary, into the opposite direction, depending on which answer he chooses for himself and who will be controlling him at that time. Hello, dear friends. My name is Vyacheslav. I'm from Uzbekistan, Tashkent. I got acquainted with Anastasia Novik's books about two years ago by accident. As it often happens, I saw an advertisement of the Alatra book, but for some reason I didn't open it. But I decided to visit the website to see what other books this author had. And I saw books by Anastasia Novik from the Sensei series. So I downloaded book number one, I started reading it, and on um, page five or six I downloaded everything else, and it was something incredible and indescribable. So emotions, feelings, discoveries, revelations, and a lot of answers to the questions that uh, I'd been interested in. I'd been reading things in psychology and esoterics, but here, in simple terms, there were such plain answers that I was unable to find in other books. I started sharing this information with my uh, friends, with the people that I knew. I had such inspiration after reading this book, but after a month, I sort of started seeing that this inspiration declined. I started to get back into the routine, into work, and but then after three weeks I felt inner need, inner desire, inner call for reading these books once again. It was difficult to describe, this feeling came from inside of me, that I needed to do it, and I started reading these books, and then I also visited the website uh, Alatra. From time to time I saw there were videos there, but for some reason I never, decided, never wanted to open this website and these links. And then I read the books again, and I received this inner inspiration, this, these feelings. And at one point, I decided to watch uh, these videos. I opened uh, the first video that I saw, and then I heard the introduction, Igor Mikhailovich Danilov. And for me, it was, of course, this um, something I couldn't understand because my mind uh, could not understand. It couldn't be a real person. It uh, must be just a character. Couldn't be the real character. But then. Um, 
Igor Mikhailovich started talking and today I felt that I had no doubts that that was Sensei and at that point I received so much um, response. I mean, I had such inspiration when I was reading it, but I had some small doubts. But then all, the, all of these doubts were gone. This was it. This is what I've been looking for, for um, this knowledge. And I don't know, this was such inspiration, such... I remember watching one videos with Igor Mihailovich and he said there, what can be more beautiful when you feel the connection with God inside of you? And at that point I felt so joy, so much joy inside of me. So I felt so light, so easy. And then uh, I was asked like, what, what are you um, happy about? You don't hear sort of this voice of God. But at that point, I did not know that the voice of God is a uh, metaphor that God talks to us through feelings. And I can say that this was probably one of the first inner sensations, inner feelings, what they call um, joining God. When you feel this joy, when you feel this uh, happiness, when it overflows inside of you, and I also wanted to share a point uh, of understanding. There was uh, this video, The Truth of Life. At the end of the video, people were started to saying goodbye. And Tatiana thanked Igor Mikhailovich Danilov. And he said in response, thank you. Thank you for being with us. And before that, all the people who were watching videos, they received huge spiritual experience, huge um, spiritual present from the spiritual world, huge spiritual response. At that point, I realized how much the spiritual world loves us, how, um, how actually how it is able to share and this was this example of how we must be we just must love each other despite of everything despite the fact that we fall that we make mistakes still the spiritual world is generous it helps us it supports us and we must strive for the same thing and actually because of this understanding i realized that we have responsibility before each other, the responsibility to share this information with other people, to work on ourselves, to participate in projects, to just love without anything else, just love each other. Thank you, friends. And now I would like to give the floor to Anna from Michigan. Thank you very much. My name is Anna. I'm from Fenton, Michigan, USA. And I would like to share my story, which is kind of, it resonates and echoes with Vyacheslav's story. I got the books from uh, into my hands uh, very uh, long ago. The first book I got, it was 10 years ago. It was the book Sensei. And I actually read this book and all the all other books, and I really felt the truth in these books. But there was a thought: Is it possible, or is, it might be true, or might be not? And um, there were some distractions later on. In one of the books, there was such a saying that in order not to lose this understanding, in order not to lose feelings, you need to go back to the source. And that's what I was doing. I was um, reading rereading the books many times. And then I started noticing that climate is changing. My husband and I were working as uh, drivers, long-distance drivers, and I saw that uh, heavy snowfall uh, began in May in the places where it wasn't supposed to. So, And then I saw the climate control video, and I saw there are other participants of the movement. At that time, my consciousness told me there are so many of them. They will, do, they will do everything without you. And I just continued living. And then several more years passed. And after that, I, made, I noted that climate is really changing. So I 
went to the Alatra TV site and I uh, website and I saw climate control videos again. I was driving a huge truck at that point and I was listening to the video about climate. It was out to play on YouTube, like automatic, uh, automatic play of videos. It was just wonderful nature and it was just an ordinary day of a driver. And uh, my, it was, I was so amazed when um, the next video was the video live. It was the point, you know, from the very first seconds of this, of this video, I understood thousands of things. I didn't have any doubts anymore. And I, it was the most beautiful moment in my, in my life, the most wonderful moment. They were just talking. It was simple talk between two people. But what I felt, you know, well, uh, even if we take the words from all the languages of the world, it will not be enough to convey my feelings. My world just overturned. I didn't want to talk anymore. My body was driving the truck. It was living separately from from me, but me, the real, was somewhere else. I was such an incredible feeling, like Sensei is real, Sensei is real, that was the kind of thoughts I had. And in a month, uh, a month after I uh, watched the video live, I watched all other videos, I was subscribed to mailing from Alatra TV for many years, but I didn't open these mails, uh, basically, I there were these videos, but something stopped me. Then, within a month, when I actually watched all the videos available, available, I understood that I had to do something. I had to get in touch with other participants. And then my conscience asked me, what will you write to them? I thought, really, what I would write? Take me to yourselves? Uh, and this, at some point, I just took my phone and went to the Alatra TV website and wrote a letter that something should be done involve me um, the excellent it wasn't lit it's not literal but the message was something like that there were risings and falls after that but what I felt there was such a feeling as if you found your true home and it's uh, very difficult to convey it in words you can only feel it also, I would like to uh, share my um, experience of participating in the project. Last year, we were lucky to uh, visit Kyiv, and I would like to share the importance of uh, sharing your experience with other people. We were standing with the guys on a bus stop and we were sharing impressions. Uh, we were participating in voicing over the video, suicide, uh, uh, the after death fate. And one of, one of the participants, Jason, said that when uh, you feel that your consciousness resists and doesn't want to do something, it means that it's very important and you must do this. I remember this word. I thank Jason so much for this experience and it helped me a lot. Last summer, guys came in touch with me from the breaking news. They asked me to record a video report. And the first thoughts I had, what kind of a reporter are you? You're a driver, you have roots, you are busy, don't do that. And of course, I said yes. I got in touch with the guys and I asked whether I can record the video in advance. They agreed. And... I was working then uh, on the day when I needed to record uh, the report, uh, video report. I found a bus stop, a, a stop for my truck. Uh, I didn't have good lighting at that point. I, I just took a, day, a break. I took my camera. Uh, stopped my truck on a good stopping place and I found a, play, uh, a place to record, uh, took my laptop and I recorded the video and sent it to the guy. So uh, everything was fine, uh, although consciousness said that uh, you're tired, you don't have work, you don't have an opportunity. But I did it. Friends, I would really like to say that I hope this experience will be useful to someone. And if consciousness says no, 
uh, surely think maybe it's very important. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. You really drew me to a thought uh, that uh, I had a similar experience of how not to listen to your consciousness. Uh, in particular, I had this uh, experience with the voicing over videos and with the simultaneous interpreting. My consciousness was saying, what will you do? How can you do this at all? Look how ter what terrible voice you have, don't... Uh, you'll be ashamed, uh, you forget words, and etc., etc. And it told me a lot of things, but uh, eventually, if you don't listen to consciousness, you get amazed with the results, because the results are really wonderful. The videos you record and edit are wonderful, and the both are always perfect, and simultaneous interpretation is perfect. Although consciousness all the t uh, it says that it's terrible all the time, but you uh, recall the words on time, eventually you just don't focus on that and that's it. Really, you know, it is such a wonderful, valuable experience. For me also, this, this video life, just as you, I was uh, driving a car and just uh, I played the video life uh, in the car and I remember this moment when Tatiana in this video, uh, she, she was saying that consciousness is uh, leaving her and uh, at that moment I also had such a sensation such a feeling that as if I didn't have any questions anymore from consciousness I had such a grace such a bliss I felt such gratitude and love and it was so clear and uh, at that moment Igor Mikhailovich said do your best because this is service do your best anyway uh, do your best you know to put it in words and explain it to other people explain what you understood try to convey it to others it is you know there was such an upsurge I after that video I decided to act actively I also wrote a message to the Alatra TV email I uh, declared my intention to join I asked what I can do and also I would like to share you know I had such a moment when definitely you get distracted to many things and there was such a push from Igor Mikhailovich when at the end of last year he asked all of us a question do you need a latra uh, just ask you uh, just answer honestly it was in the beginning of last year and at that time I had even more search and intention that I need to do something and to increase my efficiency my productivity and I think that my persona you know uh, it feels nice when she gets such surges pushes and such a support from every video because every video reminds us that we need to keep uh, stick to the past we don't uh, we shouldn't distract get distracted we should stay in this great love and you know uh, I also like to express my greatest um, Th uh, gratitude for the knowledge which is conveyed because for my persona in particular I had such a search for scientific uh, you know all kinds of explanations news I with such a passion and admiration I read the book Zoosmos where there are so many facts and uh, trends and hints on various sciences and how actually the universe is arranged and then in the book Alatra and and in the video XP energy and uh, with and the uh, prospects of uh, of civilization uh, create society the prospects of civilizations about this information bricks blocks you know uh, the more I know the more I understand this information how this is arranged of course Igor Mikhailovich you know, he conveys this information so carefully to us, gradually, in order for consciousness of all people to perceive this information step by step, not at once. So, 
I there is such a great thanks and regarding this careful conveyance of information there is such an even a shocking information which seemed uh, to be shocking about genre about aliens uh, basically it wasn't wasn't concealed conveyed and revealed to us at once uh, immediately but it was late and gradually and it was right in time when official news appeared that there indeed um, uh, there are aliens uh, there was uh, everything is so on time and Many, many thanks, many thanks to you all as well, and many thanks to Igor Mikhailovich, many thanks to the team, to the guys who participate in the videos and editing. Thank you for actually um, that we are here today and we remind ourselves and each other of what is the main thing and the most important. Thank you very much, Ludmila, for sharing. Thank you, Anna. I would like to share also and add many thanks to our viewers who are writing comments. Of course, we'll read out some of them again. And also, we would like to remind you that if you have any topics or questions which you are seeking answers to, and if you would like to, uh, would like that these topics would be voiced in the videos, Vizikar Mikhailovich Danilov, please write these questions in the comments commentary section. Uh, previously, our speakers shared their experience, and I would like to say how joyful it is when people are sharing, when people are joining. Actually, we are from the same state in the USA with Anna, and I remember the day when Anna wrote to us and we had a call. It was such joyful, and we saw that our family is growing. It is so joyful, it is so inspiring. Thank you very much again. Also, uh, such a point echoed that you know, that you share, you are so sincere in sharing your stories, it becomes clear that in all our stories there is some universal common grain of, of the moment when we choose the knowledge and we when we are ignited with this spirit and we can act and really act and we understand that in this state we can do anything and we are capable of doing things and we are capable of building the creative society when we don't listen to consciousness but when we listen to the spirit we get ignited and can unite for real i would like to thank all the speakers for their sincerity and i would like to thank all the viewers who are listening and watching us now and writing comments i would like to read out some of them Anastasia is writing. It is so wonderful because each one, each person has their own story and they're treating it so tenderly. It's so, it's the purest thing that happened to us. But listening to people, I understand that all these stories have something in common. Also, Ilya was writing that when he was reading Sensei book, it seemed to him that the Sensei is the friend which I didn't have, but I believed in him all the time that he is near us. Also, there's a comment from Venera, Vine a uh, great uh, boundless love and gratitude to Igor Mikhailovich. Thanks to the spiritual world and thanks to the entire Latra TV team and all the participants of Latra movement. And another comment I'll read it out. I'm reading, I'm listening. I'm learning and from the divine myself I support and thank all the movement and thank Allah for knowing this knowledge. I thank Allah for living during these days. So we can see that here we not only have speakers, but together with us, we have viewers from all over the world who are watching us and sharing their little stories in the commentary section. I would like to thank everyone for sincerity, for love, and that we respond to the spiritual world's love. And now I give the floor to Anastasia from the Far East. Greetings all of you, dear friends, I'm happy to listen to you all and um, I would like to share my story as well. I had many questions and I couldn't find answers to them and I was saying to myself that I will grow and find answers to them in any case. And finally I got the knowledge and uh, I actually found answers to all the questions I had since my childhood. It's so important for me. Also, 
I would like to share that for me is very important that in our movement there are people who are elder, who are younger than myself, and it's so valuable that we help each other in society. Uh, it felt uh, we usually feel like people of different ages and they are elder or younger, but in the movement, when uh, the knowledge unites us, you always have something to share and uh, other people share with you. And this is so wonderful that there are no, there is no difference between us. Uh, it feels like we are the same, we are equal, it's very important. Thank you very much. I give the floor to the next speaker. Thank you so much. My name is uh, Mikhail, I'm from Poland. And I'm participant of the Alatra movement. Now we are dubbing uh, information into Polish and we are translating videos with the participation of Igor Mikhailovich Danilov. And I wanted to share with you my own experience, how it happened for me. I was born in a Catholic family and uh, my parents went to the church, they were taking me there, but I did not have this sincere thing, because uh, children feel a lot, or um, they may not feel, and when I was 20 years old, or for 20 years, I've been interested in different religions, different points, what unites all religions, what truth is. And then my friend suggested I read books by Anastasia Novik, and he inspired me. Like, it gives so much positivity gives such a positive charge. And then I found out about the Creative Society project. And for me, this was a realization that there are other positive people who try to change something in this world so that all of us live better. And this also inspired me. So thank you all. Let's continue like this. And now I would like to offer you to watch the video called Freedom from the Dictatorship of the Beast, a fragment. Thank you. Names of consciousness. Where is when it is true, when it is alive? When it overfills you, then excuse me, you won't be lying on a couch and dreaming. Yes, moreover, a personality means action. When you understand that there is God, when you feel this love coming from Him, well, and you understand that so many angels are jailed and remain in a miserable state because of their beasts that young them as chickens, then yes, it starts aching right here. And you wish to give a bit of freedom, to help. It is their choice. One cannot dictate. Don't do this, do that. No. A human has the right to choose. If one wants to be a chicken, let one be. But if one wants to become an angel, one should become an angel. It's impossible to hold this. And inaction is unrealistic here. Inaction means a lie from consciousness. This is a substitution. Yes, yes, because personality means of course. inner action, that is aimed at creative actions. Personality is a part of the spiritual world. Yes. And being, so to say, in an oppressed state, it is striving for home. It is moving. And since it is moving, much is changing. Every person wants that affinity yes. and to become an angel. And who forbids him? But consciousness draws him a picture that he'll become an angel someday. It's the first in the choice when a human awakes, when he feels. That's when he becomes an angel. Though a little plucked and a little weak, but an angel. 
But this is already the beginning, this is already a movement. This is a perfect understanding of the fact that now you're an angel, not someday. This is already the beginning, of course. Well, put it simply, a human is both an angel and a beast. The only question is who dominates and what will remain after a short period of time we call life, the angel or the beast, dead or alive. Not to succumb to panic that drives a person to achieve in this, but to feel that now you're feeling God, that now you're being in this. And this is what you should live for. An angel is precisely a part of the sun. This being itself radiates. There is true love. It is love in the spiritual world. It is love which is boundless or divine love. There are no gender differences in it. There is nothing in it. It is unity of people. Indeed, it is the unity of people in love. Why? Because in that world there is nothing except happiness and love. There are no negative emotions there. Well, it's for those who neither understand nor know why there are no negative emotions. Because they cannot exist there. There are no emotions there at all. There is happiness, there is love there. This is what that world is, because it's the world of God. Hello, my name is Victoria. I'm from Minsk, Belarus. I would like to share my story how the books by Anastasia Novik and the videos with Igor Mikhailovich Danilov helped me to cope with panic attacks, which I had even in, since student uh, years. And for 30 years I was fighting with these attacks. And the more I was fighting with them, the stronger they became and more frequent. And uh, hospitals and various methods didn't help. I went to various fortune tellers, exorcists, and everyone possible uh, acupuncture, and it helped only for a certain while, but then attacks came with extra force and there was such a state that I didn't have even strength to carry a spoon and my sister was feeding me. I was afraid of going out of home. I was uh, always uh, like dragged towards the balcony. I was uh, praying to God that I want to leave. Help me. Help me, God. And in as a short while, my friends came uh, with books uh, uh, by Anastasia Nova, the books Sensei. I read them all at once and I felt relief right away. And at Facebook, I found uh, an announcement there is a club of uh, uh, the readers of the books. And then I also uh, found information that the, there will be a meeting with psychotherapist Tatiana Zinchenko. I talked to her about panic attacks, whether it's possible to cope with them, because physicians said, told me that just uh, uh, you'll be uh, taking antidepressants until the end of your life but Tatiana explained to me that panic attacks are uh, expression of the fear of death but because of body will die anyway uh, and all people all people's body will die so we have we should develop the spirit what is eternal in us that's how i started working on myself then the book alatra appeared then uh, the video consciousness and personality from the inevitably dead to the eternal alive and i understood that a human is dual by his nature and there is a material component, body and, co body and consciousness, and there is a spiritual component, soul and personality. I understood that I'm personality, I'm not conscious, I'm not body. I can choose any thought with my attention, I can invest attention into love, because only love saves from the terrible beast, from this slavery of consciousness. Then there was the video Freedom from Beast Dictatorship Within Yourself with the participation of Igor Mikhailovich Danilov. And he told us, like, he talked to us as, as to friends. He said, rejoice, whatever happens, no matter whether it's raining or dull outside, after a certain while you won't see it anymore. Be happy, your wallpaper is turned, but 
uh, it is here you be happy that you uh, have a roof over your head that you live and if consciousness uh, says that your neighbor is bad, ask him uh, what is bad about this neighbor and play with this uh, consciousness, talk to it sort of as a game and say that I love God, everything is fine with me. And no matter how consciousness tries to scare me, I always say it's you who is bad, who feel bad, but I love God, I'm fine. And uh, I manage to switch to positivity and attacks left me. It's so important. It was so important for me to understand that consciousness is not me. And it can help a lot of people to understand this and not to listen to consciousness in your head. You should understand that your personality, you can live in joy and happiness and love. You can invest the power of attention, which is tremendous, into joy and love. When we are in joy and love, any fear just goes away. There is no fear. Thanks to Alatra, I now participate in the projects. I, uh, kind of, I, I'm participating in recording social videos. I try myself as an actress. Um, uh, you know, in the past, I was so scared, but now I can even fly on the airplane without any fears, without any pills. And it's already been four years since 2017. I decided that I will change uh, my life and I stopped taking antidepressants. Now many of my acquaintances see and they kind of transfer information to others that you also will be able to because Victoria was uh, able to. And the people watching this video, thanks a lot to Igor Mikhailovich and to the spiritual world for this knowledge which gives us a chance to live. And as Igor Mikhailovich said in one of the videos that happiness cannot be temporary, love cannot be temporary, freedom cannot be temporary. This, these are the components of one of the same process which is called life. Life should be eternal, life cannot be temporary. So. Oh, dear friends, let us together live in joy and love and let's build the creative society together on our planet. Now I'll give the floor to Kano from Africa. Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Kano Eleke. I live in Nigeria, I'm from Africa. Uh, I would like to share with you uh, my impressions about Alatra the first time I met it, as well as my, my later impressions about the same book and the author and uh, Igram Mikhailovich after I have read the book. The first time I came across the book, uh, somebody has posted it on my Facebook page. And I remember my impression was, oh, a book advertising itself as being, uh, uh, having containing primordial knowledge, a sort of a spiritual encyclopedia. I was like, uh, what new is it going to give? So many books on spirituality, and yet the world is getting more divided. Uh, that was the consciousness speaking. And uh, I heard the same, I downloaded the book. And then the consciousness came again and said to me, uh, wow, the book is so bulky, so many chapters, and then it has discussed so many topics. Uh, how are we sure it's going to discuss these topics in depth? All the same, I, I picked up the courage to read the book, and uh, the moment I started reading it, uh, it, was, it was amazing. It's just something you cannot describe because the, 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 the knowledge in it were uh, things I feel inside. They were confirmations of truths that I already uh, knew and yet revelations of more truth that I didn't at that time know. Uh, I remember also wondering who the author could be, especially the gentleman, Regent Japo, who was he? And then if he is still on earth, if he's alive, because I also had met him when I read the Sensei series, I met him as Sensei. So I was like, who could this be with so much knowledge? Uh, and that was the first question I asked Sajai, uh, Sagai Chenomaf. Uh, he was the first uh, lateral participant that I contacted. And I asked him, is this uh, Sensei on earth? Is he still alive? He laughed and said, yeah, Sensei is alive. And then I remember when I watched uh, some of the video clips 
with the participation of Igra Mikulovich Danilov. You know, I, I, it, he came across me differently from how I had imagined him because when I was reading that book, a man with such knowledge, I was like uh, uh, building some images of him. I say he is going to look uh, imperial, and a man that is with so much power because of uh, that knowledge, that deep knowledge he has. But to my greatest surprise, when I saw him, I think that was the video clip on prospects of civilization. There he was sitting and answering uh, uh, questions that uh, have been raging in my mind, and then providing knowledge about creation generally. And he was so simple. You know, there was not that, uh, uh, there was no exuding of power of any kind from him. Rather, he was just like a friend, you know, looking so humble, doing his best to answer those questions in very simple, clear terms. I was really, uh, I, was, uh, I was humbled, you know, by that, uh, the, the image I saw of uh, Igra Mikhailovich. But that was not all about it. You know, I told you that when I saw Alatra, the first question I asked myself was, what new uh, knowledge will they provide? After all, we have so much spiritual knowledge and yet the world is getting divided. Now, the answers, the revelations uh, Igram Echolevich made in that video clip on prospect of uh, civilization, it uh, helped me to understand uh, not just what I am, but at the same time, why uh, creative society probably might have failed in the past and probably why the world is still the way it is, especially when we look at the fact that we are dominated by consciousness and then uh, the need for power, the greed for power and uh, you know, profit making has made our world not just what it could be. So I really thank uh, the team that helped to translate uh, Igra uh, uh species into English for people like me that don't speak uh, Russian, I could at least follow what is what's being said. And uh, another thing that I would want to share with you is that after having watched Igra Michalevich, the simplicity uh, of the gentleman, uh, I was seeing in him a friend. I was feeling some affinity. I was looking at a real human being because he never made claims of, you know, he just was even addressing us as friends and, and saying, I'm also a human like you. I was seeing what a human being should be and it inspired me uh, to want to be a true human being like him, uh, a human being that carries the love of God deep inside him. And that is why uh, I am quite, quite, quite happy that I meet uh, the Creative Society and people who want to uh, work towards creating a society where you know we can be truly human beings. Thank you for listening to me, and uh, I would want at this stage to also uh, give the floor to the next speaker. Thank you again. Mm -hmm. Thank you very Спасибо much, Kanu, for sharing. It was so pleasant to hear it from вас. you. And we would um, also like to remind our dear viewers that our live broadcast will take place throughout this whole week of solidarity, starting from 4 p.m. There will be different topics. Uh, please join. We really are waiting for the experience of other participants. It will be very, very interesting. Please join us. Also, I would like to read out some comments which we got. It is not it's possible to describe with words how these lights of uh, love are igniting in the joining love, uh, in the uniting uh, love. And it's so nice that there are so many of us. Uh, thank you all, guys. Marina is writing. There is no, uh, between us, there is uh, no, there are no more borders, nationalities or religions or age. We are all one family. Right now, we feel a wave of joy joy, love and creation between us, among us. And this is a very important comment for me. Yulia is writing, thank you very much for Igor Mikhailovich for his answer to the main question of my life. What is the meaning of our residence here on Earth? I would also like to share my experience of getting acquainted with the knowledge that was four years ago. I had the same question. I was interested. What is the meaning of life? And I think that each of us is thinking about that. 
At that moment, I accidentally I came across a girl who is also the participant of the international Alatra International Public Movement, and she told me about the books and about the videos with Igor Mikhailovich Danilo. And uh, when we while we were driving home, uh, uh, I already ordered the books, but I started reading. Uh, I was waiting for printed versions, but I was reading online. And uh, and if you don't know, dear viewers, you can find all the books free of charge online. But uh, I had no doubt while reading these books, you kind of like recall, you understand it, even recall what is the real meaning of life. And that's the most important thing. Now I would like to present to you a video fragment from the program Consciousness and Personality from the Inevitably Dead to the Eternally Alive. А живое как раз порождает только живое. Она порождает вот эту внутреннюю духовную любовь. Well, the alive exactly begets on the alive, it begets the inner spiritual love, and this is very important. It is so important to find this source in yourself, it opens you up, it opens up an unboundless source of joy and of happiness, it is boundless, endless and infinite, and it gives life to everyone who accepts it on, uh, on deepest feeling. It gives it to all people who made their choice and live by it every day. In the Bible, in the Gospel of John, there is a moment when Jesus asked a woman for a drink of earthly water. He said, everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Hello, my name is Irena, I'm from Germany. There are so many stories which we've heard, and we are all in the stories all over the world. I got uh, came across the knowledge first from the books uh, by Anastasia Novak. There was no Alatra books at that time, but there were other books, and uh, at that time I perceived them as some invented story, but with some information about meditations. And I, I thought that they also wanted to convey us knowledge about the meditations. Then uh, somebody advised me to watch a video on YouTube with some Igor Mikhailovich. Well, I got interested, maybe it's a coincidence. And uh, when I was watching this video, I had these thoughts uh, running around in my head, whether it's him or not, and whether it's the main character of the books or not. And uh, when I but I when, when, when I watched the video live until the end, uh, Igor Mikhailovich actually uh, raised his uh, eyes towards the camera uh, when he was saying goodbye. And that's several fractions of a second. There was this uh, pure clarity that it is him. And he's real, and he's with us. And everything that is written in those books is total truth. There are no doubts from that moment on. And soon I read the book Alatra, where uh, this creative format of society is described. I really want to live in the form in a creative society, and I really want to know that next generations will also be living in a happy society. And I understood that in order to build such a society, we first of all need to become a part of this creative society. Like already now, we need to develop humane qualities in ourselves, like uh, and we need to put our beasts on a short leash. Uh, I didn't understand quite many things. What in particular I should do in order to change something? I had thoughts that I don't feel, I cannot feel, but then uh, there was such a helpful tool that Igor Mikhailovich voiced in the video Freedom from Beast Dictatorship Within Yourself. It's about rejecting negative thoughts. When you catch negative thoughts and stop them and change them for the positive ones, 
Also, it is very helpful to work in the projects and groups to switch from negative imposed thoughts to something positive. And uh, you don't just switch your attention, but you get a deeper understanding of the information which is provided and which is very important for me. You know, before the meeting, because encountering the knowledge and Alatra, I was living in sort of a small world. Like, uh, I'm not doing anything to anyone and don't touch me. And I didn't see anything um, beyond my nose, to be honest. But uh, information which is given in the Alatra book and in such videos as Atlantis and climate videos, uh, I got an understanding of what is globally happening in the world. I started to understand how history is being written and what is the cyclicity and that the way out of this situation is available. In the past, you know, I heard in news, on the news, that there are countries where there is lack of portable water, drinking water, there are some disasters, but I had, I was passive. I thought, what I could do? Uh, like, uh, there are specialists, they will do something, but now you know that you really can do something and you should actively do something, that we are all one family and our power is in unification, because all together we can do a lot and even the sea will be shallow for us now i would like to give the floor to eager to italy thank you very much hello friends thank you iran my name is eager i live in italy in the city of Varadero. I got acquainted with knowledge through YouTube. Once I saw there Igor Mikhailovich and I recognized him because I was at his consultation in Kiev once. And when I saw the first video on YouTube, I felt I became very interested. I thought this is the doctor um, and I was there with him and I clicked on the video. I really like it. It was one of the first videos on the Alatra TV Unity. And when I saw it, I understood that it is truth. And after that, I watched it several times because I had the, a pleasant feeling. I especially I would like to thank for the video Freedom from the Dictatorship uh, of the Beast inside yourself. And there is a moment when Ingrid Mahalovic asks Jana and Tatiana, how can I help my friend that is looking at us? Yes, he is a personality. And when I was l listening to it, it was though he is speaking about myself. And he said, what instrument? Um, you should give him that uh, everything and and when, when he can start on this path and he said do not accept bad thoughts and when I heard this everything became clear this is if I got received an extraction for life during a lifetime I catch myself on several moments that you I get up in the morning everything is well day after day but some there are some moments when some kind of negative rolls to myself and I couldn't stop myself and I didn't understand why it comes why the states change so dramatically and when I got acquainted to knowledge I started to understand everything, how our consciousness um, enslaves us and how it is important to to give attention and feelings to positive thoughts. Thank you very much, Ingram Halich, for your help. And now let's watch a fragment from the video uh, Freedom from Dictatorship Within Yourself. In order not to experience evil, not to experience suffering and pain, what should one do? 
one should reject bad thoughts. When a person realizes that he wants to be happy, to be happy and my friend does want to experience joy, he needs the simplest technique and the simplest tool. It's to reject, say, Oppressive thoughts. Oppressive for instance, thoughts. A thought for instance, into your head, a thought comes that into your head that you are poor, suffering, you are poor. No, but you say, no, I'm happy, I love God. Like just like that, even in a form of a game, just to start playing, playing. forbid your, your consciousness to judge anyone, to hate, to, hate, to be to angry, angry with, with anyone. anyone. Just, just forbid, forbid it. it. No, say, I do no, it. I won't do it. Consciousness says, this is a bad person, but you say, why is he bad? What makes him worse than me? Just to answer like this, to counter, to force a part of consciousness, you should understand one thing. Well, my dear friend, remember one thing. You are financing your thoughts. It's really so. You don't order thoughts in your head. They come from outside. Do you have doubts? Just sit and think. Let's think about a butterfly. Yes, you can see a butterfly, you can imagine it in your head right now. Try to keep this butterfly in your head for five minutes, and you will realize that you won't be able to keep it. Fish will come into your head, monkeys, lemons, oranges, a lame neighbor, well, whoever you want. And this butterfly will be mixed with them. But you just try to keep the butterfly. You won't succeed. Why? Because you are not the master of consciousness. And when you realize that you are not the master of consciousness, but precisely with your attention you are financing that, which you are investing and paying your attention to this, right? Meaning, what is in your head, that you are kind of financing. And precisely this financing, meaning energy spending, bring these or those thoughts to life. Later on, they can influence you, influence your life and the life of people who surround you. Why? Because having accepted a thought that this person is bad, you start treating him as a bad person, you reject him. And what makes him worse than you? Here's a simple question. But when this thought comes and you say, no, hold on, I don't need this thought, I won't judge this person. Just as simple as that. And you have refused and think about what is good. Consciousness is trying again to foil some bad thought, evil, fear or hatred on you, it is trying to belittle or elevate you, whereas you just say, no, I want about love, about joy, however, not in understanding of person-to-person -person love, but about love in the highest understanding. Just be happy, just be happy that you are breathing. Even if you are ill, even if you have a hard time and feel bad, look that there is green grass, that there is blue sky, even if it's grey covered with clouds. Well, what's the difference? Even if it's raining and there is a storm, look at that rain and storm. Understand one thing, that in a short while you won't see this. Why? Because life is too short, and what seems a distant future to you, it will happen today, right now. It's just that years will fly by, and this now will come. Well, it's just like an experiment. You can set a date in your life. It doesn't matter, will it be an hour or two, a month, a day, a year or ten years, definitely this now will come. Time passes very quickly, and everything that seemed to be far away becomes the past. This is true. The only question is, where these years have gone? Into nothingness? Or have you used them for something important, something necessary? Something important necessary in human understanding, that which the system tells about, is to build a house, well, actually, as always, to provide for your everyday life. I won't say that it is bad, and you should do this. This, you have to do this. Your body is your car, and you have to keep it clean and healthy. Well, and it's normal. Consciousness must work, body must work, it must earn and support itself. This is actually a natural process, it's not even discussed, but it shouldn't dictate to you as a personality. And in order to realize that you are a personality, you start forbidding consciousness to accept bad thoughts and start accepting only good thoughts. So you say, I don't want what is bad, I want what is good, I want to rejoice. It starts to oppress you. For example, someone bothers you, 
But you go outside and just look at the grey sky, at the rain or at the sun and simply be happy. Just put away the thought and rejoice at what you see. It doesn't really matter, even if you look at, say, torn wallpaper. Be happy that you see it and that it is there. And this joy, it is little, tiny and quick passing because consciousness is trying to erase it. But if you have experienced it once, you can always increase it once again. And every time, every day, you will increase and intensify your every experience. And finally you'll realize that you dictate to consciousness. And only those thoughts come which you want, because you reject others. You feel, you start feeling that there is love. You start feeling that there is joy. And life becomes more beautiful. Greetings, everybody. My name is Robert, I'm from Slovakia, and I help with voiceovers of various videos in uh, Alatra TV. So I did quite of them already. And when they send me the text, is usually by the length of the text that I can tell how long will it take, and so on. And I remember when my friends from Kiev have sent me a text for the video, what prophets dreamed of. And I was just looking at it and seeing how long it was. I said, okay, it was Tuesday evening. And I was thinking, well, maybe by Sunday, it will be ready. Uh, the next day on Wednesday was a holiday in Slovakia. So I started early in the morning. And from that point, I just lost track of time. I don't know how it all went. I was just going. And when the last words were recorded, it was still Wednesday evening. I was watching on the monitor and I could not believe what just had happened. That, that feeling inside during the voiceover, it was something that cannot be described by words. It was like if I was talking about something that was long forgotten and rediscovered, something that somewhere deep inside, I know about it and I know every word is true. I was trembling and it's, my eyes were just glowing. When I walked down to tell my wife that it's done, uh, I, cannot rem I can still remember the, the expression on her face because she thought I was joking. So that feeling that I had inside from that point is with me all the time, whether I walk to work or whether I walk the street, I still have that feeling. And that's something that is wonderful. And thank you to Igor Mikhailovich for all these videos that have the truth inside of them and are so sincere that just, a great gift for all the humanity and all the people. Thank you. I would like to introduce and pass word to Eras Yusuf from Uzbekistan to also share his experience and his feelings and thoughts. Thanks. Thank you. Hello, friends. My name is Eras. I'm from Uzbekistan. I would like to share also uh, on how I got acquainted with knowledge, how I got acquainted with the books by Anastasia Novak. In my time, I was very interested in esotericism and there was always such an inner message 
uh, to in cell development to find out what drives a person what is some inner motives in a person and what is a human why a person came to this world why i came here why is all and in my time it uh, it inspired me to to go for sports for ushu classes and in my life there were some great masters that that teached away taught away but still somewhere inside and soul uh, some unremain unresolved questions uh, some unresolved questions remained and at one moment at one of the you know, websites I came across the books of Anastasia Novak Sensei and there were four books immediately posted and when I saw it, them when I read them well inside me everything turned upside down and it turns out that the the plot itself it's very simple it, it tells about a girl about her fate and life uh, about these vicissitudes and how she uh, gets answers to her questions and the same questions i understood i had the same questions and when i started to read it when I when I encountered when I faced with all these questions and how simply and intelligently Sensei answers them, in inside I had this feeling that this is really truth. Uh, everything what is talking, what is said about, it was accepted immediately, and further on, in the future, it already happens that on the Alatra TV there was videos were released and when I saw these videos and and for, for those books that I read I compared them and in my head it was like yes it is it it is he Igor Mihalovich sensei a real sensei and I even more entrenched in the fact that everything that is written in the book is truth and uh, and also I wanted to share that what I really liked well I really liked one one video well yeah I really liked all videos but one of them uh, that I remembered well angels do not fall before I also had this feeling that that uh, spirituality is for those for some uh, spiritual people who are in mosques or in churches or somewhere else like some professionals and for a um, mortal person mere mortal person it is in principle uh, unachievable unrealistic for a simple person but then i when i watched video angels do not fall i realized that each of us each of us can become an angel but we should work on ourselves go along the spiritual path and and do not fear anything and do not give up this is also the words of Igor Mihalovich Danilov not to give up Thank you, thank you very much. And I want to pass the word to Vika from Kazakhstan. Thank you, Rust. Thank you. I would also like to share my understanding, my insights after watching the videos right now. There are already 74 maybe videos altogether with the participation of Igor Mikhailovich Danilov. 
and it's like 74 gifts to all of us to the entire world to the entire humanity it's a great love that is pouring and whoever can listen and can perceive it they do perceive it and they share it with other people and it's so wonderful I would like to particularly note uh, the video Freedom from Beast Dictatorship Within Yourself. I watched and listened to this video for many, many times. And it just it not just gives a deep understanding of the fact that we have an animal component and a spiritual component. And uh, what these components are, but also uh, there is a great uh, a spiritual impulse, which you, a message which you can feel with your personality, with the soul. It fills you with life, with joy. It inspires you to uh, go and do something creative. And also the video about the Holy Spirit, I watched it many, many times as well. And it's like a song for your soul. It's uh, you cannot. It's it's possible to express it in words. How it is close to our in, inner component. Also, recently there was a new video released. What the prophets dreamed of. It's a marvelous, great video. There are wonderful words in it about the inner heaven, the paradise, which is inside. And there is this deep pause and uh, Igor Mikhailovich smile. And his smile just says everything. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot to the spiritual world, to Igor Mikhailovich and to all of you guys. Let us watch a fragment of this video right now. Every person who loves God knows what love is, and he must share this love with everyone. After all, it is really very sad when you see that someone doesn't know what it is know this. When a person feels God's love and understand what kind of a gift it is, it can neither be confused nor compared with anything. Nothing can be replaced through love, God's in a person. It is an internal feeling of paradise. So, how is it possible not to share it? And when you see that someone doesn't know it, how can you not be responsible for that? How you not share it? It is certainly impossible to teach the devil to love God. It's impossible to make the dead alive. But when we address an alive one, a warm and not a cold one, we do have a chance. We have a chance to share this love for the one who is not irrevocably dead yet. I mean, a person might stand on the verge, on the verge of life and death. And it is still possible to save him, to pull him out of Satan's paws. Isn't this a good deed? Aren't you responsible for that? What's the point? It's in service, it's in love. And is there a difference between service and love? A simple question. One originates from the other. When you love, you cannot but serve. Absolutely right. Greetings. My name is Laura. I'm from Kazakhstan, from Uralsk. Listening to all speakers who are talking today, I understand that every person always has this search inside, the search of the truth, a search of the way home. And every person has been looking for it in many places, but all of us found it right here in the knowledge brought in the books by Anastasia Novik and in the videos with Igor Mikhailovich Danilov. Boundless gratitude to the spiritual world, to Igor Mikhailovich, for giving this knowledge, for the fact that this knowledge is what we finally gained, because 
this inner search, this inner thirst, it really leads us and unites us all. And uh, the feelings which arise when you're watching the videos and reading the books is, you know, this feeling is indeed this intimate dialogue with the spiritual world, which you really want to convey, but it's very difficult to select words to, t to tell it, because it is something unique, it is something most precious which can be for a person. Many years ago I read the books, I gained this meaning of life, I was aspiring, but it happened so that everyday life Monday issues kind of observe you and there is this new inspiration. Uh, I got this new inspiration when videos with Igor Mikhailovich um, started to be released, especially consciousness and personality from the inevitably dead to the eternal alive. Uh, at that time I again got imbued in uh, filled with this power, with this strength, and I looked at the world and the light, my life with open eyes, and I continued to walk in along the way. And recently, when I was watching the video about the Holy Spirit, something incredible, I felt something incredible was happening to me. I always have was quite sensitive. I could feel my, many things when I was reading the books and watching the video, but I understood that when I was watching the whole, uh, about the Holy Spirit, uh, I was like listening to the words, but I felt something beyond it. I felt that there's some connection with the Spirit. It is the most precious which can be given by the spiritual world. It is this gift when you join, when you merge in this unity. And after this video, I understood that my life, basically, there is no other meaning and purpose in my life. It, this is the only thing I want, to be in this contact, to be in this harmony, to love. And you really start looking at the world in with different eyes, living eyes, and you understand how wonderful this world is in its diversity and unity, because you feel every person at the level of spirit. You stop uh, distinguishing some individuals, uh, because on one on the one hand there are some individualities and these are wonderful individuals, but there is something greater. There is something that unites us, really unites us. And you begin to understand, to be to start living. You begin to breathe something alive. And this particular video prompted me to act because I started to be more open. I found like-minded people in Kazakhstan, in other countries as well, and we started communicating. And this life, this unity is feeling me, and I really want uh, every person to feel this too. I wish every person on planet Earth to finally gain this true life, to join, to unite with the Holy Spirit, to get imbued with it, and to be alive. I thank all the participants and give the floor to Nika from Berlin. Greetings. Greetings. My name is Nika. I'm from Germany. Before reading the book Alatra, I was searching for the temple of God's temple in various religions in the external. I did the temples, churches, I was looking at priests, and I really wanted to find my spiritual abode as well. But uh, after reading the Alatra book, I found this door inside myself. And then I started watching the first videos with Igor Mikhailovich Danilov. 
and this very first information you know i imbued it as if i was a soil dry soil uh, which is getting filled with water and it was like something long awaited very near and dear and very way available and when the video consciousness personality was released it made a deepest impression on me it was like you know everything put in order in myself and i felt uh, inspiration and strength in my personal development as if the world even around me is not as it was before because the people made the choice whom to serve i found so many answers in this video and i keep finding them i also would like to share my experience in translation in translations and voicing over the videos because we are trying to convey uh, precisely convey the information meanings told, conveyed by Igor Mikhailovich. Sometimes we spend hours and days on uh, uh, discerning, on uh, trying to understand some words, and sometimes you like uh, collect these little grains all together as if you collect little beads into one uh, thread, and you understand that in each word, in each letter, there is a particle, this eternal wisdom that makes it possible to learn, to explore you very deeply. Every video is a great gift for all of us, humanity. After watching the video, the call of Mahdi, I would like to note that these impressions, these sensations, it's impossible, it's very difficult to convey them because it's kind of like somebody is lifting you on his wings and every cell of your body vibrates and, you know, I, f I really feel, I really felt came to feel this call and they showed me the way home and there is no other way for me anymore because I know the direction and uh, uh, what kind of gratitude can we give uh, in return for getting life uh, basically you can only answer with the same boundless love after the conference about the holy spirit i remember that i wake up in the morning and i was like a vessel overwhelmed or filled with love and it was pouring out of me and i understood that it's, it is possible to live like this and a person can love to such an extent many thanks to the spiritual world to Igor Mikhailovich many thanks to everyone who are carrying this good news to the world I give the floor to Lena from Belarus hello everyone I would also like to share when for the first time I just watched the video with Igor Mikhailovich and I remember that you know all the questions I used to have I already understood that well what is what Igor Mikhailovich is saying actually it responds it echoes with what I have inside and you really know that it's for sure that Igor Mikhailovich is saying the truth and these are the answers to all the questions which bothered me since childhood and uh, so many things have already been voiced by other speakers but i felt i knew for sure and i know for sure that igor mikhailovich is rigged in japa it's the holy he's the holy spirit i understood who he is right away and i also would like to share regarding the video the truth and chaff when i was watching it for the first time there is part one about the prophets who brought the uh, knowledge to the world and about the holy scriptures when there was when they were talking about the quran and how beautiful actually the quran is i was so grateful internally for this video at that particular moment there was such a joy inside me and when i watched this piece of video I stopped it and wrote a comment and once I wrote the comment I pushed button send and I felt such an increase of this feeling I understood that you know 
it even intensified the feeling. I was so grateful at that moment for this. It's like you understand that the feeling, I understood that the feeling I had, it's, I felt the Holy Spirit inside myself. It's very difficult to convey it, but it's a wonderful feeling. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Yelena. Indeed, what you're saying, uh, every person can uh, feel it. And when listening to people's stories and reading comments, you understand how positive this wave is and what kind of positive wave the books by Anastasia Novik and videos with Igor Mikhailovich Danilov are bringing to people. I would like to say that if uh, somebody didn't see all the videos with Igor Mikhailovic, uh, below this video, in this description, you can find a link. If you go via this link, you can find a playlist with all the videos with Igor Mikhailovic Danilov. But right now, I would like to read out several comments which uh, our viewers have written. Andre is writing, and men also can cry and have a tear of happiness. I always, I sometimes have tears when I'm happy being with my family. Katerina is writing. I also have such a joy when I found like-minded people. Before that, it seemed to me that I'm, all, I'm the only one who's trying to find the meaning of life. Thank you very much to you all. Oksana is writing. Thank you. It is very important that the books and the videos unite us on the creative platform, unite us, people from many countries who profess various religions. The truth is one for everyone. We don't have anything to divide. I would like to give the floor, uh, well, thank you very much to all the speakers for such sincerity and openness. I really, as it was mentioned before, uh, all people were saying differently, but we are basically saying the same. And I would like to share what I feel right now. I feel such a great, immense gratitude and these stories which we are telling such sincerely we express this gratitude to the spiritual world and all speakers mention that and it echoes and when we share this it it intensifies it increases and we already understand that we are united internally already internally we are one single whole we just remind each other of that and it's so joyful because of that thank you very much everyone and thanks a lot to our viewers as well i also would like to read out some comments kirill is writing i cannot stop watching this uh, broadcast because every speaker vo uh, echoes inside me it, it seems like we are joined by the one goal by one laugh and great gratitude to god and all the participants Peter is writing thanks to all of you friends we can feel i can feel a joint search of love it is life let's continue this way let's support each other and love each other and there is also an interesting comment regarding the fact that i would like to voice what is what should be voiced in the video so vladimir is writing it it would be very interesting if igor mikhailovich uh shed light uh, would shed light on the origin of languages and on the one single language which used to be yes indeed languages can unite us and the spirit unites us and there are so many inspira so much inspiration and gratitude uh, for making us understand what should be done. Now, let's watch a piece of video, Angels Don't Fall. It is interesting, there is a hadith where it is told that the Prophet Muhammad said there is a jinn in everyone, and he was asked, do you also have a jinn, of course, and he said, and now he's saying only good things to me, so here, it should be even forced to serve God and love God.
Well, it's clear that anyway, you know, it's like wild beast. And what does it mean to subdue this shaitan? And what does it mean that exactly Allah helped to do that? A person won't have strength to subdue it and make it love, but again, everything arises from a person's actions. When his personality starts sending his love to the soul, meaning he directs most of his attention with the power of life which is given to him and of time to God's love, he receives a lot more. Receiving a lot more, he gives it back. Thus, he increases his inner power to such an extent that he becomes freer, more and more free from the dictatorship of this gene, of this Satan in his head, or whatever we call it. Then the person gains individuality, he realizes that he is personality. The first point is who you are. That's exactly this essence. When you realize who you are, that you are not these thoughts in the head which change 30 times, and you are not masks which Shaitan puts on you. No, you are different. You are a personality. You are the one who has always observed this with sadness, craving for something different. But now you are not sad. You don't just crave, but you act, right? And this is totally different. You act in order to unite with your family, in order to return home to the source, but to return as an equal, to return as an angel. This is totally different. And at that point, this power is given to you. Hello, dear friends. My name is Kamila. I'm from Tashkent, Uzbekistan. About one half, uh, one year and a half or two years, I became the participant of the Alatra movement, and I can say that it's the most significant and most important event in my life because it filled my life with happiness, with joy, and uh, it, it, this feeling doesn't depend on any external manifestations it is coming from inside and it fills my life with meaning all the videos with the participation of Igor Mikhailovich Danilov all the books by Anastasia Novich are so simple but at the same time they have uh, so much depth and wisdom that you accept this wisdom at uh, not as knowledge but as some you know with some inner feeling deep inner feeling and you understand that this is the truth which is coming from the spiritual world the truth that eternal and that's why i'd really like to share my impressions of uh, watching the video the truth and chef as it was said in the recent last video, a person during his life uh, gets many inform much of information and at some point he or she has a certain image and understanding and he starts understanding that uh, he begins to believe that it's the truth, but in reality he ceases to search for the truth relying on his consciousness. Prophet Muhammad used to say all the time that knowledge should be searched for since childhood, since birth till the death. And uh, this last video actually shed, has shed light on many things for me, because in this video they were not just uh, the truth is given, but also um, many uh, substitutions were explained and one of the substitutions was this God-fearing. Since my childhood I heard that and I understood that Allah is great and we are people are so in, uh, so deeply in sins that we don't deserve to be with Allah. And in order to be with Allah, we need to be have a righteous life. Otherwise, Allah will punish us, strongly punish. And in our society where some beastly instincts dominate and the beastly nature, the animal nature dominates. Uh, nobody can say that any person is righteous, uh, although I always sincerely addressed Allah, but 
inside I had such an, you know, a, an, a barrier, an obstacle, a feeling that I don't deserve it, that the time will come when I will be worthy. After watching the video with the participation of Igor Mikhailovich Danilo, The Truth and Shaf, I understood that in reality, I don't have to wait until this moment when somebody I will become worthy, but I need to start loving already, start loving Allah with all my heart. And this is our action. When a person is born, Allah endows him with the spirit with a particle of the whole and this particle which is in us it always strives to unite with the whole and if the whole is uh, the purest and the truest love which can only love this particle uh, can join and uh, can merge with this love only by becoming love and this understanding for me uh, it became a great revelation and discovery because by admitting a thought that we are not worthy basically we are idle we admit doubts and fears but where doubts and fears are there are no there is no love that is why it is so important for ourselves to learn to love sincerely love not just of love Allah but love our neighbors because our love for Allah without love for our other people is uh, is like defective love by starting when we start loving we start acting as personality this way I begin to I began to understand and get answers to such a question as who am I and why am I here thank you very much and I give the floor to Renat Camila, thank you very much for your story. My name is Renat. I live in Kazakhstan in the city of Nuristan. I want to share a little story of my childhood. When I was studying in the elementary school, I had this understanding that every person in his life, at least once, deserved um, a honor to meet with the angel. But, angel. but angels among people is in the same ordinary human body as I am. And if I had a honor to meet him, how would I recognize him? And then I accepted for myself that every person I meet on, on my life path to treat him as an angel. And when I was a student, I was studying at university, I felt this duality inside of myself, that there is something inside me that make me feel bad to, f to experience negative emotions. That is, I don't want to be angry or I want to forgive, but something inside of me uh, doesn't al allow me to do that. And I remember how I felt when I wanted to get rid of it. And, but uh, my mistake was at that moment that I considered this bed inside of me uh, as an integral part of myself, and it was very difficult to fight with, with myself. And, but, and the most expensive gift in my life was the books of the writer Anastasia Novak and videos with Igor Mihalovich Danilov. Um, a big, a large number number of videos. I especially want to note about uh, consciousness and personality, and freedom from the beast dictatorship within yourself. Uh, where Ingram Haller gives a very simple instrument to uh, to refuse bad thoughts and invest attention into love. And this one who gives these bad thoughts are, is not us. And if you get a tremendous strength and joy to act when you understand that the main thing in your life is to get away from this dictator of consciousness. And and this all the power that you have and it is aimed at fulfillment of the main goal of your life and we are you are in love then 
you feel other people and Ignor Mahalovich in the video circle of life tells when the person is in love he enters a circle of life and when he feels life and all the prophets said love God love each other and we are all moving towards the center of the circle of life and the center of it is Allah God and when we advance to the center we all become closer to each other we become one whole and we feel each other also Ingrid Mahalaj said well he gave an analogy that if you want to buy in a store some kind of a tasty but we buy instead of eat some mustard but we do it by our choice and then we eat that um, bitter product and we do not get satisfaction from it but we could uh, do the right choice and and invest our attention into the um, fear into the into love feeling of love and when uh, I got the essential contact with the spiritual world it was not possible for me to keep it but in the video the truth of life Gimehalj said and he helped by telling that when you feel that your inner oven your hearth your love starts to starts to cool down invest uh, put their uh, goods into it so so fire it again and using this tool whatever you do what you do go to work where whether you're working or you're at home with your relatives feel this love and live by this love and these uh, inner contact it increases and this is the most beautiful uh, feeling that I had in my life this contact with the very near and dear uh, thank you very much for the spiritual word for Imam Mahdi for the Igrim Halaji Daniel for everything that he does for us for his great love for that concerns uh, for that care that he gave to us that is poured from the screens from the every video from the every book thank you very much then I pass the word to studio Thank you so much, thank you so much, Renat, for such a wonderful experience for this sincerity of yours. And I would like to read out the comment that uh, connected to what you said. Uh, so a woman is writing, uh, no matter that in our country uh, people uh, preach Islam, I didn't understand this religion. And thanks to the videos with the participation of Igor Mikhailovich Danilov, I started to understand this religion and I loved it. Uh, thank you so much. And Ekaterina is right. I asked if this and in, few, um, in a short time I received a call that I should read the books by Anastasia Novik, and I was so happy about this, and this is the truth. Thank you so much, dear viewers, and thank you to our speakers, and I pass the floor to Christina from Italy. Alatra is uh, the name that attracted my attention, not just uh, its definition, but it's the worms that you can feel when you uh, pronounce it. I found out about Alatra movement um, accidentally, but it was one of the best of, of my um, you know, knowledge about it. And I feel and positivity that each uh, participant um, puts into it. And um, I decided to, uh, you know, pay more time into uh, developing myself. And I also devoted time into studying different religions to find uh, questions uh, to find answers to my questions but I actually didn't find the answers to them and I just um, 
even you know had more doubts and um, not even um, you know paying attention to those um, misleadings and faults in my research I still had the feeling of the inner voice saying uh, cheering me up and after that I found the books uh, and videos with the participation of Igor Mikhailovich Danilov and listening to those videos and reading the books I I felt like there's something on the inside like happening and I received those um, inner hope and I started blooming like the lotus flower and I was listening to the words uh, said in the um, video um, from the uh, with the participation of Igor Mikhailovich and I received so many great answers my questions and I, I felt this calmness and I felt this uh, confidence and it made me feel like I was a kind of embraced by the source of, of warmth and, and power and I cannot even describe it in words it was so pure and I was kind of like attracted as a magnet and I started to communicate with the participants of this movement and community to receive um, more information and I found very um, very nice people who were so friendly, even though they're from different parts of the world, and they are ready to come to each other. And each, each day I understood that uh, this community consists of simple people, ordinary people, that um, are actually the, the strive in, for that is why I decided to join the volunteers and um, that is why I decided to uh, you know do the research for the knowledge that it was given to the whole humanity and I was attracted to uh, one one thing and the process of manipulation by our consciousness and it, it is uh, very hard actually uh, to make a person believe uh, like what consciousness does to us and the human was enslaved and uh, it was um, actually made to be the tool of power and uh, self-destruction but we lived uh, under the slavery for too long and right now we need to stop forward we need to start peace and harmony and love and I can say so much more about a lot of about the principles and the um, you know goals of of the project it, but it will take too much time that is why i invite you to join the movement and you know test it and practice uh, each each principle each truth and by the end i would like to um give the the, the phrase of Igor mikhailovich uh, the one who loves uh, is in god is in connection with god because god is love this love other because love gives us nothing more than just a huge pure happiness thank you so much guys and thank you to Igor Mikhailovich Joy may be different. There may be joy from consciousness, from acquisition of something, but it's fleeting. That's why the joy of of unity with the spiritual world through feelings doesn't run out, it doesn't cease and it doesn't bore. It cannot be boring. What's the point? The point is that it is always there and every moment is new. It's an infinity of new sensations of perception through feelings. So to say, it's a vibrant life. It is filled with life. A life filled with life. You can't do it otherwise. While in the material world there is a short-term illusion. If the person, having come to this world, hasn't come out of it alive, this means he has simply burned his life away. That's why it is necessary to study one's own consciousness. But there is a little phenomenon here. When a person studies his consciousness, it gets horrified. Consciousness gets horrified. Whereas when personality realizes that it is personality, it experiences incredible happiness. Why does this happen? Because at these moments, each of them 
comes into contact with the one who created them. Hello, Christina. Uh, thank you very much. I live in USA, in California, and I uncutted knowledge when I was young, 15 years ago, as soon as the first book came out, um, The Crossroads. At first of all, I didn't understand what is it, but I realized that it was something very cool. Then I, I started to read all books, and, and I thought, but not of them I considered it cool. And when I read Sensei 2 and I went to the Saint Week and in Kiev, uh, there was a you know question I asked, but he asked a question. And the first question was, um, can you please um, continue soul-saving prayer? And it was a huge event in 2008 that we knew the full text of the soul saving prayer because in the books it was in a short uh, half part but then the life came that ended up that I was in America and the book Alatra was published was released and the book Alatra was published and in the video uh, the, the meaning of life is immortality uh, there was an element of, of uh, feelings, of perception, and there was a huge wave when video of videos, when people from all over the world started to send feedback that how strong this feeling was. There was the first wave, and uh, last year, yeah, Irma Halic asked whether we need Alatra or no, and uh, and it was the second huge wave, and I understood that I want to participate, and I saw that there are a lot of people around me, oh, and they are all very cool, and I would, I get acquainted with them, many people, we made a channel, and I started to participate in the project, and this feeling increases by all that, when you participate in the project of Alatra, and you put your attention and powers and then you get some feeling and it increases in yourself so this is very joyful that so much so many people go there and everyone speaks about the one and it is very great joy to be part of Alatra thank you very much I want to give the floor to Yulia from Belarus Hello, dear friends. I'm so glad to see you. It is very joyful. I would like to tell you that one of the first, uh, you know, understanding for me was the fact that we have the dual nature, that uh, we, uh, by our choice, are influencing our life. This was one of the most important understandings one of the first understandings. And also I would like to share my experience um, about the uh, video with participation of Igor Mihailovich, the Nil of the Night of the Spirit, where Igor Mihailovich talks about the real, um, you know, essence of uh, the man and the woman, and that the woman should protect, uh, the men should protect women and women should give life. And um, after I heard this, I had this such a strong feeling of joy and, and compassion and happiness, and I felt that I'm a woman. This was one of the first feelings uh, that I had. It's like um, there was uh, some kind of box that I was put into, and it just kind of like fell off. And um, you know, and this the shield that ha was kind of like in front of me was um, always uh, putting me away, keeping me away from uh, from this knowledge. And after watching this video, I changed my attitude to man. I I, I found out that. They are the protectors, they are the knights, and that they um, also understood that um, 
us women, uh, you know, being uh, capricious, we destroy men and we need to, you know, pay respect to them. And uh, we also need to, um, you know, do it not only with our close ones, but to all men. And it's like uh, a, a huge source of love and care uh, kind of like was created on the inside. And it also um, is connected with the video, um, is there God, does God exist? And um, there was one word that, uh, there were words that man cannot give life. And for me, it was a huge, huge understanding. I was listening to the video a lot of time, a lot of times. And for me, I understood that God is, it's like everything, and I, I was put into such state automatically that um, I understood it, and I had such a wonderful feeling of joy on the inside that I, I got connected with God, and it's like when you're in childhood, when you kind of like mm, agreed to meet with this feeling, and uh, you had to meet it, and you had to experience it. And these videos, they changed my attitude to the practices. I, mm, I stopped concentrating my attention on God as on something. And I understood that God is everywhere. He's endless, He's boundless. And it's like whenever you turn uh, anywhere, you uh, kind of like immerse yourself in God. And it, it started, it, it became easier for me to do the practices, to do the spir spiritual practices. And it's like, um, not like previously, where when you were like a candle, you light up and then you kind of like mm, stop, stop um, being like on fire. And I would like to pay my big gratitude to Yir Mihailovich and to everyone who um, participates in creation of these videos. Hello, dear friends. My name is Elena. I live in Canada, in Toronto. And I was in search for the truth for a long time. And I studied different religions, I read different literature, but I felt that I'm missing something, that I need something more. And in 2015, my husband downloaded the books of Anastasia Novik, and this is when my journey started. And when I just started reading those books, I felt knowledge. When I read the books, I had this um, feeling of happiness and joy that I cannot describe, and it was so pleasurable, so joyful, and I understood that this is what was missing, and you cannot even describe it in words. Like I read the whole the books uh, in you know just in a few weeks, and in the book Alatra, I uh, memorized the words that you can live only by one simple goal uh, to come to God as um, a grown-up spiritual being and I understood that with the, uh, uh, the spiritual world is the only goal uh, the, the way to your true home and when the first uh, kind of like, uh, guardian appeared I had this true feeling that I need to act I need to do something I found the uh, contact on the internet, and I can um, and I wrote to the coordination center, and I asked. I, I said that I can help, and I can, you know, just I want to help, and I understood that I need to share this knowledge with my relatives, my colleagues, my friends, with everyone. And when the first video came out, it was a a wonderful joy for me. I uh, turned on the video, I heard this voice, I didn't see who was talking, but when I heard this voice, I was shocked, because this voice was so dear and near and close to me, and, and on the inside, everything, you know, I had, like, the butterflies, I've, and on the deep level, uh, like I had this understanding that it's him, it's Sensei, and I just um, knew that it was him. And in the next video, video I saw Igor Mikhailovich, and I had this feeling that I know him for a long time. And at the same time, um, there was such a huge 
um, wave of thoughts in my head that how can I know him? I never met him before. I was trying to uh, remember all the people who I know and I was searching for the image of the person that maybe I, I met him previously. But on the inside, I had this such a wonderful feeling, feeling of life. And all these videos with participation of Igor Mihailovich, they're incredible, they're so amazing, and something near and dear comes to them. And the, the video, the live, uh, is, is just cannot be described. And I really like when uh, Igor Mihailovich says the words, let's love each other. At this time, he's like a parent that cares for his children, and he wants us to live in love, and happiness. In one of the programs, there was um, a moment that Igor Mihailovich said one phrase, and I had a feeling that he was talking to me. I even uh, uh, memorized the, the timestamp. And when I started watching, re watching it again, but I, I didn't find this moment. And when I was re-watching the, the videos like 12 times since in one cycle, I, I started hearing things that I didn't hear before. Uh, some understandings and insights it appeared. And uh, I would like to pay my huge gratitude to the spiritual world for knowledge, for support, for life. Thank you so much. And right now we will watch uh, a video from, uh, sorry, an excerpt from the video. The main point which was interesting is surely that this feast of uh, Pentecost is completely opposed, let's say, to the building of the Tower of Babel, when God allegedly divided people into different languages, into different dialects, and they um, ceased to understand each other. And exactly on Pentecost, uh, there was an important event which changed the destiny of people, at least of the apostles and many people to whom they preached the truth, because it was the day of the descent of the Holy Spirit on the uh, disciples of Jesus Christ. On, and on this feast, as they call it, this uh, phenomenon is, was extraordinary, because from this very moment, they began to preach with such inner power, with such inner... Hear more details, please. They stopped fearing Jewish high priests, they stopped fearing various kind of oppressions because inside of them burned. And what did they start doing? They started to spread the good news to people, they started... What it meant, the good news which they started to spread? It is said in Christianity, they started to speak other languages. Did they just start to speak or did they speak about something? I mean, well, now... Well, uh, while our Tatiana is searching in her gadget, my friends, I will tell you a story a little bit about how it was. Based on what is said in the Holy Scripture about the story of Pentecost, we have the following situation. And let's take a reasonable look at it. There were apostles, close friends whom Jesus Christ himself loved with all his heart and shared his bread with them, who were near him for many years. But they were people, simple, courtly people, who doubted Jesus Christ, doubted God, who, well, some were thriving more, other less, but they were partaking of this knowledge which he was giving them, and it was giving its fruit a little. They were growing a little, but they were feared. They feared earthly kings, they feared Jewish high priests, they feared, excuse me, for their bodies more than for their souls. And a moment finally came when years had passed, when Jesus Christ has been executed, when, according to the legend, he returned, and they saw him, they understood, realized, and thought a lot of things, and the Holy Spirit came to them. According to the scripture, he returned to people, 
many, many years after he had left people completely after. Remember the story about the Tower of Babel, don't you? At that time God allegedly took the Holy Spirit away from people and people were separated and that's it. They became beasts and before that there had been no one spiritualized by the Holy Spirit at all. While later, by the grace of Jesus Christ, He descended on them and the Holy Spirit came with thunder and lightning, everything was moving around, such a... And they finally realized that it was time to stop doing nonsense, and they stopped fearing even the high price. Can you imagine what inspiration the Holy Spirit gave them? And they finally came into the crowd and started t t telling about what Jesus Christ had been teaching them. Imagine how much time had passed, how much effort had been spent for a person to start talking, right? Yes, dear friends, and Listening to this uh, snippet from the video, I understood that today is a holiday. It's a holiday because today, right now, we all are united in united in the strive for the happiness, uh, in the strive to share our stories. And how important uh, it is not just to tell those stories and share those stories with others, but also, you know, share them with the people who are not um, familiar with the knowledge yet. And agree with me that uh, each one of you came right now here and everyone is happy because someone had told you about that. Someone had left a comment. Someone had forgot, uh, forgotten the book on the bench and so on. So right now, guys, let's not uh, be afraid of talking about the truth. Let's spread this knowledge um, and let's share it with people we know and people we don't know everywhere we can, because this knowledge makes us better people and better humans and makes us makes this world better. And I would like to read out some comments that are simply amazing. Marina is writing. Uh, one time when I was talking to my friend, he asked me, why do you live here? What is the goal? And I said that I want to be a better person, and he gifted me the book Sensei, and this is how my journey started. Irina is writing, thank you so much to Igor Mikhailovich and to everyone who um, accepted this knowledge. Marina is writing, I remember when I was reading the books one by one with no stop, and uh, it took just two, three days to read a book, and I couldn't, you know, be filled with this pure water, I was so happy. And another woman is writing that my friend told me that there is a book about the human structure and then I just, uh, you know, came to the bookstore and bought it and then it continued. And right now I would like to pass the floor to Maria from Czech Republic. Please, um, I give you the floor. Hello, my name is Maria, I'm from Czech Republic, from small uh, city Vimol. I was really afraid that I will not understand anyone and I was kind of like in concur with the knowledge, uh, of, of, of knowledge of my language, and, but I understood that I don't, have not nothing to fear because I have this strong inner uh, feeling and inner strife. And I think that it is really easy to step into your consciousness and the gives you. And I, I see my life in, in love and, and when I kind of share this with others, it grows. And I'm very grateful for this huge chance, for this wonderful chance to have this knowledge, to talk to people to communicate with them. And right now, we can see that how our civilization right now is in crisis. But it is very important for us to love each other, to respect each other, because this is the key. 
následně při nastavení a mění vlastně i ten další. I really changed myself and I changed the world around me. And I understood that you need to start from yourself because each change starts within you. And I would like to say a big thank you to Gary Havis and Mila that for giving the chance to me and to the chance to all of us. I love all I love you, people of the world, and I wish you all the best and I pass the floor to the next speaker. Hello, dear friends. My name is Renata. I'm from Bratislava, Slovakia. And I'm very happy uh, to talk about uh, videos and programs with participation of Igor, Igor Mikhailovich Danilov. They changed my life. And I would like to say about the, a little bit about the uh, program uh, of attention. When Anya was asking the question, is it is it true that when we are not paying attention to something, it doesn't exist? And Igor Mikhailovich answered simply, yes, of course. I understood that thanks to our attention, the attention of a human, we create our reality. And we are uh, the source of this reality, and we are the source of creation. And it changed my life completely. And I had uh, some kind of fight on the inside of me, but I didn't want to have it. And when I heard this, uh, program this video it helped me a lot to change my uh, view on, on the life and uh, the main thing is that I can choose where to put my attention and I'm very happy when we uh, spread the information about the creative society and and I don't even um, I don't even ask a question what we should do with the consumerist form of society because we need to put our attention into something good, into building some a better society, and we need to just pay our attention into forming the creative society and not paying attention to uh, the negative that we have. And I'm so thankful for this amazing miracle. And I'm very thankful to all people who participate in in this. And I would like to uh, invite everyone to watch the next video with the participation of Igor Mihailovich. And you have uh, this need to share it. And why do I have this necessity? You can say that it, you can feel that when each person gets back to the spiritual world, and when you feel it, it increases so many times, and you feel that it's not just connection of one person, but it's like, a, you know, a, a, a huge joy of the spiritual world that some holiday and celebration uh, starts, a uh, celebration of love. A very good description was made a lot time ago by one uh, the restaurant person. He was asked a same question and he said, uh, imagine you are in love and joy. And then another person comes in love and joy. And then another person comes. Is it better? Of course, we, the brothers and sisters, become more and more and, and the same in the spiritual world. And it's a huge joy when a person gets connected to you. This is this wonderful joy and happiness when he starts feeling it. Because there is no... Um, 
because all we are relatives and uh, it doesn't matter who we are and it feels when wherever people are it feels because it is it it is it exists and when it starts you can feel it but yes it is very sad when uh, people lose it and when the fire comes inside of him the consciousness starts and it um, stops the fire and it's so amazing when so many people are connected to this um, love of God and so much love um, appears in the world and we can say that we are uh, the ones who you know give this love to the world bring it to the world and what can be the other way because this world uh, is given to people and people create it people make it um, isn't the Bible says about it all this world is given to people and people here they are by their choice I said it again with uh, with their choice they create this world they make it and uh, and we make it because what we see it's all the consequence of the pers people's choice and understanding the importance that the love of god um, appears in this world thanks to the uh, choice of a human so if we all together if in everyone but if we look to the truth uh, of course thanks to religions such people are here and before there were many people more much more now we have less and you know on the inside you have such a wonderful feeling of gratitude because some time ago you were the one who was searching and looking for God and feeling God but you didn't understand that this is um, thanks to some personalities who at some point of time ch have chosen this path to trans kind of like transmit this love into this world and such a great uh, gratitude uh, to them because thanks to their choice and some key points of your path the, the um, love of God was uh, kind of like helping you to make the right choice the right step towards God well is it or no but the fact that there was a chance to do that it is good itself and it's just that you have such an understanding that, that uh, when there are a lot of us who um, transmit this love and uh, multiply this love of God in this world this is such a great uh, help to those people who sincerely um, strive for the love of God and have this need to come back to God because the, the system is very strong in the world so as it is strong right now it haven't been before right yeah once time it was and it ended with a spiritual um, govern for a thousand years when the satan as a homeless dog had some um, so, some garbage of the civilization because still there are some people who want to serve him but still um, overall it was different and Saturn was starving for a thousand years hello friend my name is Marketa and I'm from Czech Republic and today I would like to, would like to share my I would like to share something that touched me bottom of my because I was raised in Christianity and with my relatives we talked uh, a lot about Jesus Christ, about God and um, I had this uh, inner warm feeling uh, towards Jesus Christ and I was listening to the stories about him when I was thinking about the love that he lived in about the love that he was uh, bringing into this world because 
uh, because to be honest people were not very good to him and but he had a very very hard life but he never ever said anything bad uh, to people and he never hurt anyone and he had love on, on the inside and shared it with others and it was uh, a wonderful example and it is a wonderful example when when I think about it it's just when I think about how how big the love of God is uh, that Jesus Christ is like the messenger of God share it with others and in the video uh, what the prophets dreamed of uh, there was such a word that touched me that all the prophets they knew uh, that all the knowledge that they bring they will be lost Still, no matter what they fight to do their best to talk about this truth, to give it to people, to share it with others, and never, and they never stopping themselves. That. And even though their life was pretty hard as well, but this love was at the first place, uh, it was their first priority. And to be honest, they understood that even, even if. Um, a couple of people will understand this truth they will be able to change the world and i was impressed and inspired by this because it, currently we live in not very easy time the same is very strong but this love this truth is in the world thanks to igor mikhailovich and thanks to Alatra. And we as people who know this truth, who understand it, we can share no matter what. And don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to talk. And as you know, like it was said previously, what, uh, what was in the times of Jesus, how much time was lost. But right now we have this opportunity to speak. We have you know, it's like it, it inspires so much. I just want to say it's like, uh, it's like we're, we're kind of like prophets, but I don't want to compare us to the prophets. But it's just these uh, things inspire so much. When, and when I, I have when I experience some hard moments uh, during communication about the creative side, it was people sometimes it happens, but this understanding inspires so much not to give up, not to stop, but to um, you know, study more, to explore more, to talk about this to the whole world. And that is why thank you so much for uh, these examples of such great personalities as Tatiana uh, said, uh, the personalities who have chosen uh, the path of serving to the spiritual world. And thank you so much. I pass the floor to uh, Fra Franz, to Elena. Elena, please. Oh, sorry. Hello, dear friend. I would like to share my experience, how I found out about uh, the knowledge. I had such a question, who am I and what am I doing in my life? And I felt that I'm, I didn't do something very important. And then I had so much uh, hard situations and in life I was sick and the, the doctor said that we don't know where this uh, sickness comes from and what should I do and all the illusionary uh, you know view of life kind of like got broken down and I understood that uh, I, I need to start searching and it turn, turned out that I um, kind of like um, found out about uh, Agapit of Pechersk, and uh, 
the guys explained to me that I can read more information about him in the books written by Anastasia Novik. And I found that in these books uh, there is truth. And I never had any doubt about it. And I even said to myself that there you go, here are the answers to your questions. And uh, I would like to say that these books, they kind of like open this internal force that you have and their life changes. And just like all the guys talked about that. And after that, uh, I had a chance to come to Kiev and to um, get acquainted with the participants of the movement. And I understood what it is to be united I, I, I saw the people who live by the good deeds, who have this sincere desire to change the world. And um, the fact that I joined this huge family of Latra uh, makes me so happy. I saw so many people all over the world who were so inspired uh, by, the uh, by the videos with Igor Mikhailovich. I can't even, uh, I don't even know what program I can pay more attention to. They are so amazing, they are so um, inspiring, they are so feeling so much. And even for myself, I see these videos as um, a roadmap uh, to the, uh, you know, personal growth. And thank you so much to the spiritual world. Thank you so much to all the participants of the movement. Uh, thank you to all those angels who are helping us in these days. And it is so joyful when the participants of the movement, uh, sometimes we have the moments when we um, get, get, get acquainted with other people from different countries. And what I noted, how easy it is to communicate with people that you never saw and you never known because we all are kind of like on the wave of, of happiness, of goodness, and we all want to change the world for the better. We all want um, the life to become easier for people and we all want the life to be uh, beautiful by the end. And if we have this chance, of course, we need to use it. That is why, again, I would like to pay my gratitude to everyone who is uh, participating in Alotra movement. And Alotra, for all of us, it is a huge uh, spiritual family. And you feel so much love, uh, you know, uh, being part of this family, this gratitude. This is the family that you were searching for through throughout all of your life. And huge gratitude to all of you guys, because we all are Alatra. Thank you so much. And right now, I would like uh, to suggest you to watch the video from the um, program Angels Don't Fall. Igor Mikhailovich, what kind of conditions should be created in society which would uh, favor the um, emergence of angels in this world? Everything is actually simple. In order for a mass of angels to emerge in this world, an ideal society and a den is, in, is needed. All of us just need to build an Eden. That which was here for thousands of years, it is possible to restore everything because everything was here. We can just recall what all of us have forgotten. We were forced to forget it, but we haven't forgotten it. We remember it, and deep inside everyone knows and understands it. Simply, I think that people should stop serving Satan and should recall who they are, recall their nature, what we are here for, and really build an Eden. These are the conditions under which people will really become angels. These are the conditions under which the, the spiritual world will love and protect our entire world. These are the conditions under which preservation of humanity will be guaranteed and this world will exist for as long as angels emerge this is what is said in the holy scriptures yes 
in an allegorical and altered form, but this is true. And in order for us to build this Eden, this ideal society, we should first build a creative society, abandon the consumerist format, stop being beasts to each other, stop being enemies to one another, and become humans, and start loving each other. This is very simple. There is nothing difficult about it, right? So, my friends, let's begin with something simple. Let's start loving each other. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, my name is Josef, I'm from Slovakia, and I would like to thank for all who are participating today in the meeting, for all technicians and translators, interpreters, I'm very grateful for all the speakers, the it is very sincerely and in every person I feel and I would like to share my experience of I have searched for an answers who is God what is God and different answers came and in the video, what the prophets dreamed of with Ikram Mihalovich, I found an answer. And, and uh, at the end, Ikram Mihalovich says, love each other. And, and in this sentence, everything is said. And I think that everyone will understand it, even non-believer, even an atheist. It is hard to say, to add something to it. I'm very thankful for, for everyone. And I give the floor to the Laris from Greece. Thank you so much, Joseph. My name is Larissa and I'm from Greece, from Athens. And the first that I would like to share is this wonderful feeling of holiday. So many speakers and so many uh, positive emotions, positive feelings, simply amazing. This is one huge family. We're so different from one side, but on the other side, on the other hand, this um, unity, this um, this feeling of a family, you cannot even express it in words. This is so wonderful. I would like to say a couple of words about what what uh, the knowledge of Alatra uh, did to our life. It's like a life before and life after. Life before is like the pictures, illusions, and it's something that you actually want to forget. And the life after, it's like your birth, the birth of new life. It's like it's like um, you know a sip of pure water. It's like the sun that wake up, wakes up in the morning and shines. All the, all the day, it's like the birth of a child when it looks at you uh, and it smiles at you. Uh, and all this is filled with such feelings that you cannot express. It's something incredible, amazing, um, simply endless. And of course, of course, I would like to note the videos with participation of Igor Mihailovich. It's 
you know, it's it's like a huge, a wonderful opportunity to um, kind of like jump from that old world and find out this new world, uh, explore this new world, explore the duality of a person. And it is very important, very important point that I would want to mention is that the knowledge that was given to us, it helps us to understand that the, per the person is actually has a dual nature and it helps to kind of like split this one part from that part of an angel. It's like the angel is the, the only one in this whole world. And the other part is like, yes, it stays there, but you don't pay attention to it. And also I wanted to mention this spiritual leap uh, that I experienced um, uh, w when watching the first videos with participation of Igor Mikhailovich, uh, the, the life and um, the truth is for everyone and um, consciousness and personality. You cannot even express this uh, wonderful spiritual uh, feeling that fulfills you. It fulfills everything that you do at work, in life. It changes everything completely. It's like before and after. And the book Alatra, it's like the encyclopedia of the truth. And, you know, I always come up with the thought that there are so many people who don't know about it and how important it is to inform them, to share this information with them, because they simply don't know about it. And the person who starts to explore it, who starts reading the books, watching the videos, he actually gets this uh, incredible spiritual feeling and it's like you're uh, walking towards the light it's like uh, the, the path towards the life and uh, it, it would be great that there would be more people who know that there is a lot with each day so it would be brighter and lighter in this world that's uh, as much people as possible, as many people as possible could feel this amazing gift that we have, this wonderful opportunity uh, uh, to, to feel it, to be a part of it. And also, I would like to um, tell you the words from the video, The Truth of Life. If you have a latra on the inside and you understand its essence and you are with God, you can do even more than you think you can. And I pass the floor to Oleg from Toronto. Thank you so much, friends. Hello, my name is Oleg. I live in Toronto city. And I would like to say how did I came to the knowledge. For sure, it happened thanks to the to the programs with Igor Mihalovich, uh, two, two amazing events played a decisive role in this. In one of the programs I watched with Igor Mihalovich, there was a, an event that changed my whole life. It, it divided my life into before and after. At one moment, I saw that Igor Mihalovich addressed their elected to me, not to the viewer on the other side of the screen, but exactly to me with the words, every human has a chance for salvation, has a chance to become an angel. At this moment, I had a feeling that it is the answer for my uh, for the question that was inside of me for the, my whole life. And with these words, I felt as if something or someone touched my soul. And at the same time, my soul cried and rejoiced at the same moment. And I cried. And this lasted for a moment, but it completely turned my life upside down. I felt that I received a huge gift and the uh, and understanding that I was looking for all my life. But really, I realized it was much later. 
when I read all the books by NST and Ovik, and after regular um, implementation of spiritual practices, after the practice, the the lotus flower, I really understand all the huge knowledge that is given in the book Alatra. I cannot forget this moment, and each time I remember of it, I I feel this experience of joy as if I go by the way home and after four years I had another um, another moment I uh, in the morning I woke up with a great feeling of sharing this knowledge and any troubles got during the day it it just um, brought smile into my face I got to my friends uh, in the project and at some time we spoke and at some time uh, a wave of uh, feelings um, um, was in me and at that moment I realized that I did what I needed to do and the spiritual world is constantly cares and supports us but it is in, in, um, important to work on oneself every moment and now I feel amazingly filled with our con conversation as if you know everyone uh, during this event and i want to th say thank you for all the participants of the alatra ipm movement for their contribution to the uh, dissemination of knowledge for assistance for the love that doesn't that to spread uh, and now let's wish a fragment from the video with the participation of igrim halaju danilo Yes, because the meaning of every day is to increase this love within yourself. It's hundred percent. Of course, the meaning of our existence is a constant increasing of this love. But when a person already experiences this love, when he can increase it, when he cannot part with it for a moment, then he does not have such thoughts and cannot have them. And at the first stages, people, of course, get into such pincers from the system. It's okay, they step over it, they go further. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. This passes, it's all temporary. If a person does his best and wants this, everything is possible. Igor Mihalovich, thank you very much. Today we answered a lot of questions for people who start their journey, who follow a spiritual path. But there are also requests from those people who feel now. Well, for those, words are not needed. There is a request from them to be with them just for a minute. I am always with them, but I understand what they are talking about. Let's still not turn the video program into our affairs, right? I see. Thank you very much. For what? For everything, Igor Mikhailovich, for love and for life. This is for you, friends, thank you. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for being here. Let's just love each other and follow the straight way. Thank you. Thank you very much, Igor Mikhailovich. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Yes, indeed, after such fragments, you kind of forget what you're about to say. But I really wanted to go back to the point that, and to remind you that our broadcast is held within the framework of the Week of Solidarity. Today, 25th of February, it's the first day of the Week of Solidarity of the Participants of Alatra Movement. And every day during this week, we'll have live broadcasts and international meetings. All meetings will be held at the same time from 2 p.m. Greenwich time, GMT. And I would like to read out the announcements. That, so tomorrow, 26th of February, there will be online meeting on the Creative Society project and uh, Six Degrees of Connection. February 27, there will be an online concert. Go ahead towards the Creative Society. Uh, February 28th, there will be a live broadcast on the preparation of the conference Creative Society, what the prophets dreamed of. March 1st, there will be an international online meeting entitled Alatra TV International Experience. March 20, March 2nd, there will be the live broadcast uh, climatic events, uh, international experience of interaction between people. And on March 3rd, there will be an online meeting, Kaleidoscope of Facts. It is time to bring the truth back to people. So more, we have more interesting things ahead. So please join us and you will know more interesting things. Yes, thank you very much, Irina. And it is such a happiness to be present here together with friends who live all over the world and how united we are in we in love, in understanding. I would like to read out several comments which uh, are sent by, peop uh, by people to our live stream commentary section. Shreen is writing, this is just a childish need to share its feelings and I have this necessity to share it. Uh, this state has synchronized and I cannot be aside. All of us are dear and near. I love everyone. We are all conductors of love. Ludmila is writing, thank you very much. Thanks a lot to the spiritual world for such a living gift for gratitude and love. Anna is writing, I would like to share how I didn't know how to share my uh, knowledge with the, my friend. I was afraid that she didn't accept it. But it was, um, uh, you know, a seizure stoppage from on, on the side of the system. But I told my friends and she got ignited. It was like a fire. And Gulara is writing, for the first time, I saw the videos on the Internet. When I was watching the videos, I had a question in my mind. What are they talking about? In half a year, I came to the point that I understood they're talking about feelings, how to come to feelings and how to live. And another one from Anna, yes, indeed, there is a holiday, feeling of holiday, it is so joyful inside. I can feel that everyone are here, everyone are near, and I want to smile all the time. So we continue our broadcast, and now we'll listen to Masha, who's working in a French-speaking team. Masha? Hello, friends. Maria from Kiev, Ukraine, and I would like to say that in every program, the program is like a guiding star, and with every video, there is such a great chance to apply these tools and to become free. It is so inspiring, and I would like to say that in the video, The Circle of Life, there is the topic of spiritual friendship. And uh, I, the, the words, the, when you see these eyes, this sincerity, you see that it's life. You don't need anything from a person, and he doesn't need anything, but you have this uh, common goal. These words uh, rejoiced, and uh, this uh, makes me so happy. Today, this united us all, and I would like to share another experience that literally uh, a month or two before uh, the video in search of oneself, I was practice, practicing this uh, technique, uh, who am I? It was a very interesting um, period in my life when I uh, started to reconsider my whole life 
I uh, changed my understanding and attitude to life and to myself. And basically, it was like a conversation with my consciousness, but it, this practice was an in-depth uh, learning, in-depth study of myself as personality. When you understand that you are a personality, you really feel happy. And it's uh, very difficult to uh, convey this, but it's a tremendous happiness. And when the video was released, it was like a friendly shoulder that supports you all the time. And I would like to note another point that it is very important to apply the knowledge in practice because only this way you will uh, not just believe and know theory, but you will experience it in practice and nobody will be able to lead you astray. Also, as individual life, uh, they said that the spiritual path is for everyone and also a uh, building of the creative society is not a feat uh, like a spiritual work on oneself is not a feat it's a natural process and it's natural process for the whole society for all humanity to be free from the directives of consciousness and of the system thank you very much everyone i would like to give the floor to vladimir hello friends my name is Vladimir Ivanov from Varna, from Bulgaria. And today I'm translating into Bulgarian language from Russian to Bulgarian. You know, I am kind of uh, a bit nervous when I want to say something about some of the videos with Igor Mahavji Danilov, as if, you know, which one of the air breath of air I need more all of them are very deep meaning and provide invaluable help to every person all, all programs within the knowledge are a huge help for humanity and give us uh, so much understanding of the human world of the meaning of life and our purpose of uh, being on this beautiful planet yes the primordial knowledge is really priceless and in the basement of our life our choice or in every moment is based uh, will we accuse the negative influence of our bad thoughts and uh, take it as a command for our actions or no and one of the fragment uh, that's why maybe one of the fragments strongly affected me uh, from the program, um, uh, from the video with the participation of the active participants of the IPA Malatra. And it was in very simple words they said about uh, in order to get life, you need to get it right here and now, and everyone have a chance. And you don't need to wait from someone. You should work on yourself, give your attention, don't give your attention there you don't need to do it and for myself i realized that the easiest is to love and this gives uh, more love more um, more feelings and after the end of life that give the eternal life and it is not some philosophical uh, knowledge but it's uh, the truth absolutely the real truth and as even Hodge said a person should make his choice every, in, in every moment and uh, when the when we realize that the words don't come in our head they are not ours but to accept them or not to accept when when the thoughts are negative you shouldn't invest your attention into it just put it in the spam um being as in our computer we should do it um, to choose goodness, not listen to our consciousness. My choice is made towards love of God. And this is the most important choice in my life. This is the most important choice for every person because there is nothing more real than love and nothing more valuable than life. Life towards God gives life towards those who make their choice and it gives it to every day to those who have made the choice i want to thank from 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 all my heart and all my friends from the bulgarian team and all the participants 
thank you for your help and for your information. All the best from my heart. Now I pass the floor uh, further to Canada. Vladimir, thank you. Thank you all my friends who shared um, him or her experience and their feelings. It was, you know, every word was resonates in my soul and I can describe what's happening to me when I was listening to it. My name is Sergey. I live in Canada and I want to start from my story. How did I came to knowledge? We know that uh, accidents are not accidental. I was, you know, just sitting and watching YouTube. I don't remember even what it was. And I decided to look on comments. And in comments, I saw the word Alatra. And it was somehow resonates in my soul. And yeah, some somehow responded me, hooked me. I was always a bit um, curious. And I wanted to know, what is it, this word? I, I never heard. You know, Google tell, helps us, and from for a short period of time, I was reading books by Anastasia Novak, and um, before I had a lot of questions: Who am I? Why I'm living here? Why? Why this world is like that? Why is everything is chaotically and incomprehensible? And after reading the books, as if um you know um as if you take mosaic and put it from all over the world and once you get these puzzles into one place and you understand everything and i started to watch videos um, immediately at the same time with books and it was interesting the very first video i watched i turned it all on on the computer and my wife came and she said what are you looking for and i said i don't know yet let's watch together yeah it was so organic and um, she was also very interested and all the videos we watched together and what i wanted also to say is about the work in the project participating in the project um, you know, consciousness uh, didn't allow me at some point to to participate uh, in the project. But at one day, I, will, I had that very strong need, and I connected to uh, to Ukraine, and 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 we. Had and it turned out that there is nothing um, fearful everything is good and everything was done and i started to participate in the project i didn't know uh, where i could i help but i studied with translation that was i could do by the very beginning for some time i was very well working in the turn team of translators guys thank you all very much uh, for work in the team how to work in love and it was very good and the work was as a spiritual practice itself and then last year i was um, happy to be on the week of solidarity and i heard that uh, people um, that people uh, need a video processors and uh, when i um, get back to canada i started to doing video editing and now I also participated in various other projects and you know now these projects are the so uh, in so part of my life that I cannot imagine my life without them and um, and coming back to the programs to the videos when I was asked uh, which program I would like to highlight and I didn't know because each of it gives so many new understanding each of them gives so many new but then I understood one moment and many people together have already spoken about this 
video because it is really a good um, video it is uh, freedom from beast dictatorship within yourself when i looked when i watched the video live for the first time i understood that something is happening inside of me but tatiana was uh talking about the inner um inner feelings but i had in my head that how to come to these uh, inner feelings what she's talking about and in the um, program freedom from the dictatorship of the beast within myself within yourself uh you know says tell my friend how to get rid of the beast and I Alek have already said that Igor Mihalovich looked straight into my eyes and felt he had, he was addressing him and he described it as a as a help for a friend to and he ex ex explained it in very easily just uh, give up bad thoughts and it was a step forward it was very easy as to um, wait for love, you know. Nigel Mahaj said another interesting thing, that um, my friend forgets everything. And, uh, you know, um, the next day I remember that I watched an interesting video and there was some a great thought, but I couldn't remember what it is. And, you know, uh, I couldn't remember it at all the consciousness erased it and you know i cut this very moment from this very fragment and and some time after it yes yes you know uh, i was afraid that i couldn't remember the last moment so guys let's watch the fragment from the program life it is a very good program I will, I'd like to read out more of what was described by those who felt the spiritual world. The light appeared rather than like, like fire that burned both the surface of my body and something inside the soul what I perceived upon such burning as alien to God. Oh, at that time I didn't know anything and didn't understand what was happening to me. My thought wasn't directed at exploring the nature of that fire and that light. I came alive in spirit. What I remember for sure is my major impulse to God, to my deadly longing for Him. I was expressing it in my prayer in such concentration that even if the fire or light came, my attention was not distracted from God and my entire aspiration was towards Him. The key point is my attention was not distracted from God. And this says it all. But this man is going himself. He not just receives, not simply receives as we have mentioned, like alone. He was earning, he was aspiring himself, and he himself was attaining. And what's the most valuable is that he didn't divert his attention to neither light nor any is it so difficult it's easy what do you need simply to be simply to open up Hello everyone, I'm Alina from Slovakia, I greet everyone, I'm happy to see everyone, thank you very much to you all, I really feel this love and I remember the words by Igor Mikhailovich Danilov in the video, the circle of life that he said that that a person always has enough strength to stand firmly, not to bend uh, towards uh, Satan and bow before God to say the truth, to say according to God's word and 
There were even the other words by Igor Mikhailovich, and they helped me every day, in every day of my life, in various situations, and in when I need to make a choice, I do, uh, you know. <laughs> We are so, all of us are so filled with gratitude towards Igor Mikhailovich and to the spiritual world for the Holy Spirit. We thank, we thank, sincerely thank for everything and sincerely thank for um, an opportunity to be with you. I give the floor to the next speaker, to Elizabeth from Germany. Our today's meeting, during this meeting, we heard so many wonderful words and so many feelings just overwhelm us. I would like to tell my story in brief, how I got acquainted with the knowledge. The knowledge always came to me at the moments when there were terrible situations, when it was really a tough time for me. And there was one time, one point, that I didn't pay much attention to that, but I knew that it's the truth. Uh, but consciousness made me, forced me not to read the books, not to watch the videos. And after a while, I understood that it's the only thing that is needed in this world. It's the only need that can save you, that can give you life, and it can improve your life situations. For a long time, I couldn't understand when I was watching the videos and reading the books. I couldn't understand, you know. I heard the responses from other participants that they feel this love, that they are overwhelmed with this love. And uh, what is this real ultimate high? Okay, if I didn't understand, I was watching the videos over and over again. I always had tears, but I couldn't understand why people rejoice, but I have tears. At that time, I understood that these tears is actually this overwhelming, and I'm crying because of happiness. You understand when at these moments in your life when the situation seems to be uh, terrible and oppressive and uh, you have uh, physical and mental problems but really uh, the video angels don't fall save them because it gave me inspiration and it gave me hope that you yes i do have a chance to become an angel you have a chance and nobody can take this chance away from you you just have it and you should use it. In this video, Igor Mikhailovich, uh, I'd like to know this his, uh, very nice humor. There was just a joke on his side that it's so wonderful that, uh, that uh, an angel has three wings. It's shown with three wings, not with three feathers feathers uh it was so simple and easy for me at that point i was listening to this video with such an easiness i understood the simplicity of this path and we just need to overcome we just need to walk to go towards god and we have a chance to become an angel each of us the second impetus for me was the call of Mahdi. uh video where in the end Igor Mikhailovich told us what this call is about and that every person can feel this call. In this video I I was watching it after my night shift at work. I was quite physically exhausted and at that point I understood that the soul actually and this call never uh, ceases. Uh, and the soul is always in uh, feels feeling it. When I felt this call, I understood that on the other side of a planet, or maybe on the other side of the universe, there is somebody at the same moment, and he or she feels the same, and it overfilled me. I just kept. I wanted to embrace the entire world, although. 
my external circumstances are were different and you know i kind of lost consciousness at that point and this unification in this call which if each of us can feel basically now we also are united we share knowledge experiences and responses reviews and i'm so much grateful to all of your friends thank you very much and i give the floor to belarus hello dear friends my name is Nijana. i'm from belarus from gomil city i would like to share my great joy with you how i gained this happiness i would like to tell you that in the past my life was you no, know, just an ordinary life. I was living like everyone, family, husband, child, a house, uh, some job. Everything seemed to be fine, but there was no happiness. Something was always missing, and it seemed like there was something joyful, but not. it wasn't full, full-fledged, it wasn't real. And to my luck, uh, a girl at work suggested that I read a book. It was called Sensei. When I started reading this book, I immediately felt that, yes, this is the living, the real. I never felt anything like that before that while reading any book. As if something was emerging inside of me, it was such a feeling. And when I read the first, the second, the third book, ever in, uh, as Osmos, Brothers in a Stone, the crossroads i understood that it, it cannot be just stopped that i stop reading these books and that's it no um it's like there is nothing else to read i i couldn't believe that i i knew that something else will be also at that and she said but basically you can also watch a video and she's title of the video is life you can find it on youtube i started watching this video and you know i cannot describe what was happening to me but inside me i was so overwhelmed i was like you know filled of these feelings like a ball like a sphere i it was so real i understood that the Igor Mikhailovich is alive he's real i you know, I cannot explain the whole fullness of my feelings. And at the very end, when he just, uh, throughout the video, he was looking on at Tatiana, but at the end of the video, he raised his gaze, and it seemed like he was looking straight at me, and our eyes sort of met. And I felt as if through my... Uh, crown of my head and through my toes there was such a wave i cannot even express uh, express these feelings i never felt anything like that it was like lightning or maybe some electric charge i don't know it was such a sensation i had it for the first time it was such a happiness i understood that person is real that he is real and this is uh, what i was looking for there was such a flow of love and if even if i take uh, the most beloved people like uh, my love for my parents for the sister for my child for everyone but this feeling is nothing compared to love which was coming from igor mikhailovich i wish all people on this planet to feel experience this happiness and this joy and this real love real love of the spiritual world i so i'm so grateful to Igor Mikhailovich, to the spiritual world for this chance for this life for this happiness for everything that can happen the best that can happen to a person the best thing that can happen to a person is that he or she meets Igor Mikhailovich and learns about the spiritual world. And now let us watch a fragment of the video, The Circle of Life.
There are those who are beyond the circle. These are people who are undecided or let's say people who consider themselves atheists or even consider themselves believers, but they are far from God's love. While there are those who enter the circle of God's love, who contact it somehow, well, more or less, but they already feel there is already some response from them. They are already in certain resonance with each other, thus forms a full circle. Well, for example, our table is round and there's a red line beyond this layer red line. There live all non-believers, those who don't love God, while here all of us enter, everyone who loves God, and we gradually approach, depending on how much we serve the spiritual world, how much we love, how big our devotion is, we are closer and closer to the center, to the spiritual world itself, thus the closer we are, and here our connection is formed. After all, just imagine the distance, we are here and here, right? We are far, but when we are close, look to what distance is. No matter how we take it, we are closer, we feel each other better, we become a single organism as we approach God himself, become his part. Well, uh, there used to be such an interpretation as well. Yet the whole point is exactly that the more personal effort we invest, the closer we become to God, the more we feel and the better we feel each other. It is such a convenient mathematics, so to say, well, it has the right to exist. Entering the center, yes, being complete as a unit. Entering the center, it is those who approach this, they already become a unit, yes. This is such a... Um, they become a part of spiritual world, clearly, already during lifetime. Great. Spiritual. Friends in here, it was considered that friends, spiritual friends, real friends, are those who are within the circle, while those who are beyond the circle, well, they, these are just people who are undecided. Whether they will enter or not, it's their right. Again, these are just people. Real spiritual friendship, exactly when you... Uh, when you meet this, the same person as you with an open heart, with clear eyes and without any stupid thoughts, you don't need anything from him and he doesn't need anything from you, but you have one goal, service to the spiritual world. Again, what is the goal? To wake up the one who is sleeping. Why? Because it's more fun when there are two of us, it's better when we are three and it's even more interesting when there are five, right? And if we are ten people, we will build the house faster, right? Yet. What is if there are billionaires of us, then we will build even a world here, worthy of being looked by God himself. A lot of thanks to Tatiana and to Igor Mikhailovich. You know, it feels like they're sitting right now at this table. And thanks everyone, uh, friends, uh, for all your impressions, for your insights, for your understandings. It's really very important because um, these revelations, they give us freedom, uh, freedom and uh, believe that we will be able to live in the creative society. And right now, I would like to cite to read um, the comments of our dear viewers. Please um, write more comments and ask your questions and share your understandings. And right now I'm going to read a few of them. So Anne is writing, right now the dreams of the prophets are coming true. Uh, when people are on the same wavelength and that that breathing, uh, which is can be compared to the prison of uh, the sun. And it's, you know, uh, the live broadcast has been going on for the fourth uh, hour already. And I ha just realized that there is just one great family, uh, the builders of the creative society, and it uh, intensifies uh, their flame, flame of love inside. And Allah's writing, you know, love is overwhelming me right now, and I feel every person as just a um, very beloved one. And lots of also thanks to you. Alena is writing, isn't it really uh, possible that uh, um, this love and gratitude, which is boundless, and do you feel that? And it just kind of, uh, you're full of this deep feelings. Alina is writing, lots of thanks, dear friends, that you organized these meetings with us. And today's live broadcast, it um, just gives us so many deep feelings. Also, there is another comment that uh, only united, um, all the world will feel this. 
And only you can feel this unification of people as something unique. So let us, um, okay, go on and we go to Slovakia right now. Please, Gabriela, um, just share your impressions of uh, the programs. Um, hello, everyone. I am um, just, uh, my name is Brit, uh, just uh, Gabriela and, and I'm from uh, uh, just uh, Slovakia. I would also like to thank you from the bottom of my heart and today's love for broadcast today's meeting is just indescribable and I understand how connected interconnected we all are and it's like really one big family and all the videos of the participation Rukhi Mihalash is great great present and uh, uh, well if you ask me to share uh, just uh, my understanding is which is which video is the best uh, I would I just even can't say exactly because each of the videos of the participation of Mihaj Danilo gives lots of lots of information gives lots of um, you know you know experience and um, a viewer with each new video uh, just understands himself better and this is really just great present and I, I would like to share with you you know uh, some points in work on myself and um, just for example in video life which uh, I wouldn't say maybe in exact words but Tatiana um, said and mentioned that it's very important that the spiritual presence right from the spiritual world uh, wouldn't be kind of um, uh, some uh, uh, all right um probably as you know um just it, it it wouldn't just uh stop us from developing right it, it wouldn't play role such crutch uh or crutches and actually in Igor Mikhailovich Danilo answered that, uh, well, this time snow, and I understood that uh, the more, just I, I understood personally what is the true inner support, spiritual support, and uh, what is the true inner spiritual basis, so to say, and foundation. So what is um, the inner? Um, just um, you know uniqueness and uh, that I wouldn't be um, looking for that source in other ways and other people also I believe another video is very important um, is the circle of life which uh, was just released on a letter TV and when uh, just to, we are doing different uh, projects, you know, um, carrying um, a lot of IPM projects, so we happen to experience different situations, of course. And then, uh, at, at one of those days, uh, this video of the circle of life helped me a lot because I felt like, you know, well, I felt like what really means to love, um, what really means to love people, because um, somehow it was difficult for me, uh, just to confess. And Tatiana, yeah, I once mentioned that it's very important to uh, just, you know, um, treat people positively. And um, my consciousness told me that, oh, you are spiritual, so uh, you cannot just. Uh, talk and tell about other people about your feelings but then I understood that I understood actually that consciousness was lying and I, I when I started to express my deep feelings and to share my deep feelings with other people I I understood that is possible and when we were working in the group uh, and it was kind of you know the um, uh, just call me um, okay the highest point of my experience when we were feeling each other and when we f were able to feel people um, so we really shared this experience of love towards each other and we were writing messages about these feelings and it was really sincere and very open 
and I understood actually what it means to truly love a person in a letra. And sometimes, even you know, um, uh, just uh, during the day when I walk and uh, pass by a person, and I feel I feel this love towards a person, and this is really present and such deep understanding, and all these spiritual presence are given uh, with the help of Igor Mikhailovich Danilov. This is indescribable with the help of words. But thank you very much for listening to me, and I'm giving back um, the floor. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Bajena uh, from the Czech Republic. And I would like to share uh, such strong and first, first uh, my, just of my inner experiences. Uh, only just when uh, the video the video was released, but I didn't quite have an opportunity to just watch it. Uh, I had just to leave, you know, for some tasks, and and I have never um, experienced uh, this feeling. It was like something strong, you know, and. I have, you know, it, it was such kind of, I would say, a strong call just to watch, uh, or a strong impetus to watch uh, the video with the participation of Grimkhalovich Danilov. It was really very deep experience, deep and strong experience. And when I came home that day, came back home, I just was running to watch the video. It was the call of Mahdi. And when I started watching it, I just knew that, that I'm going to watch this video for many, many times. But, um, well, uh, I felt like uh, this video is really worth watching lots of times. This video which is really the call, the call which I'm feeling, that I'm feeling with this call. And when I watched this video, I got such um, I just remembered such words or this words just grew in me. It's like open up your breast and uh, your chest and just let let this feeling uh, grow in you and live in you. I just you know uh, I just must just remind you about that. Uh, and also, I especially liked the video with the prophets dreamt of, and especially when, well, when Ike Mihalovic said the most important words, he said, love God just with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your being. And I understood then, I understood that, that I will never be spiritually developed, uh, or I will never grow spiritually if I do not learn how to leave uh, just a person next to me. Because each person has this particle of the spiritual world, the soul. And Igor Mikhailovich reminded us of that, and uh, this understanding that whatever we do, but uh, love for God and love for 
is just neighbor for the person who's next to you are the most important. And I just wanted to share this um, understanding of mind with you today because they really changed my life. And right, right now I would like to invite you to watch a video with the prophet dreamt of. continue about Jesus Christ. In fact, he did talk about this love. And when he was asked which of the commandments was the greatest, he said, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. And, and the second is, you ought to love your neighbor as yourself. That's right. It is remarkable that they asked Jesus to name one commandment, but he names two because for him, love for neighbor and love for God are such inseparable. It's one and the same thing. Let me explain. If a human really loves God with all his heart and serves God, and he does not serve Satan, then he is already part of the spiritual world. And how can we not love him or love him less than God if he is part of him? If we love someone, we love him. We love him as he is. Can we love a human and not love his left hand? A simple question. No, we love him entirely. It's the same in this case. Even love your enemies. And how can you not love your enemy if he is a human being? After all, it is Shaitan who divides us and makes us enemies. Yet each of us has a soul, and the soul in each of us is part of the spiritual world. Good evening, uh, my name is Andrea, and I am from Bratislava, Slovakia. Uh, I would also like to share with you understandings of this video that we have just watched, what the prophets dreamt of. And I understood that that this is really great honor that I'm living in these days and in this civilization. And I would really want uh, uh, just to make the dreams of our prophets come true. And I also just recollected uh, the video Consciousness and Personality. It really helps me just every day. Uh, this video really has lots of information how we should deal with our consciousness, how just to control thoughts. And I just, I, I, you know, I got this understanding that consciousness is just a tool and we should learn only how to use it. And not, uh, we shouldn't let our consciousness um, just uh, control us. We should learn um, our consciousness and how to use our consciousness. And I'm so grateful for each video with the participation of Gimichalovich Danilov. And now I'm giving the floor back to next speaker, please. A good evening, friends. My name is Ola, and I live in Israel. I just you know remembered uh, the words um, of Tatiana uh, in the video of life. She said that this video became uh, well uh, as kind of spiritual crutches for many people, and uh, I keep on uh, rewatching this video, and it is really um, well uh, and 
pro probably sh this video just kind of uh, became real extra help for me on the spiritual world. But thanks to the feelings that I um, I'm experience, uh, experiencing while watching this video, you know, for me, it is um, kind of easier to feel lotus, to feel in a love. And, uh, you know, uh, thanks to the video, uh, it's kind of, uh, you know, as Tatiana said that she kind of, because of these deep feelings, she lost her consciousness. And, you know, I, I kind of, uh, well, I watch this video and also uh, lose my consciousness. Uh, I, I just um, uh, am overfilled with feelings of easiness and joy and happiness. And um, then consciousness doesn't really play a role. And um, really, uh, watching this video, it helps me to join uh, the common spiritual practice a lot. And it really helped me a lot. Also, I would like to share with you that uh, late recently I've uh, just rewatched the video Shield, uh, where in which Igor Mikhailovich said that only uh, eighty, just eight percent of our attention should be spent on the spiritual life, and just twenty percent on the outer world. You know, three D or living, existing in three D world, and. Um, he said it's kind of as if you are lighting in a dark room with the help of a torch. Uh, and this association really just helped me understand. And w w when just I wake up in the morning, I just recollect uh, where or towards um, what I should direct my attention as that um, ray of light, right, of the torch. So I should... Um, uh, just direct my attention um, onto the inner, inner love, and uh, not just kind of other problems in this radio world. Now I'm giving the floor back to another speaker from Germany. Lots of thanks, Olya. Greetings, friends. Uh, hello, everyone from Germany. And uh, I just, um, my name is uh, Katya Berger, and I would like to congratulate each of you with a holiday, with this feeling of holiday. And I would like to share my experience with you. Uh, well, uh, I just uh, was trying to understand what deep feelings mean. And um, when I heard in the video that uh, actually God is the utmost high, right? In this video, uh, I heard that. Uh, uh, just uh, these deep feelings. I got into this understanding of what deep feelings are. And thanks uh, to the videos uh, with the participation of Rigi Mikhailovich Danilo, and uh, thanks to the books by Anastasia Novik, we have this unique opportunity to learn and to uh, the deep feelings through dream feel, feel, deep feelings. And of course, when you just um, kind of recognize yourself, right? Then you start acting differently. You start treating other people differently. And um, well, just I'm recollecting uh, when uh, Ikin Mikhailovich, uh, well, he addressed uh, one of uh, the participants. Um, and uh, well, when he's just, but then I, f I felt as if Ikram Mikhailovich just addressed me personally. And really, um, well, I just set aside all my fears and doubts and I started participating in a lot of PM projects. And I wanted to, to tell you that when we are united, when uh, we start developing ourselves and helping each other, when we just respect each other, when we demonstrate to manifest the best qualities of ourselves, then I, I, uh, and it's true life. And uh, I would like to s say to you a poem, try in your life, open your true ears and eyes, and let love fill you, because there is nothing more precious than love. And now I suggest watching the uh, uh, just an excerpt with the participation of Vikram Mikhailovich Danilov. Игорь Михайлович, 
It is mentioned that at the times when Mahdi will be in the world, a call will be coming from him, which people will be able to hear. What kind of a call is this? Well, this was also said not only about Mahdi, but in many religions, that there would be a call. This is what really exists. And paradoxically, it wasn't there. Just recently, it wasn't there. But now it is. And this is even a physical phenomenon. Well, I can tell you the easiest method to hear it. And at that, this is it's not a meditation, not a prayer, or some kind of hypnosis. We are sitting here and simply talking. That's because many people might interpret it differently to the dictation of shaitan, and he doesn't like this, because I will now tell about the truth. And the truth is simple, and everyone can hear, the one who wants it all. You just need to sit down and calm down, just close your eyes and relax, and try to hear the beating of your heart with your inner gaze, just try. You can try right now, or after the program, or whenever you want. It doesn't matter whether you are an atheist, whoever you are. Simply try to hear your heartbeat by looking inside yourself. Be sure to direct your attention inward, and your eyes must be closed. For open earthly eyes will distract, and attention will be directed where it shouldn't be directed now. And when you close your eyes and direct it inwards to your heart, you can hear it beating. This is the first stage. And when you hear your heart beating, direct even more attention to it, so that you hear exactly this rhythm, these very heartbeats. Don't imagine, but feel physically. And as soon as you feel it, Immerse your attention even deeper to the solar plexus area. And in the solar plexus area, just listen. At first, it will seem to you that impulses from vessels are also going to the beat of the heart. But put even more of your attention, and you will feel, you will feel waves diverging from there which don't coincide with the rhythm of your heartbeat at all. These are elastic waves spreading throughout the body. And the more attention you invest, the more clearly you will hear these waves. With warmth, even with heat, they spread throughout the body. And this physical phenomenon is absolutely real. But as soon as you open your eyes, and get a bit distracted, and this will go away. And the rhythm of these waves emanating from the soul is equated to the breath of the sun, precisely to the rhythm of the sun's breath. Many will say, does the sun really breathe? It does. And it has its rhythm, and it absolutely coincides with these waves that come from within. It's the breath of the whole world. It is precisely what is now seen and felt. And they say that it will reach hearts, and this beat will be going to hearts. Have you tried it? You will understand that these waves are going to the heart and to the back and spread throughout the body. Well, it passes quickly, if you get a bit distracted, and that's all, you've lost it. And very few people understand what is behind this. And this is not science fiction at all, this is reality, which is basically accessible to any person who's able to calm down shaitans in his head at least a little bit, and who's able to direct his gaze inwards. Well, this... It is just that now there is an understanding why Imam Mahdi was called the Solar Pole. And what people feel and see when they open their eyes changes them very much and at once. It changes the reality around. And this is really an inner state that cannot be confused with anything. And you understand why there are still so many people who feel, hear and go towards Mahdi. 
It's just because this is eternity, because this is life, because this is everyone's home, where one must come. Putting aside everything alien and all these masks that one has put on, that's the point. The point is in life, but there is no point in death. There are no exceptions. Every person is able to feel this. Everyone. And the most interesting thing is that, as I have already said, until just a short while ago, such a phenomenon didn't exist. And many people feel this and wonder, why? What is it? What kind of waves are emanating that pour heat over people? Many have felt this heat, but it's not described anywhere. And the most interesting thing is this rhythm. Well, it definitely doesn't coincide with the heart rhythm. However, just to reach it without concentration on the heart first, and then on what people call the soul or the solar plexus area, it won't work. Later on you can immediately concentrate if you do this several times. But guys, I want to say right away, this is just a call. It just means that this breath has increased, and you can feel it physically. But under no circumstances this is what leads to salvation. And don't confuse it with the lotus meditation. Lotus is spiritual work. It is, first of all, that love which you send to soul. And this is what gives life. Hello, friends. My name is Alena, and I would like to share that how I really felt the call of Mari. And one day I just uh, woke up from the feeling which was coming from within, and it was so strong that I just couldn't but uh, just um, feel it. And uh, this wave, it was so strong, and I felt so good that actually during the whole day I was living by these feelings. And actually I had uh, an appointment with a dentist that day, and, uh, you know, uh, the dentist was doing uh, his work, but I was feeling inside, you know, this inner state of joy, love, and it was kind of more real than what was happening in 3D world. And then I got a message that that day uh, the video of the call of Marty actually was released on Alatar TV. And when Igor Mikhailovich started telling how we are able to feel this call of Marty, I just remember this inner experience, and I felt this wave uh, even increased. And uh, I had, I, I, I just, you know, I, I got such an insight that this feeling, this great feeling actually has always been with me, has always been there. And it is so easy to feel it, and I felt so grateful just for this feeling. And it is really incomparable with anything. And I also wanted to share with you that uh, just in 2018, I had some uh, drastic kind of changes in my life when I felt kind of as if life was coming out of me, was leaving me. and. Uh, and when I heard um, this in one of the videos, um, as Ikim Khash said, when a person is kind of at the, on the verge of life and death, that he may be saved. Uh, when he just, he might, this person might say, I just want to leave. And I felt that I really wanted to leave. And in some time, I got a call. And uh, just an acquaintance of mine said that he found 
the book and he just read the description of that book and uh, he sent me the web link to this um, book just on in the online format and it was um, the book by Anastasia Novik Alatra and when uh, I was reading uh, the just description of the energetic structure I just I understood that I got really interested in that information and when I really read uh, information I understood that right it is really what I've been looking for all my life and although I just wasn't able to understand all that was written in the letter, but I kept on reading this book. And uh, within a short period of time, I uh, have just read all the books by Anastasia Novik. And moreover, I found a letter TV. And I also found uh, many videos with uh, just uh, participation with Mikhailovich Danilo. And I started writing the diary, my own diary of the spiritual development. And thanks to a lot of thanks to the spiritual practices, thanks to the videos with the participation of Mikhailovich Danilo, you know, I was able to go out of that depressive state. And it's like, you know, I could compare these different states before water and after that. It's like, you know, about um, a plant which is kind of dying plant and then this plant uh, revives. So uh, when you just come back to life, to true life, and you start living, then one day you you just that you just feel that you uh, truly started to live to live true life because this inner life it is like being born in you within you and you just following following the spiritual path and then it's like you know this path God, uh, gets broadened uh, broadens and uh, you know you feel like an ocean of um, in the, inside you, an ocean of feelings, an ocean of true life inside you, and when you understand that, when you understand that this true feeling is inside of you, then you start to understand that other people might need it as well, and then you realize that people need the greater society then you start um, kind of well first of all you should start acting within yourself right and then you understand that actually um, just the same way as you are growing inside it right so you might grow um, kind of out of your just in the outer world too just in relationships with people and I you know, I'm so grateful for life, for feelings. Thank you very much. Greetings, dear friends. Um, just, I'm from Tajikistan, um, and I would like to share my story of meeting Alatra. I consider this experience to be interesting because all people who live in Dushanbe, well, actually in Tajikistan, we are, well, since we are kids, right, we live in Islam and we are accustomed to live, to talk, to live with their, some yeah, Islam religious beliefs, and only over the years you realize that this is really the truth. And when you grow up, you have more and more questions. And uh, these questions, you know, they are answered differently by different people. Um, for example, uh, who each Imam, um, well, he answers these questions differently. And just once you understand that uh, um, when when God says yes, but why? Why uh, don't um, 
Imams follow God's word. And that is why I started reading uh, re different religious books. And after having read two or three books, you know, I had such a confusion in my head because I just couldn't make it out. I just couldn't figure out how in just one single Islam there could be so many interpretations. And that is and that is why I, uh, since then, I started kind of, well, um, I stopped uh, analyzing and I was kind of paying more attention to the inner world and it was some time passing by I got um, some uh, you know um, just different uh, approach I took different approach so I still had questions what I, oh, I, I always had questions what is that and um, Okay, different why questions. Okay, I understand. So I was kind of looking for God and um, and that's it. I wanted just to find God and that's it. And after university, um, thanks God that uh, uh, I didn't have that need uh, and I understood that all these material things, um, well, they wouldn't bring me happiness at all. They wouldn't make me happy. And I had an experience, you know, which opened, well, my eyes was an eye-opener, so to say. Um, then before moving to another country, I had a contact with, uh, well, Christians, and I realized that actually, kind of, well, I had, you know, this notion that Christians are different, they are just... Uh, uh, aliens are to me but when I happened to live with a Christian family in Germany when I came into real contact with them I noticed that Christian um, Christians they were bringing up their children in a proper way and they were bringing their kids to church and we talked a lot on the religious topics uh, but, and I thought uh, before uh, I had thought that Islam was uh, on the only the, the right um, religion but uh, when I started uh, listening to the Christians and their understandings I, I just then I was confused and puzzled why why um, if uh, Muslims and Christians they feel the same they understand the same thing so why do we treat each other like animals who told us that we are different and Christians they uh, just were saying simple things they they said the same things as Muslims do like we should help other people and uh, uh, and uh, uh, well many many other uh, true things and then I realized that we are common we have lots lots in common and then I got interested in different religions and once I had you know this kind of well crisis uh, um, maybe prob probably uh, because of uh, my that my search that for different religions and I couldn't uh, find the answers to my questions so I just um, you know I stopped following only Islam um, uh, because you know I just couldn't understand why Islam says to do one, uh, just uh, certain things and people were behaving quite differently and I just couldn't understand that Islam is Islam it's not about people and you know after that I even stopped praying I just stopped everything uh, and I just uh, was asking, was asking God, please help me. I, I only need you, dear God. And everything that is in this world, I understand that it's senseless without you, dear God. I just, I was feeling this, but I just couldn't know how to come to God. And as a result, um, uh, you know, we have uh, a month and a half before Ramadan tradition and we have one um, special night uh, and you know at that night I was sincerely asking God please please God show me your true self please and I just don't, don't need anything else I just you can even take everything from me but please be with me and you know the most interesting 
uh, is, was that that before that night I was um, opening, kind of uh, surfing the net, I was looking for the right press, so what I may ask God, what I may not ask God, and I kind of, um, well, opened uh, lots and lots of bookmarks in my browser, and after this request at night, uh, well, nothing um, changed yeah, in, in my body or anything, and I even got kind of upset that God um, didn't hear me, and I was actually even, you know, experiencing, uh, well, anger that God didn't lis uh, just listen to me, but I felt, I felt that God is, God lives. And I was just, you know, again, just came back to browsing, um, to surf in the net, and okay, I was looking for information, and I was kind of, okay, and I uh, opened um, one of the bookmarks in my browser, and what I found was the 12th episode video on the letter to me Islam is a religion of love and you know it just overwhelmed me because um, it just told about true love and I was watching this video and I was feeling feeling love and um, all that's right it's not something new for me but uh, just if I just make him it kind of okay, an association um, with the glasses, right? You know, I'm also interested in psychology, and the uh, just psychologists say that um, a person is existing in this world and he sees what he wants to see. And at that moment, you know, I just realized that those um, kind of dirty glasses that I had been wearing for so many years, when I caught a lot, I just kind of uh, just put, just took off. The, the, uh, those dirty glasses and um, I really perceive that world um, the way I wanted, my ego wanted to perceive it, uh, that everything was illusion and then since that moment, since that video on the lot of TV everything just just went right, I understood each word, each feeling so right, I understood where the truth is and where the charms uh, uh, were and um, the, most uh, the deepest feelings and the deepest understanding and insight that I got uh, was that, as our Prophet said, uh, that he, he said that, well, uh, yeah, Muslims ha have to do necessary obligatory namaz in the morning. And, um, well, when doing this namaz, uh, well, a believer should forget about everything, everything that is in the 3D world. And uh, before that, I couldn't understand um, uh, the words of the Prophet, but after a latra, of course, I just understood these words, because when you get open, open to the spiritual world and forget about any illusions, but any, any just lies, and and when you just open up before other people and before the spiritual world, then it is true life. And so this way, Alatra just took the veil out of my eyes. And that is why I'm so, so grateful to all Alatra APM participants who make these videos and who are opening the eyes of people and their hearts. Because, um, uh, when I watched uh, the video, um, another video with the uh, participation of Grimkhaj Danilo, and uh, Grimkhaj said that when uh, uh, when does um, okay, w one of the questions where was um, when does the spiritual path to God begin, and what does the spiritual path begin with? And Grimkhaj answered with honesty. So actually, what brought me to Alatra and what uh, brought me to meeting so many people is this honesty. Thanks a lot, lots of lots of thanks. To, for your attention, and I'm giving the floor back to Nasir from Dubai. Good evening, everyone. My name is Anastasia, and I live in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, and I would like to start my story with um, such. When I was 13, and 
Uh, I saw uh, a game, computer game, set where uh, like the character um, had to eat, had to go to work, had to sleep to receive some kind of points. And I asked myself, is this really the truth of life, the, the, the essence of life for a person to just live like that? When I turned older, the inner question, what is the point of life, was kind of like screaming inside my head, and I always turned to God with this question. And in two, three weeks, my mom brought me a book, Sensei, the Primordial of Shambhala. And when I was reading this book, I was laughing and crying at the same time. I had the feeling that the book itself is kind of like peeling off the uh, um, those patterns, those mask, masks off me, and the feeling of the answer to this inner question, the truth, uh, the knowledge that is given there. I read those books like in a couple of days, and a kind of tranquility and harmony and calmness came into my, my life that I found out there is soul, there is personality, and the point of life is when uh, it's God is in the first place, when you strive to God is in the first place, no matter what, you always turn to God. And when the first website of Alatra came out, I was visiting it and I was reading about the project. And I had those thoughts in my head that, look, they are acting, they're all together, and you're far away, what you can do? And these thoughts were kind of like keeping me away from participating in the project. And um, some time has passed, and I gave um, this book uh, to my friend, and she found the active participants of uh, a lot of movement here in Dubai, and she met uh, them and uh, she said uh, and, and they asked her how do you found out how did you find out about Alatra and she answered that my friend Nastya gave me the book and after that I received a call from Sergei and he was asking Nastya are you the one who was recommending the books uh, and I was said uh, I was like yes it was me and after that we met and that's when my active participation in the projects uh, started in the project creative society started on the platform of Latra International Public Movement with the team, with the true spiritual team, true spiritual family, where you stand side by side to people, you start feeling, you start understanding, and uh, mean the most important work on, on yourself starts when we are all together, when we are united. And when I was watching the programs, the videos was Igor Mikhailovich and Ilov, I feel them. And each time when Igor Mikhailovich starts, he says to start with honesty. And I, I feel that this phrase is being said exactly for me. And one time when I was reading uh, the video, he said that uh, without you, my friend, we will be able to do much less than with you. And I remember when he was saying these words, watching into the camera, I had tears running down my face my eyes, my face, my cheeks, because I felt that on the inside something answered and that it was like burning on the inside. And after uh, joining the project and actively participating in the Project Creative Society, there was one moment and at that time uh, the consciousness kind of like um, stopped me uh, through the um, uh, yeah, through the, some negative things, and I stopped participating for some time, uh, and I wanted to participate, but my consciousness kept me away from it, and I just want to give you such an example how uh, Igor Mikhailovich talks to us, to each of us, through, through, through the videos, and you can re-watch them a lot of times, and with each, each time you, you hear something new for yourself, and 
when I uh, was participating in the project, uh, the Circle of Life video came out and I saw that the video came out and I had this feeling that I have to watch it. But instead of watching the video, I watched some kind of film, some kind of movie. And the next day it repeated. And on the third day, my, my daughter came and asked me, Mom, could you please kind of peel off the seeds for me? And I did it, and my kid uh, went to bed, and I turned on the video, and right there, starting with the words of Igor Mikhailovich, there are two path there is short one and the long one the short one is when you stop listening to your consciousness and start living and loving and acting not um you know putting your attention into emotion and at that time when he was talking about the spiritual friendship he was saying that if you made the decision to act you don't need to lay on the bed on the couch and watching the, the the movie shows and eating those uh some source. at that time i had such a reaction that i stood up i sat down and the first question that i I had, how did he know that I was like, you know, peeling off those sunflower seeds for my daughter? And I had this feeling that he truly knew. And when I was watching this program, and I, he he had this phrase that uh, you have to roll over your sleeves and work for 24 hours. Um, a day and I heard this words and I returned back to the project and I'm actively participating in the project creative side nine months already and I do the best that I can and I meet so many sincere, bright, honest, talented people that already create the creative society all over the world but others just don't know about them we get acquainted we become friends we keep in touch and sometimes it happens the way that after the the acquaintance with the project we actually uh, you know keep in touch for at least two months before the interview actually and we uh, communicate a lot and we see that this person uh, accepts um, the principles of the creative society in every day of life. And just like Igor Mikhailovich says, says that one candle can light up one room and thousands of candles will be seen out of space. And when we talk about this project, this is the uni unification of all people. And when, when we share this light, when we share this light that we have on the inside, just to pass it on to others, when other persons kind of light, light up from the inside, this um, the merge can be felt and I would like to say, pay my gratitude from the bottom of my heart to Igor Mikhailovich Danilov for, for your love, for your patience, for your tips and hints on this uh, path, because these simple actions in each program help us. And I'm, I thank you a lot, and I pass the floor to the next speaker, Irina from Latvia. Thank you so much, Nastya. Thank you for sharing and uh, listening to your stories, guys, for so many hours. Thank you so much for sharing these amazing, wonderful stories. And I noticed that we we'll actually understood that throughout those programs with participation of Igor Mikhailovich Danilov, we actually see the manifestation of uh, the we hear the phrases that are needed to us, are vital to us in those very special moments. And I also noted that, noticed that after this sincere uh, 
turn to God, give him a hand to help open up, help him to find this uh, short path. In, in a short period of time, knowledge comes. And I wanted to say that the same thing happened to me as well. I had experienced it in my life. And thank you so much, dear viewers, for sharing your wonderful comments. And I also would like to read out a couple of them. Yeah, right. I found a lot on YouTube, uh, the video about the climate, and I was amazed by the words that I heard there. And this this was something that I, that I searched for throughout the entire life. Another person is that I have the good dream, but this prompts um, for that huge uh, wave of love to God. Aya writes that the story of each one of us is very close to each one of us. Uh, we all are on the path to God. And right now I would like to introduce you another speaker from France. Natalia, please turn on the video. New videos, new video, uh, the benefits of a human and the creative society. It's very joyful and very interesting. It's not even incredible information that is given in this video. And why is it incredible? Because our consciousness is uh, kind of like bordered and, and uh, teamed with those borders. And it is not actually, um, we actually have the opportunity to develop, we have to um, we have to uh, really uh, believe in the fact that we can do a lot together, even the, something that is sounds incredible to us such a wide uh, look at the possibilities of a human being that's what is given to us throughout this knowledge and uh, this knowledge is given to us when we are ready to accept and we have to uh, put all, all our efforts in the future that human has to live in and not to kind of like uh, drown into this uh, that we have in our current society. So what do we have to do? We need to actually see this uh, ray of light and and we have to help each other to go out to the light of the God, to the sun. When you live in multiplying God's love, then there is vital and there is no exhausting fight. You are multiplying this divine love in yourself while immersing in the inner source, the source which is in you, the true, boundless one. You don't seek in the ex external that which you have inside of you. Uh, thank you so much, guys. So we continue our live broadcast. And please leave your comments because it is very important to hear this part of that process of all of us. I would like to read a couple of comments, very interesting ones. Tom is right. All videos with Igor Mikhailovich, it's a huge support, um, it's care and, and helping hand, it's fulfilling and it's uh, just a, an amazing gift. Thank you so much. And Andrei is writing. Um, when a couple of years ago I found the book by Anastasia Novik and read them all, I felt a wonderful joy. I understood that I found the knowledge that I was looking for all my life. And this was an amazing feeling. And also I want to read out another one. Alex is writing. God, oh my God, I'm, I'm watching this broadcast and I understand how wonderful all these people are and I understand that uh, how strong 
the actual world loves us. Thank you so much, guys. And we uh, go back to our... We are coming to Argentina and we would like to hear from you. Welcome. Hello, how are you? My name is Santiago, I'm from Argentina. It's a very pleasant for me to share with you my experience in Alatra over this time, this time that I've been in Alatra. They say that when heart speaks, the tongue is silent. And we can say that we are speaking about space. And I would like to thank for the Alatra books and other books by Anastasia Novik. I would like to thank uh, Tatiana, Nicole, Andrei Elchin and all the technical support, all the technical team who has been helping to create live broadcasts in Alatra, because they do everything from their hearts. And um, I would also like to share with you that from my perspective, we always, when we speak about the creative society and uh, what other people have been saying, we have uh, one and the same uh, stereotype that uh, well, for example, what the prophets dreamed of, Jesus Christ, and they were always speaking about the same thing. And in all the videos with Igor Mikhailovich, they always say about the same thing, they often say about the same thing. And I also want to share with you, I participate in um, uh, text uh, proofreading and dubbing, and I always feel that I need to learn a lot still, and it is so nice when, for example, we read the book Alatra, we have some theory, but when we start working with other people, and when we start participating in projects, well, for example, proofreading and um, others, thank God that we were able to finish the translation of the Alatra book. And you begin to understand how to work with people, how to interact with them. And when we have uh, one common goal, and what uh, Igor Mihailovich is saying and Jana is saying, all of this, all is God, uh, yes, this is true. And this opens an entire world of understanding for us. And it continues in understanding. Uh, we continue to understand ourselves and we ask ourselves, we send um, satellites into space and, as far as I understand, we still are lacking the understanding of ourselves and we haven't uh, developed this inside of us. First of all, we must be human beings inside of us and if we look in history uh, about what prophets dreamed of this actually teaches us um, for us how to be happy so we just must be happy and uh, perfect our society and where did we lose this at what point and thank God, we have been finding and we have found this knowledge, Alatra, and all the people who are improving and sharing this knowledge, this teaches us to connect with each other.
Muchas veces and this can develop us as we can understand or how can we understand something that is more advanced than us. We need to make some effort to develop ourselves, other way we will not understand it. If we speak about prophets, then Jesus Christ said, don't give the fish, give the net to the person. And in order to understand everything that they told us, I think you need to think with your heart, you need to feel. And if we allow ourselves to develop along this path, and get in touch with ourselves as with human beings, I think it is very important for us to leave the consumerist system. And I believe that this is the point when we lost ourselves. And Alatra speaks about everything. We speak about everything in Alatra that it accept, it teaches us how to accept ourselves. We can be different in skin color, our situation can be different, the situation around us. And there must be no discrimination, there must only be love. And I think that we understand it in a lot of And we learn how to take interviews, how to talk to people. And this makes it possible to talk to people whose language I don't even know. So deep feelings of gratitude for everything that we do, for everything that we have learned from Alatra. But sometimes we forget to feel with the heart, and we actually can perfect ourselves. How? If we do it every day, bit by bit, we can do it. But at the same time, you mustn't only believe something, you need to find this answer for yourself, you need to understand it for yourself. And when we work with some Alatra documents, for example, or texts, I you, know, you can feel a lot of love, a lot of um, um, grace. And I've talked to people whom I've never seen, but I talk with them with so much love. We share things and we share this knowledge that Igor Mihailovich gives us. And this is a wonderful movement, Alatra. It has this uh, wonderful path towards developing the human being, and we must carry on with this path. And I have not the slightest doubt that we can change our world, that we can change our society. And when we repeat that it is wonderful, when we work, when we go outside, or when we go to the market, you talk to people, you interact with people, but at a different level, not like it was before. And I've seen it in myself. I can now see it. And I've uh, understood that now I'm more attentive with these people, I'm more polite with them, and yes, we can send satellites into space, but it doesn't speak, that doesn't mean that we have evolved, we must evolve as human beings. And I believe that I have actually understood a lot from Alatra. 
And all the things that I've understood is wonderful. To love each other, how to be honest. And when the person is honest, this allows another person to get to know me better when I'm honest. And this opens many doors for relationships, for interaction, and this speaks of love for each other, of love for God. This is why the person must not only know religions, but the person, first of all, must know love. And now, we have someone who tells us that, who tells us about love, who tells us about uh, tolerance, about understanding. And these are like layers, and we must uh, allow ourselves with the time, with the understanding, uh, something ready-made doesn't come at once. Things come step by step. You need to work on yourself and everything will come. There is no specific solution. Everything comes when you work on yourself. And when we do something from the bottom of our hearts, Everything falls into place, and I'm grateful to each of you and to all of you. Big hugs to all of you. Big gratitude to all of you. I'm very pleased. I'm very happy. Thanks a lot to all of you. And thank you to the Creative Society. And thanks so much for this opportunity. Now I give the floor to the next speaker. Thank you. Hello, dear sisters and brothers. I would like to congratulate everyone on this uh, greatest holiday. My name is Mirujan. I am from Armenia, from the city of Yerevan. And I would like to share with you my life experience about how the video Consciousness and Personality helped me. But it is better to say how this video Consciousness and Personality has saved my life. When I was 18, I started using drugs, drugs and alcohol, and I was a heavy drug user for four years. I was looking for a way out, but different psychologists and psychotherapists, narcologists in the clinic gave me a, some recommendations that uh, gave me no uh, help. And I started to find for a way out inside myself. Well, to be brief, it's actually a difficult topic. I will not go into it. But on August the 2nd in 2017, uh, the video Consciousness and Personality was published from the inevitably dead to the eternally alive. And in this video, Igor Mihailovich uh, explains clearly what alcohol and drugs are and how to get rid of these uh, substances, of these addictions. Because the thing is that um, the arguments there uh, gave my consciousness no pretext why continue. Because when I was using uh, all of this, uh, my consciousness was telling me it will be all be good, you just need to continue. But each time after this process, I had um, strong inner emptiness and uh, 
I was actually losing the meaning of life. And then this video came out and I understood more about the nature of the human being, about what the human being is. I started to understand what's the nature of the mission of thoughts, and I started to understand how to get rid of the addiction of uh, thoughts of the secondary consciousness. And also I remember that point when they were speaking about uh, this uh, alcohol and drug addictions. And after that, I um, quit using drugs and alcohol, thanks to this knowledge, and I started to live as a normal person. So, this video for me was a a lifesaver for me in the direct meaning of this word. After that, I started to search for like minded people, those wonderful people whom I found, and um, I, I found all these people and we are now one big family. thing is that there are people who sincerely want to change the world, who truly want to express this inner love and share this truth that God is one. And people also want to share what's the true meaning of life to all the people. And this is wonderful. Well, I'm grateful to all the participants of Alatra IPM, to each and every one of you. Lots of gratitude to God, and we are living in wonderful times, because this knowledge, the person who brought this knowledge into this world, it is a great honor for us. It is also a great responsibility to act. And at the same time, this is also an inspiration, because not everyone feels that we are not alone. Uh, Mahdi is uh, behind us, he's supporting us. The only thing is that you just need to uh, move forward and act and to share this love and truth further, to share to all of our sisters and brothers. Uh, great gratitude, dear friends, to all of you, dear brothers and sisters. And once again, I'm wishing a happy holiday to all of you and all the best to all of us. And all the very, very best it is ahead of us. Thank you so much. And now, let's watch a fragment of the video called Life. God is love, God is happiness. There is no fear in him or anything like that. A human cannot experience fear or anything like that before God. If he fears God, this means that at that time the person is, let's put it, without life, or he is still sleeping, but definitely he is not alive, because only consciousness experiences fear before God. Fear of not reaching the goal is the same thing, now you're not in it. It's consciousness, it's all consciousness. And as long as the person listens to it, he won't uh, reach anywhere. When the personality is closely connected with consciousness, it's the worst fellow traveler. You see, even I don't know who to compare it to. It's uh, worse than Susanin. It will bring you where you definitely uh, won't escape from. It's simply beneficial for it. If it... Well, we've talked a lot about this. I have lost consciousness. Well, not just you. The whole reaction. conversation just boils down to simply simply saying to people, leave and feel. Why would you say this to people? Live and feel yourself. 
and everyone will choose what uh, they like, whatever they value or consider important, correct? This is what their freedom is about, the freedom of choice. Igor Mikhailovich, there is the following expression, the one who believes in me, as the Holy Scripture says, will have waters of the river of life running, running from his belly, rivers of the water of life. And in this case, they say exactly what we have discussed previously. He who is with him is filled with his power, and um, he radiates it to such an extent that others feel it. And there is such a point here, so that people well, not even people, so that there wouldn't erase such notions in one's head as to hold somehow. One should simply be transparent, open, and entirely. Uh, it's difficult to speak when you're underwater, isn't it? Do your best. After all, people are listening to you. Ask questions. A wonderful parable has come to my mind when, where water is exactly mentioned. It says that in order for a ship to sail, it needs water. However, if it gets filled with this water, it will just sink. So, in order for people to feel the spiritual world. They certainly need to reside in this three-dimensionality, but if they let three-dimensionality inside themselves, they reside anyway, but if they let it inside themselves, they will drown. Yet, this three-dimensionality, this earthly life, is a chance to gain more. It's like a new stage of evolution. The task is simply not let it inside oneself. The task is simply to live. Hello, dear friends. My name is Nastya. Um, greetings to everyone from Russia, Moscow City. And it is so amazing that I'm listening to every speaker and it's like I'm hearing myself because the stories are different uh, on the outside, but on the inside it's the same drive, it's the same questions that led us to the answers that we got. And I want to share my story about uh, how I, how the knowledge have found me. It was in summertime when I was in vacation in a different city. I just walked, was walking down the street, and a car passed by me, a huge white car, and it had a black Alatra sign on it with the uh, red sign Alatra, and I. I was so interested in it, I can't even describe, it was kind of a wild uh, merge of feelings and I wanted to Google it as, as fast as possible, as soon as possible and to find out what it is because this word uh, seemed to me at, at the same time, I don't know, not earthly and I'm so and uh, at the time when I googled it, I saw that this is the book that you can download, and I started reading it, and um, yes, I, I really liked how Alana from Minsk, Minsk was sharing about the introduction 
that it's impossible to be, uh, you know, calm after reading this introduction. It is very, very close to the each person. It is incredible. And I truly, uh, I would say, read it very fast. And in a couple of days, I couldn't just, um, you know, stay away from it. And uh, the feeling that I had, that I felt, was um, amazed. I was amazed and I was speechless. Uh, for the fact that I found something that answers the deepest questions that I have, that this book is free of access and that any person can just download it and read it and find all the answers to all the questions. And after that, um, sometime past, the first video that I saw on the internet was the consciousness and personality. And of course, the, the, the video itself is, you know, it, it's so deep, it cannot be described. It, it, and you, you don't even want it to stop and to end. And when you, when you watch it, uh, you're filled with all the understandings and understandings and, and, and insights. And it's like um, building like bricks, uh, the knowledge on it. And the key points uh, that were very important to me were the words that the, the greatest mystery is that the devil exists and that the devil is um, inside of each one of us. And throughout all my life, I was searching for uh, myself and I was searching for something un unique but understandable and and something unifying that would explain everything in this world. And I was uh, able to find some kind of like bits and drops of this knowledge, and uh, I had to, you know, search for it everywhere, but I couldn't, um, you know, put it all together into a big, bright picture. And I couldn't dig into the this truth and when, you know to the words that was uh, said in a Latra book that the consciousness it doesn't belong to us and um, there's so much knowledge uh, about this and that this is the key point that uh, to understanding that consciousness doesn't belong to us and uh, the, the thoughts that we have in the head are not ours and this is the key point to, you know, rewatch uh, all your life, put everything in order and step out of the system. And, you know, truly, it is such a huge gratitude for... You just, can you just imagine that this is the knowledge in such a tremendous, um, you know, tremendous that is given to the whole humanity, such a care, so many videos of participation of Igor Mihailovich have been published already, have been released, so much knowledge and everything is shown to us, everything is shown to us and given to us so carefully. It was so much care, and just like Luda from France said, that I am speechless, uh, to be honest, because I'm, uh, you know, truly happy that I, I found this knowledge. And thank you so much to the spiritual world and Igor Mihailovich for sure. Uh, and I cannot even express it in the words. It's such a big gratitude. Thank you so much. And right now, let's watch the video of Marcelo from Chile. Почему я присоединился к движению Алатра? Why I joined the movement Alatra? Hello, friends. My name is Marcelo. I'm from Chile, and I'm volunteer of 
International Public Movement Alatra. The thing, what, what motivated me to join this group was search for understanding, search for things that made sense, which could be explained, which could be in some way justified. Why? Because in my wanderings through life, in my movements forward and attempts to understand, I, in many times I found myself in situations where it was necessary to believe in something on be because of dogma, because there was someone who was very trained and knew it, and this person said how to make it, or there was some someone who said it at some particular moment, but there were never an understanding uh, in his explanations of why this um, of this phenomenon would work. But I saw several videos of Ibrahim Hajdanil working with pyramids, and I tried to to make a few um, energy experiments using a Tesla coil, which unfortunately didn't work, as they say, it doesn't generate this free energy or this free energy in the hands. And and I also had uh, some complications when I tried to look for a specific information about the pyramidical structure. And I found uh, the ultra movement, and it seemed to be very interesting that uh, they did uh, scientific experiments with pyramids element and electronic uh, equipment, and they had very interesting concepts. At that moment, I was very interesting, curious, and after some point, I. I got access to the report Primordial Physics Alatra, which was available uh, at the time in English on the platform alatra.org. It attracted my attention, and it, to be honest, it was not easy to believe it. it it is true, and that made me to think a lot, that made me to think about the scientific truth behind the universe, it made me think about the knowledge that the writer Anastasia Novik possessed, um, but more of that, it made me feel that the truth exists, and for this day, I am in this interesting search, in this search of information. Now I started to be a volunteer of Alatra movement, and I think that this information, when it will reach a lot of people on this planet, it will bring them a lot of benefit. And why I am talking that I believe? Because I am sure that this information that this knowledge is uh, are useful in life, that this knowledge does makes things much easier. But the thing I don't know is will people will open their hearts, will open their minds? Will, uh, will, will change their technical pyramids and open their minds about how some processes work in real life? And what about whether it works or not? Yes, it does. And I, I invite you to join this movement. This is a wonderful movement, very good movement. We have very good friends here. We have come through very interesting experience, we have learned a lot, and we also had to apply these things into practice. I would like to say many more, I would like to, to, to spend a couple of hours of this conversation, but if something resonates with you, 
Um, from what I have said, I invite you to take part in the uh, projects of Ultra IPM. You can make your conclusion yourself and see how this information can make your life better. Thank you very much for your attention, for listening. If you're watching this video, you probably want a better world, and it makes me very happy. So let's guys continue to improve our world, and this is a wonderful experience. I goodbye. Hello, dear friends. My name is Alla. I live in Great Britain in the United Kingdom. I would like to thank everyone for your experience, for all your insights you shared, for everything that all of us have inside. It's love, it's unity. And the knowledge from the books of Anastasia Nova have united us all and continue uniting all people around the world. I would like to share to, uh, my experience of getting acquainted with the knowledge. It was before the videos with Igor Mikhailovich uh, came released. I remember that this knowledge came during the difficult time of my life. It was such an impression that uh, the Lord himself, oh, worry, I'm with you, everything will be fine. This knowledge helped me personally to overcome the complexities, the difficulties and situations which I faced. I had the honor to face. Why I'm saying the honor? Because this made me uh, the one I am now. I'm the participant of the Alatra movement. I remember that when I read the books, the book Alatra, I decided to act that way. Uh, and I had an intention to share this information with everyone. I had such an idea to start uh, making a, to make a fly in English, but I didn't know English so much uh, so well at that time. But uh, a girl added to my friends in Facebook. And it turned out that she's a teacher of English. It was such so joyful for me that she could help me. I asked her to help me and um, translate some phrases from Sensei Book One, which were said by Igor Mikhailovich. When she heard what I want to translate, she said she, the participant of the Alatra movement, the Alatra movement just began at that time. I was so filled with joy that uh, I accidentally like met a person who, who knew English and decided to help me. I'm so thankful. And she found a designer, another girl, who together with me and we all together made a fi um, this flyer in English, and it was wonderful. I remember my feelings. I was standing three meters from my house, and I was just spreading, uh, disseminating these flyers to people, handing them over, and I printed them out, 3,000 of them, uh, and in one day. And wherever I went, I decided to do this. Uh, I Even when I was paying for some coffee or doing shopping, I am um, giving these flyers with these phrases to other people. I didn't even have an impression that I was doing something wrong. It was such a strong uh, impression. But then there was the Alatra TV UK uh, webpage, and we started working in this direction. And I discovered that in our country we have many good people. So then we, our team began to grow, and the first videos with the participants of Igor Mahalovich Danilov were released. When I looked at Igor Mikhailovich, I understood right away that it is him. I didn't have any knowledge, either in the knowledge or uh, in the doubts, either in the knowledge or in him. I felt that it's not a human, just a human, but he is the one. He's the Holy Spirit. We are living in such a time. 
when there is such a great in the time we were provided with this knowledge we were handed a hand of helping hand in order for us to build a world which all our prophets were dreaming of all these videos which are released with Igor Mikhailovich Danilov they are marvelous they are filled with love with joy with support and with this helping hand which is directed to us from God it's such a sensation and feeling of great love unity and joy and faith, tremendous faith in all of us that we can change the world, we can do it together. After watching the video, Angels Don't Fall, I discovered that not just God exists, but he, what, who He is and who angels are. Do that we can actually come to this ourselves and we can join this high society the angelic society and this is inherent in each of our actions and our aspiration such a video as the truth and chaff uh, removed everything uh, artificial which people added and i came to understand though that all religions are so beautiful they talk about the same that god is one and we are all one big family we don't have anything to divide. God is everywhere, and His love is everywhere. All videos with Igor Mikhailovich Danilov are imbued with this love, with the Holy Spirit Himself in every word, in every gaze of His, in just every advice He gives on how we should work in ourselves. And as Igor Mikhailovich said quite correctly, it's not enough just to love, we need to act. All together, we need to stop doing foolish things and stop doing good things and building a good world. We need to take hands together as one big human family and we can do a lot and all the words from all the videos which uh, Igor Mikhailovich addresses to us and this support he provides us with the spiritual world also helps us all the time this knowledge this sensation of feeling inside it comes from every project and it urges us to move further it helps us to overstep all the lack of confidence in ourselves all the excuses of consciousness tiredness something extra it just removed and we can act here and now at this very moment of life i really love the video what the prophets dreamed of especially when igor mihalich told uh, this story how difficult it was for all the prophets jesus muhammad peace be upon him and all others to bring the world in uh, the, the knowledge into this world and there is one example when Ingram Hodge said that it's like a person who is so seed on stones in, in uh, definitely knowing that only some uh, isolated seeds will grow and after these words i started i stopped paying attention to anything like we will build that world in which we will everyone live in peace and happiness. So I have so great thankfulness for Ingram Daniel for the spiritual world, for that careness, for the happiness. He said really it is the inner feeling, this inner feeling, this goodness, it is with us, it's everywhere with us, whatever we do, during the day, during the night, wherever we are, this is the inner happiness, inner happiness the feeling of home that's why I wish for everyone for each of us to to succeed all the complications and as in one video Tatiana said leave what you what you have um, 
Now I, I want you to see the fragment from the video with Mir Mahajudanil for the Prophet streamed off. So if we go back to what Jesus said when living and what the Prophet said, when living Jesus said, and I will so, pray the Father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit If you go back to the Jesus, what said when living and what the Prophet said when living Jesus said, and I will pray to the Father and he shall give you another comforter and he may abide you with forever. Even the Spirit of Truth, the Comforter, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything. I have said to you, He will come and denounce the word about sin and truth and about judgment. What the Prophet said, he, we find it that there will come a time for my people when there will remain nothing of the Quran except its outward part, and nothing of Islam except its tape. The mosques will be full of people, but they will be empty of right guidance. The religious leaders of that day will be the most evil religious leaders and the, um, however before the last hour Imam Mahdi will come Mahdi can re-establish the lost sense of sanctity first he will re-establish Islam to its original purity and integrity their religions also abandoned and disfigured will be equally re-established in their original truth and purity by Mahdi not by Mahdi but the power of Allah himself Mahdi is a messenger no one has power except Allah isn't that so it is anyway the end entire purification has to be done by people themselves. Everything depends on them. As for what the greatest fun among people said, this indicates that he was the real, he was the true and last prophet. He knew, he knew what would happen. And imagine, my friends, how hard it was for him. It is hard. It is really hard to even imagine this for a human. He felt and knew. He knew all these human lies. He knew about all the shaitan's temptations. And he knew how destructive it was. And he knew what would happen to the Quran. He gave his life for the sake of conveying the Quran to people, didn't he? And he knew, he really knew, that those who would call themselves Muslims and praise his name, they would lie, because in reality they would serve their shaitan, but not Allah. They would mention his name, perform rituals, but would not be Muslims at that. Imagine how hard it was for him. I'll tell you as follows. Imagine that all your life you saw, for example, wheat in a stony field, knowing for sure that only individual ears will sprout. Yet you work from morning to night, dragging stones and watering the entire field in the hope that at least one grain will sprout somewhere, at least in some place. But he was the greatest prophet and knew the truth. Мы живем в такое прекрасное время, времена перекрестий. Так давайте же сеять, давайте сеять зерна истины. So let's sow seeds, sow seeds and grains of the truth. Let's create the creative society. And as I said, let's act, because there is no time for us and opportunity to be in we should unite for this common goal of building a creative society. And before I announce the next comment, I would like to read out our comments, which were written under our video on YouTube. Alexei is writing many thanks of you all. You are all my family. And Sergey wrote, now we observe 
how sincere intention of people to help others, the collected people thanks to God, and this aspiration of everyone is very important. The prophets showed it through centuries and in our road that such incredible stories of our participants about their meeting of the, with the knowledge, it's a tremendous, great joy. So, dear guys, we have an opportunity, unique opportunity to act and we cannot be idle. So, let us meet on March 20th 15, uh, 3 p.m. GMT at the International Online Conference Creative Society, what the prophets dreamed of. Creative Society is the common goal around which all people from all over the world are uniting. It's a new vector of development which is now a real gateway out of our civilization. And it is great responsibility for all of us to participate, not just in preparation, but also we need to notify the entire population of this planet that on 20th of March we will meet and together we will begin with clean sheet and we will remove all the dirt and begin to build the greatest society together now participate in preparation of this conference and on the 28th of February we'll have a live broadcast on the preparation of the conference Creative Society, what the prophet dreamed of where we will discover how it is possible to join the preparation of the conference. So, guys, let us act and let us create together. We have a great opportunity and this opportunity is given to us not for, re uh, for a reason. Let us watch the trailer of the conference, Creative Society, Unprecedented, unprecedented uh, initiative that comes from people initiated by around the, people the from world. world. Main project, Main project of, humanity. of humanity. People stopped being silent people about stopped urgent being issues silent of our society. How it all society. started. How it all began. May 2019, International Online Conference, Society, The Last Chance. 140 countries of the world. Hundreds of thousands of people online, hundreds of broadcast platforms, translated into seven languages simultaneously. If we all want to live in peace, why do we have a world of violence and destruction? It is up to us to build a different world. How can we do it? December 2020, Creative Society, United We Can. 180 countries of the world, millions of people online, thousands of streaming platforms, 35 languages simultaneously translated. People have voiced today's reality and what they truly desire. And it is the creative society. All cultures have an image of the ideal world people want to live in. A world that prophets talked about. The time has come when we can make it real. How will we use this chance? Let's meet March 20, 2021, 3 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time and 10 a.m. Eastern Time. International online event of global scale. Creative Society. What the prophets dreamed of. This is the day the world will unite to find out the truth, join the entire humanity, and spread the message. Hello everyone, I'm Elena from Michigan. 
I would like to share my story as well, how the knowledge came to me. I'll digress a little bit. I'm listening to everyone, and there is such an understanding how God is great. How great is God? Everyone who's open, they come uh, across this knowledge. It's such a bliss, it's such a grace. Before the knowledge, I didn't even know why I was living here on Earth. But my daughter started searching and asking questions why she was here. She started reading. And she started talking about it to me. I didn't know what to say, but I started reading the books together with her, and we started discussing it. And after, after her difficult disease, we came across the books by Anastasia Novich. She purchased the series right away, but I didn't know why should I. I read so many books and watched so many videos, but when she started reading the first book, she wrote, uh, read it actually within one night and she gave it to me and asked me what I felt I was reading and indeed when I opened the sensei book one I started reading it and I felt as if I got home all the characters of the book were not characters they were real people there was such an impression that um, every with them and there was such a warmth cordiality inside while reading this book but when i finished the reading i my daughter said i don't know uh, something is burning inside me and i even understand that igor mikhailovich is actually the comforter because there are no doubts about that and i said olga maybe there are some videos with him because I really want to watch it. We started searching for videos and we found a video, just one little video. And when I just saw him, I didn't have any doubts. But then I really was not a strong impression, but it was a great impression after the video life. It is really a life in life. When I started watching this video from the very first minute, I got filled, I don't know, from to my crown of my head, and everything around was filled. I felt that I'm everything, like everything, I'm everywhere and there were birds flying, my husband was walking around, and there was no division between all of that and myself. There was such great healing. It was my first stage. I didn't know what it is. I just understood that it's the world of God. There were no divisions between I'm here, how to say, you kind of yourself, but you are everywhere at the same time, and there was such an energy and understanding that that's where I really, you know, didn't have any doubt. I didn't have any doubt so as to digress from this path or go somewhere else, because that feeling be gave me an understanding of what it is. Of course, we started searching for like-minded people, and as they say, whoever searches will find. So I searched, surfed the web and found like-minded people on a Latra uh, movement, and it was such a support and help. And indeed, this unity and this understanding of boundless love, it overwhelms you. Also, uh, I was greatly impressed by the video Consciousness and Personality from the Inevitably Dead to the Eternal Life. This video actually, it removed everything artificial and extra, which, you know, when you're watching videos, such a great support is coming. 
but then somehow it's erased and but this video consciousness and personality it really gave an understanding of who you are in reality that you are not thoughts because you know sometimes you kind of get angry you miss such things and you think like it's your thoughts but after this video it's like god no it's not me i cannot be like that and of of course, a great gratitude to the spiritual world. I don't know what I would do at this time without it, with Alatra. Of course, the great support. I'm watching all of you and I'm listening to your speeches and interviews. And I'm thinking, really, because everyone who's searching will always find there are no obstacles if you are really open in love to divine love. Thank you. Greetings, dear friends. My name is Vitalia. I greet you from Minsk, Belarus. And today I would like to tell you how two years and a half back I ago I my new, totally new and interesting life with so many discoveries. When this all began, it began in, you know, quite a complex period of time, as I hear for everyone. I searched for many years and I was thinking and written down why I'm here, what am I doing here. It were kind of tearing me apart and they were trying to escape uh, to the kernel and I was trying to find answers and then it was quite a difficult period in my family as well and let's say a drug, dark strap and one of my colleagues uh, whom I was friends with and she told me about Alatra before and she just sent me a link to a video uh, suicide, the after death fate. When I uh, watched this video, uh, it was my work day, uh, but it turned me upside down. Everything was uh, like fell into place, despite the fact that I already had some information. But here, like, I felt that this is true. And I asked her what else can be read and or watched, and she said that there are books, begin with the books. Uh, I, at that time, I didn't have an opportunity to read everything in printed version, so I could listen audiobooks. And within two weeks, I um, listened to all the books. I lived through them. It's like, you know, when you are thirsty or you finally get this water and you drink, drink and can you stop? That's the kind of feelings I had. And then the videos also, of course, Igor Mikhailovich produced a great impression even after the books and watching the videos many times. All the videos, uh, like literally, they literally help quite delicately and gently. They exp he explains all the points which we don't understand, although uh, this information is kind of collected in a single picture, like puzzle pieces, and these videos help you to see more of yourself. One of the most favorite programs or videos is Life. I I would say that it's one of the favorites still. If you don't cope yourself, you can address for help. For me, it's like the best words. And also I would like to tell you that about a year ago, a video was released, which is entitled The Truth of Life. And after this video, there were many discoveries for me. At the very moment when uh, I was watching this video, Igor Mikhailovich told me how this feeling of love, which is inside, and which is um, more, little, more, uh, smaller, uh, bigger, uh, how to keep and maintain this feeling. And he just explained that it's a fire which is within us, and we need attention to it and put firewood uh, in order for this fire to burn. 
And when you do this, really, this uh, fire inside is increasing. But the most amazing thing after that video was that in the end there was this a great there was this great gift, and I was overwhelmed with gratitude. Probably, I don't know whether I experienced anything like that before. Like it was a gift for me to the spiritual world. In the morning, I wake up with the, my pillow wet of tears because I understood what real life is. I understood what the spiritual world is, that it is very close. The, here is me and here is the spiritual world. And he uh, also spoke about the Son of Angels. Yes, I felt the Son of Angels. It's like, you know, it's impossible to describe this feeling, it is life. And you understand the meaning of, the true meaning of this word, for the sake of which we are here, why we are born here, and in order to have this chance to feel this life and become alive. You know, when this feeling is inside of you, you look at people around and understand that all people are dear and near to you, and they are so dear and near that, you know, because everyone has this life inside, this feeling, actually it is um, accessible to every person, and also you come with intention to help, to help feel that we can feel it, all of us, and inside we are all angels. We are all angels, I cannot even say. You know, it's um, this unity and great chance, a great gratitude to the spiritual world for giving us this chance. You know, at that moment, at the intuitive level, I understood that this state can leave me, so I recorded the video and told myself uh, what I felt. Unfortunately, this state, um, I lost this state, but I know where to move. The times when um, I don't feel well, the video saved me, and I just um, plunge into this state again and again. And it helps me a great deal when, when I feel that uh, this world is filled of, with people who are dear and near. When you are surrounded by like-minded people, it's like one big family. And all people on the planet are dear and near ones, but when people are on the same way with you, there is such a great gratitude for that, great gratitude to everyone. Um, for the one for being with us, for being near, and great gratitude to the spiritual world. Let us watch an extract from the video, which revealed many points in life of many people, and helped to separate the white from the black. It's the video consciousness and personality from the inevitably dead to the eternally alive. But you already choose something different, because you already know the different. You know the joy and fullness of life, life by the Spirit, life by the spiritual world, where your one is the entire spiritual world and with the spiritual manifestation here. Yes, I absolutely agree with you, and this joy, it is so overwhelming. This state is so pleasant when you truly feel alive, when you live by it. This is so intense and so wonderful. Even consciousness perceives this power of a lot. And it is also interesting that and understanding comes in practice why the sign of Alat was drawn as a crescent precisely with horns pointed upwards. It is actually like a chalice. And when you experience this unforgettable first experience of contact with the spiritual world, you feel how the chalice-shaped feeling occurs, 
slightly below your solar plexus. You are being filled like a chalice. And in this chalice there is the blissful fire. You cannot call it otherwise. Consciousness understands that it's a, it's a body, not a chalice. But when you close your eyes, you feel something completely different. This feeling, you feel this invisible chalice. You understand that it emanates this heat of inexhaustible love, true love. And this love is so sincere. You understand that it is true. In this love, there is God. This feeling, this chalice, this crescent, this a lot, it is as if inside of you there is a voluminous sign that radiates this boundless love. Even consciousness knows this, and you understand why a lot is the chalice that radiates this infinite love. And from here, obviously, the sign originates, the sign of a lot, exactly from the practical spiritual experience of people. And this is obviously not just a drawing. Now you understand this in practice. You know that it's a real spiritual experience. It's the experience of those who became liberated throughout centuries. And apparently they marked it as the first experience of spiritual contact with the boundless world. This experience cannot be confused with anything. And you will never forget it. It is always with you. Dear friends, before Victor starts uh, his speech, um, I would like to remind you that uh, our live broadcast has been going on for about eight hours, and uh, we would like to ask our dear speakers to uh, share your understandings and experience a little bit slower, because um, yeah, and we would like to present your speeches within two three minutes. Uh, please present it with just uh, within this uh, time framework, okay? Uh, because really, we would like to hear each of you. And so, uh, so Victor, we go to Spain. From Spain, are you ready? Welcome. Go ahead, Victor. We can't hear you just yet. Can you hear me now? Is it better? Can you hear me? Okay, let me start. First of all, I would like to say thanks and to say what I've learned. I have learned a lot from each of the participants. For you to understand me better, I was raised in a religious environment, in a religious family, and 
When I watched these videos with Igor Mihalic for the first time, I had an impression that it was something religious, but when watching further, I understood this depth uh, that I found in these videos, and I decided to write to an email. Uh, I wanted to say that these videos are very important for me and I wanted that I have a relationship and I wrote and I wrote that I want to congratulate on the, all the participants with these videos and that I would like to have a contact with the participants of the International Public Movement Alatra and I had that great joy inside and it all happened in some tough time of my life, difficult period, but when I started to use this knowledge which I found in Alatra, everything around started to change, began to change, but in fact uh, it is me that was changing, I started to be more positive, I started to behave better with my relatives, and I realized that everything has changed, but in fact I have changed. And um, I want yeah, I have some problems with my wife at the time, and, uh, but when I recognized and studied myself and I understood myself, it is very important to understand yourself. And when you understand yourself better, you understand other another person also. And, and also I understood that when we do something for society, when we build something, when we create, and by the same way we do it for ourselves, when we do something for others, we do it for ourselves, in fact. And what we do for others, it, we don't wait for something back. It brings just some inner satisfaction, the feeling that you help. And, um, and what I told about my wife, we had some crisis of relations, and with, the, with Alatra I understood why we have that, why it happens like that. And um, yes, I could clearly understand now from this um, knowing the knowledge that I received, now I understand why that happened in relationships with my wife, because I found myself real, the real self. And um, then I, I, I don't know uh, what would happen if I didn't meet Alatra. Mm, there are no words which would convey all my gratitudes to Alatra for knowledge. Thank you very much. Greetings, dear friends. I'm very happy to participate in today's meeting and very happy to be with you. And of course, I'd like to express 
just gratitude to all the participants and to the spiritual world and of course to Igor Mikhailovich Danilov. Um, what I would like to share with you today, actually lots lots been said um, today and actually to add anything right, you know, all the experience of the participants uh, of a lot of international public movement. So all this experience has been already voiced. Um, probably I would um, just tell you uh, just, uh, you know, my observations that the videos with the participation of Grimichalich Danilo, they gave me really this experience of true life and what really true life is about and it's not only about material life where we can while where we in, uh, exist right uh, but uh, true life is this inner state which can be acquired by each person and what's most interesting is that it's not you know the end it's uh, just the beginning because further on only the most interesting things and experiences will take place if we really acquire true eternal life. And the videos with the participation of Rikim Mikhail Danilos, they are really very simple, easy, uh, and without any double meaning, um, because knowledge just presented in these videos, they are understandable for each person. And you can always feel um, uh, feel this knowledge, just feel this information. And I would like to share, uh, you know, one of my experiences, and probably it would be useful for some skeptics, right? Because when watching one of the videos with the participation of Mikhailovich Danilo, you might even pay attention to the physiology, right, of uh, just uh, to the facial expressions of uh, Igor Mikhailovich. And if you know um, the science of uh, people facial expression so you are sure to notice that Igor Mikhailovich tells the truth because you can simply see how his body or his facial expressions um, just are working right the way his eyebrows are raising or the way he smiles uh, he's just uh, all these you know wrinkles uh, on the faces and uh, the way he's just just uh, his gestures are talking right so each of these details is saying to us, just uh, even this just kind of shouting to us that Igor Mikhailovich tells the truth. And even if you close your eyes, but uh, go on um, just listening to the video, of course, you will hear more even. And you know, I've um, understood uh, just one thing, because uh, of course, um, well, um, during our just existence here, um, well, we encounter different situations, not very nice ones. Um, yeah, we get upset easily and we pay attention, you know, to what, uh, which is not worth our attention. And um, and um, and we learn that uh, we can redirect our attention to good thoughts, good um, words and deeds, and actually this is kind of life. Um, lifeboat for us because it's saving lifeboat um, because uh, this uh, primordial knowledge this lifeboat and um, this knowledge not only from the books by Anastasia Novak or from the videos uh, with the participation of Grimhalsh Danilo uh, this knowledge actually it is scattered all over the world a lot of knowledge um, the, and actually we haven't just acquired this knowledge but we've just recollected it right on the inner level of course and when you have knowledge then just doubts stop working in your head you just um, start you know to accept your true human nature because only a human can become a higher being 
a higher spiritual being. And as Igor Mikhailovich said, when get united, uh, we people, right, we get united not only just on the physical level, but also mentally and even on the spiritual level. And uh, this way we are able to make this world better. Even here in this world we can make this possibility to live like in a paradise. Lots of thanks, Evgenia. And right now we are traveling to Romania, aren't we? So our next speaker, are you ready, please? Uh, so let's go to Armenia. And we have next speaker, Proklakan from Armenia. We're just checking the sound. Okay, for a speaker from Armenia is not ready, then we go to Italy and Vera from Italy, please. So, your floor. Uh, greetings, dear friends. And all today's meeting has been full of wonderful stories, wonderful life experiences. And your stories uh, just resonate with uh, my life story. And as I understand that the one who is looking for, he finds the truth. And, uh, and I would like just, uh, you know, to tell you about my life experience uh, when I found uh, just um, information about the book uh, that is uh, the best, um, a lottery book, right? That is the best book of the millennia. And uh, uh, the more I just started and reading this book, I just uh, understood uh, the, the world that in which I'm, well, uh, I've been existing, uh, this, this world is coming to an end because all my understandings about uh, the world, um, they were in fact, they were not actually that real and which actually, well, I uh, I have found out um, about the true reality in the letter book, and I managed to read this book quite fast. And, uh, you know, doing just my um, household chores, of course, my consciousness managed to erase um, just the just most of the information. So I decided to come back to letter book and uh, um, just to, okay, mm, just I decided to reread it because it, uh, a letter book has really just made a great impression on me. And that is why I thought it's a good idea to reread it. And I had this opportunity and I have reread it and uh, more attentively, I would say. And uh, I got more understandings of that information presented in the book. I've also read, uh, uh, and since uh, a letter book, right, it had uh, just links to uh, such books as Mr. Um, Osmos and other books by Anastasia Novik. So I've also made up my mind to read those books as well. And the world has opened up before me, the world which I would describe as, uh, you know, again, overwhelming with uh, its uh, information and I just couldn't but uh, um, look for more information and uh, I started just looking for information in internet and I came across the video with the participation of Regan Mikhailovich Danilo and I started watching these videos and oh, what I was impressed by uh, for the, the video which I was impressed by was consciousness and personality. And almost, you know, I was kind of uh, watching this video and um, was observing myself uh, just uh, from the side. And all the questions that I've had um, during this existence, like why I'm here, uh, what's the purpose of life, and whatever. So I got all, all the answers to these questions. 
So, in general, I, I got all the puzzle pieces together, and because until then I had them scattered, and uh, and the more I was listening to consciousness and personality video, I got you know the feeling. The feeling of warmth, uh, which I have never had, uh, have never felt before. I couldn't even understand what it might be. But when I've just um, finished watching this video, this feeling, right? And I understood that uh, this feeling, it was the feeling of love, the feeling of just um, coming close to something big and wonderful and uh, it was a feeling you know that I, I just didn't want to uh, just say goodbye to this feeling kind of right and um, the more and when I started to do spiritual practices then I just recollected this feeling feeling of close contact right with the spiritual world and I just um, started you know feeling again this warm warmth and love and of course i started to understand these feelings and i started to understand this close contact was something something actually with that truth that i've all always been looking for and after this experience I understood that I needed this feeling with love and life. And of course, I understood that I needed just to take actions. And of course, the best way to take action is in the environment with the like-minded people. And when I've read the book um, just one more time, um, I asked myself, well, um, okay, and I, I read a lot of a book in Russian, of course, in the original language, and uh, when an idea came to me just to, to probably, uh, well, look for um, just um, Italian version of uh, book Latra, and then I met a wonderful team of Italian participants, of um, Latra APM participants, uh, who are dealing with the translations and everything. And um, I just was so happy, happy to meet such people. And I'm I, I'm just, you know, grateful, immensely grateful to Igor Mikhailovich Danilo, to everyone who's taking part in all these videos, in just making these wonderful videos, who, to everyone who's spreading the primordial knowledge. And I'm truly happy that I met Alatra. And uh, I wish everyone all the people all the people just to meet as fast as possible this wonderful knowledge a lot of knowledge and i wish all the people feel this blessing and feel this boundless love just a perception of God, true perception. Vera, lots of lots of thanks to your experience of deep feelings. Uh, lots of lots of thanks to you, dear Vera. And now um, we are coming back to uh, Amelia. Good evening. My name is Patvakan. I'm from Yerevan. And I would like to share with you my experience. Uh, Patvakan is not um, a usual name, it, it means a person of conscious, a person of honor. This, mean, this Patvakan, this means probably this name made me the, made me such I'm in, I am right now. The thing is that for for all my life, I was in search of meaning of life, 
And in my head, I had that question, what is the meaning of life? And um, the, the life of every person I saw and I, I looked at um, the lives of my friends, of some relatives, of other people, and I looked at myself. You know, I don't have enemies in my life. I always talking about it and no one believed me. Uh, everyone have soul. A good one have a the bad one also. And you can communicate with everyone, with soul, through conscious. And uh, at somewhere in 2015 or 16 year, I lived that time in Saratov and um, during my searches, after all, I wanted to find out what's the meaning of our life. And somehow I, I got into a Alatra book, I started to read it and very thoughtfully and thinking about what is it. Then I read all the book by Anastasia Novak, learned, studied everything, and then I see it is not something new, it is the one every human and the whole humanity is dreaming of. This is the truth of all humanity. When the movement Creative Society began, I already realized that it is really what I was looking for. That's why I'm talking to you right now. I'm very happy that that I entered this, this creative society. Indeed, I want to say one interesting thing. You know everything that we had a war not long time ago. And you know, and just recently I remember the words of Igor Mihalich, if you, if the whole world will pray in one moment, I can't remember, uh, either six of the seventh, um, what, what was the date, the six or seventh, and the whole Armenians, uh, you know, if we, you know, just look at time, for example, 6, 7 p.m., and uh, for all the humans who is in church, who is in, at, at home, for this bloodshed would stop. And after a few days, the war stopped after this prayer. Because really, I remember the words of Igor Mihalich. Uh, uh, thank you for your sharing experience. Yes, it is very important. And now I was sitting and watching all of your what you were talking about. And thank you, thank you so much. So right now, I'm very excited that we're gonna welcome our next speaker. And the reason I'm excited because he also resides here in the United States, and he found the primordial knowledge about three years ago. So I would like to welcome our next speaker, Roy from California, USA. Welcome, Roy. Hi, how are you? Good. <laughs> Please share with us. Uh, yes, uh, my name is Roy. I'm from Los Angeles, California. And uh, I came across the knowledge on YouTube about three years ago. I saw an, uh, an interview with Igor Mikhailovich. And uh, I was just blown away by the knowledge and the love and everything that he presented. And um, it made me actually want to go back and read the books. And so I went back and I downloaded all the books off of the website and got a chance to check them out. And and it's just been incredible. Um, it's been an incredible journey so far. And I uh, just thank everyone who's involved and a part of the movement. I thank all you guys. 
I'm just so thankful I found this knowledge. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Roy. Thank you, Roy. Lots of lots of thanks, dear friends. And right now, I would like to read the comments of our dear viewers for Latter TV. And Shireen is writing lots of lots of gratitude to all the participants of Latter IPM, to Igor Mikhailovich, to the technical support team, to many uh, just interpreters. Thanks to which live broadcasters, uh, to thanks to which we are watching today's meeting and we are feeling. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, um, well, I, I, I lack just four words, but, you know, and you feel everything just yourself. And uh, right now, I would like uh, just uh, uh, to suggest you watching uh, the video about the spiritual voice. Бог не слышит молитву человека. Бог слышит человека. Когда человек достигает мира духовно, внутри себя, через душу свою. Разве не так? Только так. Когда человек как личность, именно на чувственном уровне, он стремится, вкладывает все свое внимание не в шепот демона в голове, а в любовь внутри себя. И в один прекрасный момент все люди, кто действительно искренне простой посыл даже делает, мы убрали слова, но суть этой молитвы оставили. Именно искренне. The true love towards yourself, toward God, to yourself. The God is only within a person, and everyone has its own path. Why? Because every human has a, has a soul, as a part of the spiritual world. They are connected with each other by the by, by line. If there were no such a connection there would no personality and these and these powers these spiritual powers which goes from the personality to soul they should come back there again to the soul to the spiritual world and if the person do it correctly honestly sincerely feeling that is necessary and and he is guided by this feeling I say it again, not by a demon in her head. And then he started to feel this answer, the answer of strengthening this love. And the heart's things started to be simple. And here the God started to hear a person when a person deserves it. Greetings, dear friends. Uh, my name is Tatiana, and uh, I come from Switzerland. And uh, I've been watching this great um, a video from uh, just uh, uh, many, many times. And I would like to share with you that, you know, actually, you know, I met primordial knowledge because of greed. Well, yeah, this is my last story because I was looking, you know, the book, uh, Russian, just in Russian, in internet um, shop, right? And uh, delivery, uh, it's uh, just, um, you know, in our country, it's like uh, about 100 bucks, and it's uh, 10 more times than, you know, the book itself. And uh, uh, and then I kind of, you know, calculated that, okay, I, I, I should order such a book, which actually uh, the book, uh, well, would come um, just the, sa or the same cost as the delivery of it. And so I was looking, looking for books, and um, I came across a Latra book by Anastasia Novik. Of course, uh, it didn't just uh, tell me anything, just, uh, I mean, um, not the name or just kind of the um, title of the book, and neither the name of the author, and I just couldn't uh, say anything uh, about it. 
And uh, but just you know, I read one of the positive comments, and uh, actually that uh, was the reason why I have ordered uh, the book. And you know, really the cost of the book and this delivery, well, okay, it was kind of well coincided. So I got uh, uh, not just a lottery book, but the other books by Anastasia Novik in a few days, and uh, I just you know, uh, well, that comment so resonated with me that I just uh, started reading uh, the book Alatra just right away. And that is why, dear friends, you know, it's really very important when you write about your impressions, just in comments to the videos or whatever, because, or to the books right on the site, website, because you never know how just uh, a person might meet the primordial knowledge and that is why well it doesn't matter whether you watch a live vlog video or you read the article please write your comments and your impressions like your life stories uh, okay and it doesn't matter which well language um, you use but just whether it is simple or sophisticated just the main point is just write write your impressions um, and um, your experience with meeting uh, the primordial knowledge and from what I've heard today right as the guys today have shared their well impressions and it's like you know when I started reading uh, the Alatra book okay it was like okay I just couldn't figure out anything in it because at first it was like of course I was uh, I was reading it in Russian but well I of course the the Russian letters and words so were familiar to me, but I couldn't make it out. I just I, I, I couldn't understand uh, just what a letter book was about, and that is why you know I felt that dual nature uh, truly in me uh, because kind of I was rereading a uh, uh, book a letter and I was experiencing um, well different emotions. I must confess at first uh, because I just couldn't understand it, and I. I would say that it was the first experience in my life of dual nature in me uh, but because on the one hand I wanted or truly wanted to understand what that information presented in the book on the other hand I just couldn't just you know make my mind work on, on that understanding and when uh, uh, when Anastas uh, well, I, I, I couldn't uh, when and you know um, it was like um, well um, it saved it saved to my nerves when I uh, wrote when I read Anastasia's words that um, to Rigdon like okay I just uh, described that information in more detail in the other books and here it was a hint for me so I started uh, reading the books by Anastasia and all the other books then I was just you know just laughing at, out just at, at myself that such simple words but my consciousness didn't let me understand that and of course all the videos with the participation of Rukim Mikhailovich Danilo um, uh, each of these videos is so precious and valuable because it comes just on time and how we are you know nurtured by those videos but th that information those feelings from each uh, video because uh, it's uh, you know uh, but I would like to maybe share my mm, feelings about uh, the film the universal grain because um, it was a real you know uh, just uh, uh, it was real something great uh, about just for me because even people who were watching uh, this um, universal grain video and uh, people did not know about uh, primordial knowledge but uh, this uh, movie or this film proves uh, the words uh, of Igor Mikhailovich that all the people are just have 
lots in common and we are all one and until I felt it until I just felt it I was passive participant in a lateral movement of course I knew about the moment I watched all the videos of Alatra TV but I did not participate in any of the Alatra APM projects at that time I, I kind of you know I was listening to my consciousness and um, just was um, kind of uh, okay um, f uh, just making uh, all those excuses um, work in me or just all those excuses of my consciousness work worked and uh, until I understood uh, of the experience now of other guys who stepped over their consciousness and uh, who just living in this English um, speaking community right oh um, I'm living actually in in the French living community and uh, it was such a gift as I've understood that uh, you know we met the primordial language in our native language in Russian and it was you know it was such a gift because again when I started looking for um, the French version of the Alatra book uh, then uh, well uh, actually the guys answered that okay there was no French version at that time and so who who would start translating Translating this precious knowledge into French, and okay, I did. And actually, my consciousness again uh, was against this activity. Um, but uh, well, I, I made it. I made it work. Okay. And uh, when I just. Um, uh, started, you know, and ma uh, started to make my consciousness uh, work, um, then it all just worked out fine. Because, you know, uh, um, I do not give any special motivation to my consciousness, but, well, the, the best motivation uh, is for me, there's a great, great number of people in our world speak French. So it's about 160 million people who only understand um, French, right? And whether my body wants uh, just a, a rest, uh, some food or uh, sleep, okay. But uh, when I was this information uh, to my consciousness, like right now, okay, I went to sleep, but right now it's about 160 million people, French speaking people, just are lacking this information. So, you know at least a little bit okay but I will do something for spreading the prime model knowledge and uh, on the one so and you know everything really worked out fine because all the languages I got um, uh, just you know I even got better skills in Russian and French and uh, just one, one, one recommendation dear viewers just start taking actions please right thank you very much and uh, Tatiana now we are giving the floor back to Ukraine Good evening, friends. Really, there were a lot of, you know, inner feelings and and from each of us there goes and I cannot explain in words how much it united us and how much on the level of feeling we are connected. And I would like to share my stories story for the whole of my most of my life it was as usual to to get the position of uh, you know some material values and at some point you know when your body comes to some tiredness and your first consciousness is like that's it what where should I go further what is further what for and then you know during the life it's you know just came all very quickly and you know my consciousness is well we wanted to fly and uh, you know, before I didn't read at all, very, very little, and you know, I just had some 
I had some feeling of, you know, some fly was quite long and I wanted to read a little bit. And, you know, I just take my phone and I wrote um, download book. And the first, the first site was a letter book. And I just downloaded it. And then I had some struggle, of course, you understand, because consciousness shout, shouted through this book is not for you. And I was stubbornly walking, walking hard. And you understand that it is not easy because it is a treasure. A treasure gave given to us my f f from the from the spiritual world and i want to thank the spiritual world that this is happening and that we are one family and this is very inspiring me and uh, he, i think you feel it yourself and the thing what is given in the book that that really was that inspiring insight that I just went further. I just went and something opened here, something there, and these parables, you know, this wisdom is is the treasure, the the stories of ancient people. I don't know how to transmit it all to you, how to convey, but and when I came to Sensei, I had this uh, gratitude uh, to this girl, to Anastasia, who at that moment taught and, you know, were, was recording all the words by Sensei, and now she shared this book to all of us uh, with this knowledge, you know, with these benefits to these treasures. I had a lot of uh, inner uh, understandings which uh, drove me, led me through life, and um, I had some some disagreements within myself. But in one of the videos with Ramhaj Danilov, uh, he said that the consciousness is not yours. It's not you. It is the part of the animal system. Uh, and who am I? Who am I indeed? And this question was was started to touching me and you know from the video of consciousness and personality and the personality seeks to find the truth personality strives for freedom personality doesn't have enemies in the spiritual world from the position of spiritual world the personality is completely free it has freedom it uh, seeks it and consciousness as we know is this enemy and this is illusionary world what is around us we understand that these all and but we have something inside and we have this way and we go through it and in 2019 the video was released that will that turned the world upside down and it was the last point of waiting this was the moment when i just watched the video and inside i was just cried and then i had to cry inside of me uh, for how much time you will sit in the coach and what's these programs waiting for something to be done here really uh, really you can't do anything just waiting here and then i had this decision to go to kiev and it it was like that i I, re I wrote the message to coordination center and I got the reply quite quickly and thanks to this uh, visit to Kyiv now I'm translating into German language um, and, um, and the first program which was translated was the chance on the verge we have a little a small team and some some participants from Slovakia and Hungary joined and these are we have this uh, company that makes something not for ourselves but for people and we have and I have this inner um, state 
of support, when I when this feeling, when I participate in the project, this unity in spirit with all the participants. And really, this is this universal grain. Yeah, I would not, yeah, I have said a lot already and I want just to thank all the people who participate in the spiritual world, Igor Mihalovich, for all the support, for all that is for all that is given. I love it. I love you guys. Um, and I want to to pass the word to my colleague from Slovenia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Attila. Hello to everyone. My name is Bustian. And my name is Andrea. And we come from Celia, from Slovenia. Uh, we met with primordial knowledge a year and a half ago together. And Andrea will later share how it happened and some of our experience and actions. I would like to share a broader picture that uh, what that meant and brought into our lives. Uh, we were both searching all our lives, one way or another, and we found a lot, but something was missing, of course. Uh, and everything that was missing, books by Anastasia Novik, and programs with Igor Mihailovich Danilo gave us. The knowledge connected all the dots. We are so grateful to the spiritual world, to Igor Mihailovich Danilo uh, for love and all the broad and deep knowledge. Uh, we were talking about this, but it's really hard to give emphasis to just one program or a book. Uh, there is physics, uh, climate, history, society, and so much more, uh, like XP energy, that's a field of its own. Such a huge spectrum of knowledge drawing the big picture. Uh, so deeply grateful, and especially grateful for, for the knowledge about human being about true self, a personality, and the soul, a God within, uh, which enabled us to understand ourselves and each other, what life is, uh, and what is the true meaning of life. It's to love and to become one with love, to really live. To realize and feel this is pure, deep joy and happiness. That is the most important. But what is also precious and worth mentioning is the real realization how simple it is. Realization that there is only one obstacle on this way, from existence to life. It has, uh, this ob obstacle has numerous different manifestations, but it's actually only one, it's consciousness. With the help of knowledge and spiritual practices, the difference between spiritual and material, between deep feelings of love and happiness and all empty substitutions became so very clear. Uh, so, Alatara for us is a pure breath of life into what we people are used to call life. Everything gets simplified. Choice is clear. And with living by the feelings, uh, life is really life and it's beautiful. Uh, thank you all who participate in doing this inspiring program for opportunity uh, to share this experience. Spasibo, Bolshoi.
Thank you. And our first contact with Alatra was actually the video Atlantis, the elite in the search of immortality. And we found it while searching for some information on this topic. And after watching it for a few minutes, I immediately felt that I found something very important. But then consciousness intervened and it took us another two months uh, until we actually watched the whole video. And we did watch it with our eyes wide open because the information in the video made us to research even further. And so we find the videos with Igor Mikhailovich Danilo and also the books by Anastasia Novik. We read all of them and watched all the videos that were available with English subtitles. And when we read the Alatra book, we both felt this inner need to translate it to Slovenian language. But then also came the doubts from the consciousness. Who are you to translate such an important book? You are not a professional translator. It will take ages to do it and so on. But this inner need didn't go away. So one evening, um, while outside walking, we actually decided to do it anyway. And we wrote to Anna. She was our only contact with the Alatra movement at the time and asked her if we need any special permission to start translating. And she said, of course not, friends. That is great. Let God give you the right words. And so we started that same evening and we worked every day. Some days more, some days less. And the first third of the book went really smoothly. We were very motivated and inspired. The second third was the most challenging. The attacks of consciousness were quite severe. And I have to say that only doing the spiritual practices every day helped us to get through that difficult period. And of course, the precious knowledge from the book Alatra. And even though we both read it before, we were getting so many new and deeper insights while working on translation. And the third part was a totally different experience. The inner feelings were so strong and we didn't allow to be put off track by consciousness. I remember that feeling after translating the last few pages. It was overwhelming this inner feeling of joy and peace and love and happiness. And at the same time, this feeling of inner victory over consciousness. It took us six months to translate, and this was a highly transformational process. I am deeply, deeply thankful and grateful for the opportunity to learn from that precious knowledge, to finally get answers to the questions that I was asking myself all of my life and to be learn and to be able to learn how to truly and selflessly serve. Thank you very much. And now let's watch the fragment from the video with Igor Mikhailovich Danilo about the Holy Spirit. In the Old Testament, the Old Testament uh, there is such a mention by different prophets that a time will come will pour out on people, and there are disputes regarding where this will happen, in what part of the world, how this will happen, and what that will be. Well, let's say, if we approach this understanding correctly, this will happen when that world will manifest itself. Note, that world will manifest itself, which you and I were talking about, in unity before God's world. Can you imagine this? We were talking about it earlier. The Holy Spirit is among people and He is in every person, but in abundance. And here it is exactly said, pour out. That is, it will be given on top of that. This indicates that people, while still being here, in their bodies, will experience happiness, the happiness of the boundless world, only when they succeed to unite, and when they all become faithful to God, all of them. This is possible, and this is easy. Thank you. 
abundance and outpour of the Holy Spirit on everyone signifies the advent of the era of the Holy Spirit, the era when the entire humanity will restore Eden on earth by building an ideal society and thus will restore the lost connection with God, will live in God's love and serve the spiritual world. We are alive thanks to the Holy Spirit, and everything starts with it. When we understand what the Holy Spirit is, is we feel that we all are united by our nature. The Holy Spirit um, pierces everything, and whenever you touch anything, you come to the Holy Spirit. And when we talk about the creative society, we get an understanding that we can be united only in the Holy Spirit. He loves us and He is with us. With great pleasure and with big gratitude, I pass the floor to Maria from Italy. Videos, Videos with Igor Mikhailovich are special. You cannot see that you have watched this video. No, these videos need to be felt, not just seen. For example, the video, sir, the survey, the service, where Igor Mikhailovich explains that you must not only watch the video but also feel it, because often the full meaning is forgotten. Why? Because it is part of the knowledge that helps us to go out of this program, the system that we are in. And obviously, there is a difficulty because of the three-dimensional world that we are in, which, which makes us easily forget about this. That's why Igor Mikhailovich advises us to watch the video and write down the, the feelings, the, the essence, the meaning, what you memorized and then watch it again and write it down one more time and do it five times in a row and then compare those reactions and this way we will see how much we have missed at the first time the second time and so on this is the service actually and we usually don't think about the service serving to God is unfamiliar uh, concept in religious practices. But serving to God is special. It is seeking for our freedom and getting out of the system. Even though we are a part of the system, we have to try with all our efforts to, you know, gain the spiritual world, to reach it, not to wait until we leave this world. Of course, we need the knowledge, knowledge with the capital letter, which are in the Alatra book, in, in wonderful programs, in conferences, I call them dialogues with Igor Mikhailovich. It's not just a video that you have seen one time and not. no, it's a dialogue that never ends if you truly feel it. This is the dialogue that continues if you get involved in, into the video, if you really feel the spirit and you can experience this ongoing dialogue. And Igor Mikhailovich explains that the times that we're living have already been predicted as the end times. And that now the Holy Spirit is coming, or as they call him in different religions, Imam Mahdi or Maitreya, and so on. 
But the concept is always that it's about the Holy Spirit. And the point is that the Holy Spirit will come, the Comforter will come as Jesus Christ said. So these videos should not just be watched, but they should be felt. And we can say that Igor Mihailovich is the presence, the presence of the Holy Spirit in our world. Hello, my name is Tihomir. I'm from Bulgaria. And uh, what I wanted to say is my story about being acquainted with the books of the Anastasia Novich. Yeah, I want to thank everyone who shared today and um, congratulate with the holiday and I remember how I get acquainted with the books by Anastasia Novik and um, videos by Grimalic Danilov. I was searching and I accidentally came across the article about gratitude in the, on the Alatra Bulgaria website. The first time I watched the broadcast by Grimalic, my consciousness was searching into some nature, I mean, this very nature where and the person starts to interrupt or looking to the side or, uh, or betray and and this betray his inner uncertainty about what he's talking about or he has hidden goals and I was amazed there were no such things in this person at all and I didn't hear before that a person would speak with such a confidence. And when I realized that this is a person whom I can listen forever and that I would get knowledge from him, I want to say great thanks for Ingram Mihalic Danil for his love and care for every person because without him we would not be here today here and we would not do what we what we are doing now and we are doing exactly what all the prophets dreamed of and spiritual beings who came to this world they dreamed of ideal society of society of uh, unity and love the Ingram Halevich says in the, in the video about the Holy Spirit that he would like to see with his earthly eyes how people too can build this world so we should put a little effort because this is a really a dream a dream of all people on the planet to, and today we have a unique chance to build a creative society and we should synchronize our actions and and I would like to say for all our fluctuates in, in their choice everything starts with the choice with the first step and when you do that first step all the fear disappears and then uh, a new support appears to implement this, all these projects, to do all these projects. And if a person doesn't understand something, someone else uh, appears who will help, because we are all one and we all strive for the same goal. And when we will 
unite by all humanity, then the old golden age for our civilization will come. And then, as it's, it is said in the video about the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will came here and uh, every person will experience happiness in this world and that's why we are here and that's why we live in these times to make the ideal society come true thank you for this opportunity and for the fact that we are together I know I give my floor to the Vyacheslav from Australia Vyacheslav, unfortunately, we cannot hear you right now, Vyacheslav. Hello? Hello? Can you hear yes, me now? Yes, right now we can hear you. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Yeah, my name is Vyacheslav. I live in Sydney, Sydney, Australia. Um, I would like to thank everyone for the given opportunity to participate in this video. And from my side, I want to also add that after after meeting, after getting waited with the books by Anastasia Novak and watching all the videos by Igor Mikhailovich Danilov, um, my life has changed as the same as uh, of with people who performed before me and talked about and shared their experience. This is really all about how we can live truly and what the life really means. You know, in my life I also wanted to to be driven by conscious and act with conscious, though consciousness um, provided its own compromises but when I met the knowledge, I understood what is conscious, who am I, and what influences are set upon us, and how we can make a choice. This really um, put in everything on shelves. <coughs> And now I have understanding how to move forward. And this verse from which the book Alatra begins um, of suffering of a person. Yeah, I would I, I would like to read out the the consciousness of a of a human is the is a rock and you cannot go away from it you should you should climb uh, tearing nails bloody and fall down and and stand up again going strength because uh, it's so sweety down and the consciousness will make any illusion of everything you want the the thing is that you need to wish wish for materially and when i when i got knowledge and uh, and accept the knowledge i was really thankful that now i have opportunity to get up and move forward to to that spiritual world that is real and it is true because now in my life when I disembed all the moments and possibilities when the consciousness try to to set the meaning of life because when you feel the spiritual world you understand what is life and um, and also what I wanted to say is that to listen to you guys all these um, all these sharings all these reviews it all very important it's important to talk about this knowledge to spread it knowledge someone uh, 
saw some comment in the internet, someone uh, saw a truck, someone book on the shelf, so it can come to any person and nothing goes in vain. Yes, if we take any action, we share information, someday, somehow it will come to anyone, because the thing is, um, if uh, the person chooses itself, if at this moment uh, he can accept it, then he can move forward. The guys, the guys asked not to be very long. So yeah, I want to to thank you and give the floor further. Hello everyone guys, I would like to share my story, uh, my favorite video as well, and the books uh, I read after a very, very hard period of my life, after I was really sick, and when I actually got those books, I understood that this is what I was looking for, and the information that I got from other books, it was like, uh, I, I didn't have any doubts when I read these books, and these books actually opened the door you have the path of um, my own work in myself, uh, my deep work in myself, and and they actually led to uh, led me to watching the videos with participation of Mikhailovich, and it was different, not like the books, but this was like the impulse to uh, learn more, more and more. It's not just the work on yourself, but also uh, some other um, things like who am I? What? Why this world is needed? Needed, how how come it happened and it's not like about just uh, working throughout all your life uh, getting millions and then dying right so um, it's it's not like that and all this showed me the true uh, purpose of a person in this world and what path he should take to become an angel, the angel that uh, the Christianity is talking about, to walk the spiritual path and who has his own purpose and meaning of life and you know, it's not it's not like the, the things that we think about usually, um, but you know, this is the truth that you always wanted for, and you knew it, but they always liked, and um, you know, and and the first uh, program, the first video, the life is amazing, but um, the, the the video that actually made me listen to it very hard and made me you know actually work on myself and I felt this great great gratitude and I had a desire to start the practice actually the spiritual practice and to you know be grateful to be thankful and the consciousness doesn't really understand what what for you should be grateful but in on the inside you have this feeling and uh, you know like there is a, a parable from Alatra about the most happiest person and when you think that you know like the children are the best happiness but no, no you understood that uh, it's actually on the inside and you're the, the, the richest person when you have this uh, gratitude inside and this happiness on the inside and this was amazing feeling and you cannot forget it when, when you need it when you need to come back to it uh, to you know go deeper uh, into the meditation or the spiritual practice you return to this feeling and usually the consciousness starts telling you no you need this you need that and then you you stop it and you understand and that you don't need it and when you start working on yourself when you start actually you know no consciousness and it's work um, and I was actually the one who really liked to attract attention of others 
and you think like who, do, who needs it you know to get the attention from others but i understood that there is hierarchy in this world and this was like the starting point when you have this desire for something uh, like for example for man to you know um, kind of like die because of you and i understood that I really need it. who needs it and i started thinking uh, about it and i understood that it it is actually makes your life even worse when you have these desires when you want to kind of argue and so on and dispute and understand who is the one in you who wants to have this crown and who wants to be the best and so on and this was actually like a huge help through each program that and when you reward these programs and what i really like it about it is, is that you actually get the answers to the questions that you're stuck on at, the, at, at that, that moment. And, you know, like when you have a hard situation in your life, you get the answers right away from all those videos. And you just, you know, can feel this helping hand, just take it, grab it, and never let it go. And I. I'm really so happy to see all of you. It's such a wonderful holiday today. You know, like, I, you wake up, and the sun is shining outside. What can be even better in this world? And thank you so much, guys. I'm so happy. And I'm, I hope that we will see even more and more videos with Igor Mikhailovich. And I pass the floor to Alina from Dubai. Uh, lots of thanks to you, Oladishka, and uh, good evening, everyone. You know, it's it feels so happy today to listen to your dear friends and each story, uh, each life story is so dear to, to our hearts. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm still under the impression of uh, Tatiana from uh, Switzerland's uh, life story, how she met the books by Anastasia Van Novak. And, uh, you know, actually, I also kind of have my life story when I just got, you know, uh, into contact with these books. And uh, when, uh, yeah, you know, uh, when I was introduced to the books by Anastasia Novik, right? Uh, well, I wasn't that crazy about reading books at all. But, you know, out of politeness, I took one of the books by Anastasia Novik. And when I came home, at uh, the same evening, I started reading, you know, even without, uh, you know, uh, any just to even understanding what I was doing. It was uh, exactly uh, the first book by Anastasia Novik and say um, the just uh, prime model of Shambhala. And uh, when I found out about the book Alatra by Anastasia Novik, and when I read to the point, um, to the information um, about the soul, you know, uh, I had such a great feeling when I found out that I have a soul and that each person has a soul because, you know, I heard lots of information about the soul from different religious studies, uh, but, um, you know, I, I was never satisfied with that information. But when I found information um, about the soul in the Latra book and, and when I saw the photo of the soul in a Latra book, then, um, you know, I got this necessity uh, that uh, just to find out more. And when you come into just uh, contact with this information and uh, when you just, you know, you have this necessity, you feel like speaking, speaking more about uh, um, this de information, the spiritual information. And of course, back then, there um, just a lot of international public movement wasn't that big as today. But um, then and back then, I really had this necessity uh, through, you know, um, a Facebook uh, group. And uh, Tatiana, for example, she found uh, the like minded people in Kiev and Ukraine. And so our communication went on. And when the first videos with the participation of Mikhailovich were released, uh, you know, I didn't know um, just. Um, 
neither the participants of these videos nor just information. But when I just started watching the videos on the Latter TV, I just felt good, really. I, I, I loved everything. I, I loved each word uh, that Igor Mikhailovich, Danilo, and the uh, participants were saying. And I was just kind of, you know, the, it was feeling this inner beauty of the feelings. And each video is really a holiday for me. And uh, and every time I'm amazed that, okay, how, how? Okay, I, I just, I, I had this inner questions, okay? I even probably uh, just didn't manage to voice them out. And here I get the answers to those questions. And I, I really cannot just, you know, um, tell you which of these uh, videos is the best for me. Um, but uh, um, it's, I just, I just, you know, I felt this light. I really love all of these videos with the participation of Mikhailovich Danilo. And the more I came into contact, uh, and uh, the more I love this love uh, and light, and the more I was attracted to people who emanate um, and, uh, this light. And that is why when I came f uh, just to during just to Kiev to Ukraine during the Solidarity Week, and I met other like-minded people. So it was like in a feeling of again of light of meeting with the light of from just other people. And I believe that uh, all the people and participants today and dear viewers, you are feeling this light today. So uh, back then, I was just going to this light and uh, just to meet this light. And uh, I am just, uh, you know, I'm so grateful, I'm full, full of gratitude for this opportunity. And if uh, to talk about um, the videos with the participation of Mikhail Danilo, they're really uh, just. Uh, yeah, well, invaluable. And uh, when you have this, you know, contact with uh, the dearest uh, in this life, and when you have this experience of inner perception through deep feelings, then it's like, you know, as the, well, uh, I could say, um, share my experience with you when I was watching uh, the live video, that, as Igor Mikhailovich said, that it is, you know, this love and this life, it is always easy this freedom this inner freedom it is always just light and easy and also i remember uh, about just a video about magic and um, when it just um, ex just demonstrated uh, just um, this information about true freedom and it's uh, like you know let the bird out of the cage but uh, it's not just to let it uh, fly away but it just if when you let this bird into the boundless freedom and when we you just let this bird out of all these obstacles and uh, hardships and you just let it feel fr true freedom so it's the same with each of us with each person Person when you can feel feel your true self so that is why lots of lots of thanks to uh, each and everyone and uh, one more time one more time I congratulate each of us with the uh, holy week the solidarity week and uh, uh, lots of thanks to Vigil Mikhailovich Danilo and to Tatiana host and to each participant who helps to make this video this wonderful videos and you you know, and I would like just to give, um, uh, just to share one more, ex just on my experiences. When I met uh, with uh, just uh, the guys uh, from uh, just participants, right, of a lottery pen from Mexico, and when uh, they said, please, we would like to read this information in our native language, and um, uh, some participants of lottery pen already started translating uh, this precious information from a lottery book into Spanish. And uh, it's really, really great gift for uh, Russian-speaking uh, um, people who uh, are able to read this prime model information in the native language. And uh, you know, when I was just ca just coming across for the first time uh, with the word primordial, so this notion of primordial, what it might mean, and when I looked into 
In the dictionary, I found out that primordial it means that um, it that is well that means something that was from the times immemorial, so something that was eternal that was known in all times during all the times. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to all of you for your experience. I would like to read out a couple of interesting comments which we got. Olga is writing, I was subscribed to the channel, but I'm watching it rarely, but today, accidentally, I opened the live broadcast and now I found out about the books and I love, love, really love to read them. Thanks everyone for the light of love. And another, and another comment comment is from Portugal, from Pedro. A great program, been watching from 5 p.m. All Stars, delivering understandings that are so familiar to me, at the same time coming from such different experiences. Thank you all, particularly technical translation, and the most of all Anastasia Novich and Igor Mikhailovich Danilov, and Alatra's One United Family. Those were the words of Pedro from Portugal. And of course, we people, thanks to the fact that we have the Holy Spirit inside, that's that what differs us from animals. It is interesting that the creative society and the ideal society are the societies where humans, humanity has chosen their spiritual component. It means that at the basis of the creative society, there is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit doesn't have hands, but He has our hands, and everything begins with the choice of every person. And this choice comes from our inner decision and sincerity towards ourselves and towards the Holy Spirit. When we choose the Spirit in reality and when we start loving sincerely, we kindle like lamps, like lights, and ignited by the Holy Spirit, we bring great joy to the spiritual world. We can just imagine that we can build a, a society of the Holy Spirit with our own hands already today. It is such an honor and happiness for all of us to be living during these days. So we remind you that on March 20th, 2021, there will be international online conference, Creative Society, What the Prophets Dreamed Of. Let us together recall what the prophets dreamed of. The world, the is, world is impetuously changing. New, new time, time brings new trials. Global crises, pandemic, impetuous climate change. But along with that, new opportunities appear. All prophets spoke of the end times, about the fact that the time would come for a global choice of the way to move on. All of us have a great honor of living in this time and making the dream of all prophets a reality. Why is our time unique? What are these prospects? What kind of opportunities do we have today? What will our future be like? What depends on you and us? And why is it so important to unite? Let's get together and answer these questions on March 20th, 2021 at the conference Creative Society. What the prophets dreamt of. We can do a lot, but only together. Friends, thank you very much for sharing your marvelous stories. I would like to say that each story is unique and it echoes in your heart and in your soul, in the heart and soul of every person. Everyone who got in touch with the knowledge, who came in contact with the knowledge, is a part of Alatra family. And let this feeling of unity which we experience right now last forever. Friends, let us do whatever we can in order to ensure that the knowledge which we obtained and the happiness which we gained would become to more people in the world, all over the world. Let us expand our family throughout the world and build the creative and then the ideal society.
thank you very much, friends, for being with us today. Yes, thank you very much, Irina, and great thanks to the spiritual world for the support and boundless love for us. A great thanks and gratitude to all participants from all over the world for the unification which is right now and true good in action. Thanks to all who is ignited with the Holy Spirit and Harris to share this light with other people. There is such an expression that the door of hell closes from inside. Only this way we ourselves open the door of heaven, and we ourselves open the door of hell. This right is granted to us by the Lord God. So the main thing is to remember that if you start feeling miserable and bad, or if everything is grievous, then look, which door is open in you? Just close it and open the other one and leave and be happy. Isn't that right? It is. Yes. You and I have actually touched upon the stratum of ordinary human life, which we can talk about endlessly. But the main and the simplest thing is to simply love God, love and respect each other, then everything becomes clear and understandable. When we are really devoted to the Lord God, when we really love Him, nothing prevents us from living. Do you know what else I will tell you? When a person is really in spiritual practice, or indeed, in a higher state, a prayerful state, where he feels God, then all these people are equal. They have no religions and they have no contradictions. Why? Because they don't have service to Satan. They are free from Satan and they are united in God. They are united in love for God. That's how we are supposed to live. Then everything falls away, all questions disappear, and everything becomes empty, clear and simple. It is very simple to live. We should just love, respect each other, and help one another. Love and respect the souls of all people. And the main thing is to sincerely and truly love God and not to hold grudges in ourselves, not to carry this rucksack with those sins, as they say, which Satan puts for us there. It is actually our right to carry the rucksack or not. As a matter of fact, we are not Satan's slaves. No. There is an angel in each of us and it's important to give it freedom, to release it from Satan's fetters, while the tool is one, God's love and devotion to God, and simply to love each other. Thank you, friends, for being with us. Let us simply love each other and love our God, and everything will be fine. Thank you. Thank you, Igor Mikhailovich. Thank you.